there, I hope you're well, I hope you're good. So my name is Cynthia, so I'll be taking you through a very fascinating course, a very recreative course, because currently the world is moving, technology is moving, and AI is going to the next level. So basically this course will be all about AI art, so we will dig deep into AI art, we will dig deep into the AIs that can generate very nice art that we can use for different business purposes. Guys, as you can see like in my screen right now, this is an AI, basically this is an AI and I'm seeing people are doing great things for, they're doing great things and as I can see because I've related more with this AI, I can see people are using this to generate uh, wonderful photos, great realistic images that they're using for different things. Some are use, using them for coloring books, others are using them for advertisement and all that and all that. So guys, this course will 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 be about AI art. So in this course, I will take you through a step step by step tutorial on how you can get these AIs, how you navigate them, how you will open these AIs, and this AI mostly will be Mid Journey, Leonardo AI. So it, we will not dig deep into Leonardo AI, but there is a point where we'll go and at least talk about it, because basically the format and everything, the opening accounts, the way you navigate through, they are almost similar. So basically right now, there are three major AI art uh, tools that are out there and people are, are doing great things with them. And one of them is Mid Journey. So basically right now, I'm into Mid Journey. So this is how Mid Journey looks like basically. So I will dig deep into mid journey i will take you through from the beginner stage to the expert stage where you will uh where i'll teach you the tricks uh the prompts that you can give to mid journey how you do to get particular images for particular purposes so i will take you through mid journey and also i will take you also through blue willow guys as you can see this is blue willow I will take you through Blue Willow. I will give you the benefits of which, how you nav navigate through Blue Willow and all that. So basically, these are the two major AI ads that I will walk you through. But I will also mention Leonardo AI. But as I've mentioned earlier, that they almost look alike. So when I have taught you about Blue Willow and when I have taught you about Mid Journey, I know that you will at least have an understanding you can confidently do another ai and comfortably work with it so guys if you're a beginner whether you've heard about it whether you have an account whether you you don't know anything completely trust me i'll be there to guide you with a lot of love i'll show you so many things from the beginner stage right from opening up the account to the very um, complex stage of dealing with it and coming up with products that we can use for business purposes later on we will dig deep into the business part of this ai art so guys we have three businesses that are booming out there and most people are succeeding in youtube others are succeeding in print on demand so guys if you've ever heard about print on demand this is a chance for you guys i will walk you through print on demand apart from the ai part of it i will show you basically what is print on demand i will show you how you can create from the beginner stage from the very scratch how you create uh products to use for print on demand i will show you the stores uh, the, the the websites that you can use to open a print on demand business i will show you a website that can work for you when it comes to print on demand means i will show you everything how you create these products how you sell them how you market them how you will use this ai art to come up with excellent for example t-shirts in print on demand i will tell you what is a print on demand business and i will walk you through how you will open this print on demand business and how you will make these nice 
uh, products. Uh, we will make one with you. We'll make more than one. I'll show you and I'll show you how to open up these websites, how to open accounts, how to sell your products and all that and all that. And I will make sure that you have understood from them. So if you've been yearning to learn about print on demand, to learn about Etsy, to learn, to, to learn about Printful, Amazon Match and all that, so this is just the cause for you so it is such a wide cause i am digging so deep i am so detailed and i want to make sure that i'm guiding you with a lot of love to make sure that at least you have succeeded in this business next we will look into youtube guys i know uh, most of you maybe have heard of youtube and all that people are making good money so in the course i will walk you through and you will see uh, actually i'll show you realistic uh, kind of salary people are making from youtube so we will do youtube i will show you how you open a youtube account how you make different things for example intro videos i'll show you video editing guys in the course of this course i'll show you video editing how you get nice images nice ai art to use in your youtube channels i'll show you the business part of youtube how you'll maneuver through youtube how you'll come up with excellent products using ai art so guys if you've been wanting to start youtube and you don't know how to start maybe you are saying i'm not a good editor guys relax i'm here i'm going to show you how to do very simple yet quality editing don't worry you don't have to be like a normal child like you don't have to like no like i want the unskilled ones if you are there you've always yearned to start your small youtube channel and you're wondering how am i going to start this is the course for you this is the course for you so you will get where you'll get royalty free images where you, you will not have to like worry this image will put me into trouble if you use it use it as a thumbnail so i'll show you guys and i'll make sure that you have understood yes i will teach you with a lot of love i will teach you how to make intro videos from the scratch to the end i'll show you how to make youtube thumbnails i'll give you ideas of how you can start a youtube channel around this ai thing because guys let me tell you ai is the right now is a very booming niche in youtube people are succeeding people are coming up and mushrooming up and they are just fast they are growing so if you maybe been struggling with a niche maybe your niche in youtube is not working maybe guys this is the course for you because you'll get now to understand how you can now start a channel and how you will the trick behind the channels that are succeeding in terms of ai so guys i got you i got you okay now let's move to the next big thing guys there is this thing called amazon so guys there is this uh, thing called amazon self-publishing so from there if you've been yearning and if maybe you've been going through some some things one two three and they've been leaving you in the middle you don't have like the full concept so here i am guys i'm here i'm not just going to show you how you use ai art to win in self-publishing amazon kindle self-publishing i will show you how you're going to start up an amazon business through this ai art where we will do a children's book so i will teach you from scratch how you can create a product which is very booming in amazon if you can go to amazon and check out people are selling coloring books others are selling uh, low content books others are selling story books so guys i'm going to show you how you will make your own from the scratch to the end i'm going to guide you how you're going to have your own self-publishing account with amazon i'll direct you with everything you need to know everything you need to know about starting an amazon business about becoming an, a, a, an amazon seller where you will sell your books there and boom guys so this is the course for you so if you've been struggling how to make these books how to make covers how to publish how to do everything all those hows i've got the answer because i love you so so much so guys i would really encourage you to to purchase this course because i have done so much and i've thought of you i've not thought of me i've thought of you as a learner i've thought of you as my friend as my family as 
my closest buddy even though i don't know you i have really thought about you and i've taken this thing so slowly as if i'm explaining to a child and i want to make sure that all of you uh, by the end of this course will have something to do online because i've done a lot of research guys because in the beginning before i like i understood all these things i was a victim of fake courses i would go somewhere and purchase a course or i would go somewhere to youtube and purchase a course and not do something so i have come up now with a, a, i researched a lot and now i can comfortably tell you that this course will lead you to a legit business that can make you a millionaire yes can, can make a, a million dollar nair that will make a lot of money at the comfort of your own home but at the end of this course, uh, even in the midst of this course, I'll have reminded you not to be comfortable. Because remember guys, yes, we learned this course, yes. I'll show you how to open up these things. But at the end of the day, you need to work. Don't get comfortable. Even though it is a work home, uh, at home business, this is why most people fail. It's because they do such something, yes, but they expect it to grow tomorrow. Maybe you do one coloring book and you think, I'm done. No, people out there doing thousand coloring books. People out there making t-shirts for print on demand and a thousand t-shirts a day. So you need to challenge yourself. At the end of this course, yes, I've learned it. What am I going to do? It's me now to work very hard. So this is a course I would recommend even for your kids, for your teens. I would recommend this course very much. I would recommend this course for anyone who wants to start an online business. This is the course for you guys. So without much ado, I want to warmly welcome you to walk with me through this course and let's grow together so until that until uh next time bye bye i love you so much and once again i want to welcome you karibu thank you so much so you beginner or you are wondering what is this ai at so basically, AI art refers to the creation of digital artwork using artificial intelligence algorithms, machine learning techniques, and other computer-based tools. So in the recent years, AI art has become increasingly popular and widely used across a variety of industries, including marketing, advertising, product design, and more. So, uh, the growing um, of importance of AI art in the business world is due to its ability to save time, increase efficiency, and create new revenue streams. So, by automating some of the most time-consuming and repetitive aspects, if you have ever done design before, you understand how complex it can be sometimes so uh of the art creation process so the ai art can help businesses to streamline their workflows and free up valuable time and resources so additionally ai art can be used to create unique and eye-catching visuals that can help businesses stand out in a crowded market and build a unique brand recognition so basically ai art represents a new and exciting frontier for businesses looking to harness the power of technology to enhance their creativity and drive growth so whether you are an artist designer entrepreneur or just an absolute beginner understanding the benefits and applications of ai art is essential for success in the modern business world so in this course guys we are going to only focus with the two major best ai art generators or ai and one of them is mid journey so basically mid journey ai uses a type of artificial intelligence called natural language processing nlp to generate images based on the user's imagination and text description so when the user inputs a text for example a text description such as a sunset over a mountain range 
Mid-Journey AI NLP algorithm analyzes the language and understands the concepts behind the word based on, the, on this understanding. Mid-Journey AI generates four different images that represent the scene described in the text. So the images generated by uh, Mid-Journey AI are highly detailed and realistic and they are designed to closely match the user's imagination. Guys, we are going to do this practically, so don't worry, I got you. So what's unique about Midjourney AI is that it can produce multiple variations of the same image. So each with subtitle difference in color, texture, and other elements. So this allows the user to experiment with different, different cells and variations and choose the image that best captures the imagination so basically made journey is a powerful tool for artists designers creators or absolute beginners who just love playing around with art uh, to bring the imagination to life in the form of highly detailed and realistic images so guys let's let me let us dive direct to me journey i want you to see how it looks like and then you can understand so let's jump straight into that. So guys, this is how a mid journey AI account actually looks like. So this is my account. So basically, uh, what I was saying, this is able to give you or to generate images according to your imagination so for example if you want uh, an image you just come to this plus sign here as you can see then you say you just click on it when you use the use app choose this part here then you go to imagine prompt so on this part you just click on it and that now these are this text box that is where you write the prompt according to the imagination so for example let us imagine a picture so in this case i'm going to imagine a cat wearing a yellow hood uh right typing a laptop so let's uh just type what i've imagined so imagine a cat wearing blue jeans and a yellow oh no 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 i don't know what just happened i think i just overclicked so let us repeat use a prompt i say prompt saying Imagine a cat wearing a blue jeans and a yellow hoodie typing on a laptop. So let's see what it's going to give us. So after you, you've typed your stuff you just send the message by pressing enter if you're using a laptop you press enter and guys it is very very important to remember to always keep up with your prompt because it keeps disappearing because we are not the only ones here trying to get images people are many as you can see these are images that people have are trying to generate so you cannot be careless with your stuff so currently don't you uh I don't know why it's saying invalid link. No, 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 that's not mine. So let's search for our... Yes, here it is. Uh, where is it? Yeah, here, here we go. It's almost, we're almost there. You see, it can get lost in between all that. So it's good for you to be very, very, very attentive. Or try as much as possible to keep up with your with your with your stuff in here because we are not the only one using 
using this AI art. So I'm glad this came up. So that when you're doing it, guys, you'll be careful. You'll be careful with your stuff. But we are going to find it. Not to worry. Hey, it is. Wow. Hey, it is. So we've got our cut. As you can see, guys, it's wearing a blue jeans. This one is near to our imagination. It's wearing a blue jeans. It it is having a hoodie, and it's a cut. So, so in this part, it's uh the Mijani has given us four variations of four different images according to our imagination, and so this here, guys, means upscale. So there is upscale one for this one. Upscale 2 for this one, upscale 3 for this one, upscale 4 for this one. So guys, if you like the first part of everything, you just, uh, for example, like for me, this one is, works for me. I, I love this one. So guys, where do you think I can, where do you think I will click? I'll just go to upscale three so i'll tell you but if i don't if for example i like this one and i want different variations or different versions of this you'll just do variation three so this means variations so there is variation one for this variation two for this so if you want diff uh uh four extra pictures that are almost looking like this you just say variation one so if you've already liked this um uh, for example, I like cut three, so I'm just going to say upscale for me this upscale three, and then when you do that, it's just to give you. It's going to. I don't know why it's saying interaction failed. Let's try again. Yes, so I'm sure it it is already processing somewhere. So let's go quickly down there. I'm sure we will find it somewhere there. So this is how you're going to get your image. It's somewhere down. That I can assure you. Yeah. So it's it's here. It's upscaling for us. So keep up with your work, guys. So let's wait for it to upscale. So guys it's 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 processing my my the one that we chose let's give it keeps going i don't know where let us look for it so guys this is our cut you already have our image and i love it i'm falling in love with my cut so what you do in order for you to get this image you just do this and then you right click on it you say save image as then when you say save image as it's going to direct you to your files so you're going to just say uh cut cut image for example typing so in this case we are going to put it just under the downloads and then you save and then now you can have your image downloaded. So guys, it's as simple as that. Mijan is not complicated. But okay, at the end of this course, we'll look into how you actually get your account. And I'll walk you through every part of Mijani. So this was just an introductory part of it. So stay tuned. So guys, we already have our downloaded image let us open it and that's it here it is it's taking longer to download let's wait for it to load to load whoa, whoa, whoa. yeah so we're waiting for it yeah and and that's our cut that's our cut so is it isn't that amazing it's very very amazing now let's go and look into blue willow now blue willow 
Blue Willow is a unique platform for generating digital artwork as it offers the users freedom to generate as many images as they want for free. So guys, there is a very, very, it's okay. They are almost similar with Mid Journey, but now the difference of Mid Journey and Blue, Blue Willow in this case is that Mid Journey only allows you to process 25 pictures for free as a newbie. Then from there, you are required to just pay a small amount of a monthly subscription but as for blue willow uh it will generate a digital artwork for you absolutely for free there is no need to pay any subscription so the images are very unlimited so blue willow uses just as mid journey uses natural language processing algorithm to analyze the test text descriptions provided by the user and generate corresponding images so the user inputs a description text such as for example a bustling cityscape so and blue willow a logarithm analyzes the language and generate corresponding image so again what's great about blue willow is that it offers the users the freedom to generate as many images as they want for free allowing them to experiment with different styles and variations and to find the images that best capture their Im imaginations without worrying about any subscription or any limitation so blue willow is valuable tool for artists uh designers creators beginners like uh, uh like some of us here who want to bring their imagination to the next level of digital imagine uh, images so it's absolutely free uh it gives unlimited uh generations of images capabilities uh making it a popular and accessible choice for those who want to experiment with ai generated art so once again i got you guys you are going right straight to the actual blue willow we're going to see my account we'll go to my account and look at how a blue willow looks like account and we are just going to give it a small task we are going to imagine something and then you are going to ask it to generate the the art for us so let's go so guys this is how a blue willow ai looks account looks like uh it has a logo here or a, an avatar of a blue tree and on a blue hill and uh, so if you so for example we want to imagine a picture we just want to have an introductory view of how you can generate an art using this so guys as you can see people are imagining great stuff like like the pictures here let us maybe look into other people's work you see very very amazing stuff amazing stuff amazing stuff so we are not just going to look at people's stuff so let's do our own so if you want to generate an image here, you come to this plus sign, almost similar to Mid Journey. If you understood the previous video that I taught you about Mid Journey, so you're going to say plus, and then now you're going to use up. So on this one, you're going to say, for example, we are going to imagine, um, for example, um. Pretty little girl with a round face with a round ch chubby chubby face and wide eyes wearing 
uh, um, for example, let's say a pulka dot um, say mm -hmm, ballerina at a so that's our imagination. And so we are going to say enter if you're using a laptop. We're just going to send this message. So we'll say enter. And once again, guys, keep up with your stuff. Because as you can see, once again, we are not the only ones doing this. People have people are busy uh creating images. So if you're not careful, you might lose your work. So once again, I'm telling you, be, be very, very careful. I'm doing this intentionally for you guys to see some of the challenges, but there are minor challenges that can be that can be taken care of easily that you can uh, encounter using this kind of AI. So I want to encourage, don't give up. Things like this come up. Eh? So let's look for our pretty girl. And here she is. Wow. Amazing. How you know this is your image, it turns blau, brown. The others are blue, but your stuff uh, has a brown. But okay, it didn't give us a ballerina dress. So, but sh because it's just an example, we are just going to work with this one. So this is our picture, guys. As you can see, we have a very pretty girl. She has, we have four different pretty girls. They all have chubby face and round eyes, but I love this one i love this girl here so once again just like mid journey guys there is upscale one for this one upscale two for this one upscale three for this one upscale four for this one so guys i told you there is also variations if you want uh four different images with this kind nearing to this you do variation you press to variation one click to variation one and then it's going to give you four extra images surrounding this this girl here but if you like one of the images for example i like the the that girl if you count one two three i like this one so i'm going to say upscale upscale three so you're just going to just click up until these three processing dots come up and then now you will go once again just like me journey just go down, 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 down. You'll see, you'll see your stuff. Just be very, very keen. Guys, if you if your eyesight is not okay, uh, utilize carrots. They are very, very good. Yes. Uh -huh. So we are going to, we are going downwards, looking for, uh, for our upscale. I'm sure it's somewhere around here. So let's just go down. We are going down. Mm -hmm. okay. Let's go down. Let's go down, guys. We'll find our girl somewhere here. See, amazing art that people are making. People are imagining good stuff. And me, Blue Willow, same as same as mid journey is not disappointing it's it's very very reliable so let's go mm -hmm, mm -hmm, not our own mm -hmm, not our own And now here we go. Here is our girl. Where is she? Where did she go again? Yes, here is our girl. Doesn't she look amazing? So just like me, Jenny, guys. If you like your girl, you click onto her. Then she comes like that. You say you right click, you save the image, write her. Say pretty little. little girl then you save then you can download your image so it's it's downloading it's downloading guys it's downloading 
I love this. Now let us open our downloaded image. Wow. Doesn't she look pretty, guys? Yes. So that's all about the, in the introductory part of Blue Willow. I hope you got Blue Willow and Mid Journey. And I really, really hope that you guys have understood basically what Mid Journey and Blue Willow is like. So stay tuned as it's going to get even better. So guys, we have moved to our next chapter and in this chapter we are going to talk about setting up the environment for both uh, Mid Journey and Blue Willow. Basically guys, setting up the environment is an important first step in using AI to generate artwork. So in this section, we'll provide an overview of the tools that and resources that are needed to get started with generating art using AI platforms such as Blue Willow and Midjourney. So to start, you will need to first of all have a computer or a laptop device. So you also need to have a very, very strong, okay, not really much strong, but a, a reliable internet connection and a web browser. On my case, I prefer Chrome. So you will also need to create an account on the Blue Willow platform or uh, the Mid Journey which is very very quick and easy we will go into that we will look into that i will guide you on how to open an account both for blue willow and me journey so i got you don't worry and then you will also need to familiarize yourselves with the user interface of the platforms yet before starting to create this art you first of all need to really really familiarize yourself with the user interface of the platform and understand how to input test descriptions and generate images but i'm sure by now guys if you can look back in the last chapter i walked you through uh putting inputting test description and generating the images but don't worry we'll repeat that for emphasis so the platforms uh, provide clear and concise instructions on how to use these features and generate images so even those without prior experience with ai art you don't have to worry about anything you can get started with ease with a lot of ease guys so finally you will need to be familiar with some basic image editing softwares to make modification to the images generated by the platform if desired but these guys is very very optional but uh the most uh image editing software that i know about is maybe maybe canva you need to have at least have a small knowledge of canva there is also there is also adobe image editor and all that so guys but it is not not necessary because uh, again i'm telling you the art that we get from both mid journey and blue willow is very very quality so in conclusion uh setting up uh the environment to use ai art to generate art is straightforward and very very accessible with a computer internet connection basic image editing software but that is very optional guys you can be up and running about in no time start creating unique and very creative digital art with absolute ease so when you have all that set and ready and you feel now you're okay enough 
now you can go straight into it so let's go to the next thing now guys i'm going to guide you on the step by step on how to open a blue blue oak no a mid journey ai account yes so on this case let's jump straight into the real thing but i will leave these notes i will leave this powerpoint presentation notes for maybe reference when you're doing the actual stuff but i want you to be very very keen follow closely follow closely because we are going to do it slow and i'm hoping by the end of this we'll have a successful we'll have succeeded in creating a new mid journey account so let's go straight to it So guys, on this part, I'm going to guide you how to open a Mid Journey AI account. So I want you to give me your full attention as we go through a step-by-step -step guide on how you can get yourself a Mid Journey account for free. So we're going to come here and say Mid Journey mid journey ai that part there then from there this one will come up on this one you, you choose mid journey then from there you, something like this will come up and then you choose job so guys this is what will will come up so if you don't already have an account you come here you say already have an account for example us we don't have an account so we are going to click here we need an account so we are going to register for an account so what should be your username for example we are going to say for example our username is heavenly and then we continue You're going to say i am human it's going to prompt you to do a capture task so we are going to in this one we, we are looking for a picture that has a notion this is a notion i bet this is a notion and also this one is a notion so you verify then it's going to bring you into this part here so they want us to verify so let us say verify by email um, for example let us input our email Then we are going to write our password. Then we are going to say verify account. So we are going to go and check our email and see if there is a verification notification. Then we'll come back and try and verify. So guys, we are already in our inbox. There is a verification for the from Discord. So it's hey heavenly. Thank you for registering. So we just verify like that. Then it will it will lead you back to the Discord. Then you are going to say I am human once again. Then we are going to continue to Discord. We are good now from there.
yes and now we have our ready account we, we already have our account but there are things that we need to do guys for you to start um, creating images so when you're completely new in this part in this uh, let's wait for it to load it, it is not yet open but i want to give you a tip when you open your mid journey account for the first time definitely you are a newbie so there is this thing that you have to do in order for you to start sending commands mid journey requires you to go and join in a, a subgroup and those subgroups are known as uh, newbie. So in this case, um, let us refresh so that maybe it can give us a newbie. We can see those sub channels. So let us refresh and see it's going to start all over. So guys, once once you're in the Discord, you you click this this part here I, I hope you can see that this part that's where you click yeah that part and then mid journey is going to open up but guys because we are already new here you see as you can see we can't start um, giving it commands we need to associate ourselves with a subgroup and those subgroups mid journey requires you to to join in once one newcomer room so in this case we are going to join newbies 128 and then when you join newbies 128 now we'll be set we'll be set to start uh, creating images now for example but in this case let us start, let us start, let us see how it's going to, as you can remember from the previous video, we were saying use up. And then we, if you can remember, we said imagine. So, I cannot see imagine, so I'm just going to write imagine. And then it's going to come up. So, for example, uh, there is, I want you to be very, very keen in this part. There is a very, very important thing i want you to understand because we have first of all to i think um do another stage before we start actually creating images so let's do our first image man with brown beard Let's just say that man with brown beard and then you'll notice that uh, I think this is us wait a minute you will notice that we can't start generating images there's something that we are required to do so let us repeat that once again. We say imagine prompt, then you say beautiful girl. Wearing wearing a blue dress, wearing a blue dress. So guys, once again, I want to, you see, I want you to keep up with your commands, with your stuff, because they keep getting lost. So there's something I want you to note. Uh, we have to accept the TOC, the terms of service conditions. Yes, this is what I was talking about. We have to accept the terms of service in order to to be able to use a uh, mid journey so in this this will be the first stage we say accept toc and now it will be accepted now from there 
we are now we are now good to go now we can comfortably go there and actually create our very very first image so let's say imagine go to prompt say for example imagine a robot a robot um, holding money let's see for example what it will say still bringing some small issues because we are still new but these are problems that are always there so don't worry let us just imagine once again a robot holding money and then we are going to enter once again guys remember i told you to to keep up with your art keep up with your stuff because we are not the only ones using mid journey right now there are so many people who are working so hard to generate interesting images so this is our part the one that is blue uh no brown so let's wait and see what it's going to give us This is a challenge that is I'm also struggling with it guys. Uh but don't worry we'll find a solution to it. It must be somewhere around here. So guys, we already have our image. This is a robot holding money. So when um I think robot number four the one that is nearing to our imagination so there is this upscale one if you like this one you just click upscale one for this upscale two for this upscale three for this and upscale four for this so if you want a different version of for example robot four you will go to variation four v4 and then you will be given four extra photos and then you'll be able now to upscale so for example me i'm okay with this robot here so i'm going to say upscale 4 and then it's going to load so now guys we are going to go down and trying to look for our for our upscale it's somewhere down somewhere down so Let's just go slowly, we will find it. Yeah, it's here. Here it's here. And it's upscaling. So we are going to wait for it to upscale. It just needs you to be patient. It just needs you to be a little more patient. Just a little more patient. Uh, there we have our image guys and after that we are going to to save it for our personal use so when it comes to saving you right click you say save image as it will bring you to your files then you save Now guys, now that we have already saved our robot, we'll go to the files and confirm if it is already saved. So a minute. Uh -huh. We go to downloads. Then let's see if we already have our our downloaded robot.
and that's our robot looking all rich holding some some dollars yes yeah, so guys uh i hope by now you have understood how you can create your own mid journey account for free uh and uh, there is something that i wanted to add on that mid journey will only allow you to generate 25 images for free when you're in the newbie when you're in the newbie subgroup and from there you are required to to pay a monthly a monthly uh let us see you're required to pay a monthly fee so 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 guys it's not completely free you're required to pay to pay something at the end of the of the day but in the meantime enjoy the 25 free images which are absolutely free don't worry and then from there it is just a, a small fee and then you'll be having unlimited generation of images now that you have understood how to create a mid journey account we'll be making a discord ah no sorry a blue willow account and i hope that you have understood all this so thank you very much now let's go straight into creating a blue willow account and what i advise you guys is just use one google account to create both mid journey and blue willow for an orderly kind of setting and because we already have a discord account with the google account that we already have so there'll, there'll be no need to create another discord account because it is already there so we are going to uh, to create a blue willow account and then it's going to it is coming straight to this discord account associated with the google account that we just used to create the mid journey account so thank you very very much <music>
so after it ha we, it has made you to do some capture task so this is how it is behaving don't worry we are in the right track and then once again it's going to bring you into your discord account so guys you're already inside our discord account the one that is associated with the google account that we opened previously and so here there are various channels so there is the mid journey one that we had and now this is how the blue willow community looks like it has a blue tree sitting on a blue hill so we are just going to click on it like that so we are already in our blue willow new account but still even this one uh, as you can see we cannot command blue willow to generate some pictures for us until you do a few stuff so on this case we are going to join in rocky tests we are going to join in rocky test group this this is my favorite one but guys you can experiment on this other rocky rocky subgroups so you have to associate yourself with a subgroup so that uh, you can see so i'm going to just click on rocky test and then when we're in, already in the rocky test subgroup we'll be able to send in some prompts so guys there is one thing or one advantage of blue willow is that it does not need you to fill to fill in any toc condition you just go ahead and start creating your first image but now if you use blue willow more than one time maybe you'll have used it for like five times or six times or so you will be prompted to verify your blue willow account using a phone number don't worry uh it is international so it accommodate accommodates everyone whether you are in india pakistan america uk it's very very accommodative so if you just put your phone number it will be able to be verified personally i verified mine and it went through so let's create our first image for example let us imagine let us imagine a tree with colorful fruits let's see let's just see seems like it didn't take that command let's do it again there is no harm we are saying imagine a tree with color or, or this is our own let's see or you can no i don't want to introduce this it's complex with colorful fruits so guys you can notice it's giving us an idea of a tree that we can just input by the way you can input an image that's something i didn't tell you you can input an image and therefore it's going to use that image to give you another unique image surrounding the image that you that you sent in so we are going to just enter and guys i told you these things happen so quickly they happen so quickly so you have to be very keen you have to be very very keen with your stuff so it's saying great prompt we are working on it stay tuned so it's going to, we'll have to wait a little while and then it will process our image so let's wait so guys this is our prompt it is still processing so we just have to wait and see ok 
okay this is what blue willow gave us i can't see color for fruits so but i think these are fruits if i'm not wrong but it's a big no there is no tree that is nearing to our imagination so let's try another prompt let's say anim girl on a scooter let's just say anim girl on a scooter let's see so it's sending the command again it has disappeared let us look for it So guys, that is our anim girl on a scooter. You can have an up close look on it and see. So that you can be able to check. And on this one guys, you are going to try on variations. We see how it works. So feel free with Blue Willow because this is free, completely free. As compared to me, Journey Blue Willow is free. It allows you to generate as many pictures or as many images as possible without having to worry about any any subscription. So, for example, I love this anime girl in blue on a blue scooter. So, I think we'll do a variation of this, we see. So, let's try and see how it goes. So as I as I told you guys this one is for upscale one if you like this one you can just say upscale one and then you it will load this one and it will allow you to save it this one is for upscale 2 this one is for upscale 3 and this one is for upscale 4 but right now we are not going to upscale right now we will we'll have to play about with variations and on this case I loved animal 2 and so definitely I'll use variation 2. So let me just click variation 2. And then I'll have to scroll downward and see the variations that it's giving me. So let's go and see. It's going to give us... Um, going to give us no we did not say we didn't this this these hours right no no this is not ours but I see someone someone had the same exact idea like we had I bet I even don't know this person but I think they have an idea of the same thing we are looking for so let us go down and see our variation of our anim girl on a scooter let's see where she is She's somewhere around we're going to see the variations how variations work so here guys we are waiting for variations we see that 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 scooter girl in different form of like design and all that so let us see what blue willow will give us so let's be a little more patient patience 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 wow this is what now we have this is what we've gotten but guys i don't like this because we can't see their face we can't see this. So guys, uh, what I want to show you is that there are some various challenges you will meet because there's nothing that is perfect. So what you do, if you don't like this photo, you keep sending commands, keep doing variations until you get what you're looking for. So as for me, because this is just for the sake of teaching you guys, we'll just do an upscale of one of those girls. 
and then you'll see how it goes so it disappeared we're still going to look for it don't worry so guys you can choose also to do a variation of this for example you can choose to have a variation of these two or a variation of these three so you keep doing that so for example for example i'll just say i'm comfortable with with maybe girl two so i'll do an upscale of girl two and then see how it goes so after that i'll just go down and see and see what has and see the upscale so let's go down. Okay guys, we are still on Blue Willow. So let us make another image. Let us this time round imagine something crazy. Then we try and prompt the Blue Willow to create us another image. So as usual we are going to do plus then use up and then we are going to say image prompt so we are going to say a high definition picture of an anime so i don't know what has happened let, let us just rewind on that use mm -hmm. We will say a high definition picture of an anime girl eating pizza sitting sitting on the moon then we'll do enter so this is our prompt we want to keep up with it we want to keep up with our stuff there we have it girls uh no <laughs> we have it so we have our anime girl she's sitting on the moon and she's eating pizza so guys you can choose to do variation of anime one or two and see as for me i see anime girl two is close to my imagination so or oh, this one is also cool but i'll uh, i prefer image two so as usual i'll do upscale two and then i'll proceed to i'll proceed downward to look for my upscale So guys there we have it we have our girl and she's eating pizza sitting on a moon so we're good to go from there so how are we going to get the image or how are we going to save the image just click on the image then you right click and then we say save image so it will send us to our file so let's uh -huh. then you say anime girl on moon or anime girl sitting on the moon and that's it guys we have our picture and it's done and and that's it so what i can advise you guys is try as much as possible to be orderly because we'll we'll download as much images as we can as much as we can so it is always important to make sure that you have a 
organized your files or your images orderly so you can go ahead and for example you can come to your files and for example do you can say you can go here and uh, you can do a new folder for example then you're going to say a i at images and now from there you can proceed and maybe transfer your stuff there like this is an image that we did yesterday so you just bring them all in here just try as much as possible to be orderly guys it's very very important no yes and that's it guys so it's very very important to make sure that you're very very orderly your images are all set they are looking orderly in one place like this one we can just cut it this is an image we made the other day with you guys so we just cut it and it's saying it's not responding but okay So guys, we will just cut it and come and paste it here. As usual, or oh, we already pasted. So we are, if you need to access your art, you can just come to your files and then look for this folder, AI art images. And maybe now let's see what we have. You see, already our images are set in one place. So that's it guys for Blue Willow. I hope that you have understood a step-by-step -step guide and now you can confidently go and open you, your new Blue Willow account for free and actually make some interesting images according to your imagination or what you want as an artist or a pure beginner as you have seen this thing is very very user friendly and as for blue willow it's completely free also midjourney is free in a way it allows you to create and five images and then from there you can just pay a small monthly subscription so the choice is yours make your choice and from there you'll be good to go start making interesting images share with me or share with your friend or do anything you like with it so thank you very much for, for giving me your full attention. Once again, I remind you guys that if you have any question or if you need me to guide you in anything, don't forget to contact me. My job is to make sure that you understand everything without struggling. So I will guide you with a lot of love and I'll make sure that you're good to go and that you have started creating uh awesome images like this one here so let's now move to the next thing until next time bye bye happy generating new ai art thank you thank you so much So guys we have come to the end of chapter 2 where we have discussed a lot on setting up the environment which is basically opening up the mid journey account and actually familiarizing with the mid journey AI and uh, we have done some practical stuff also we were also looking into the blue willow we also set up a blue willow ai account and we have also familiarized ourselves with blue willow and how to generate fantastic images using both ai art so guys thank you so much for your time thank you for following following kinley so 
we are now we are going to move into the next thing and that will be the business part of how you can utilize these two AIs to make a good income out of it. So let's move to the next thing. Hello everyone. Today we will be looking into the chapter 3 of the course. And uh, in this chapter 3, we will be checking on the business benefits of AI art. So on this part, we will look into the kind of businesses you can actually start up with the help of where you can actually utilize the AI art that we have just seen to bring in a good revenue. So... So let us ask ourselves this question. How can AI art benefit businesses? So there are three major things that uh, the AI art can, uh, can benefit businesses. One, that is saving time. It saves a lot of time. Also, it enables customization ability. And also number three, it increases efficiency uh also there are other benefits uh it is cost effective because sometimes we are forced to to pay artists to come up with uh arts according to our preferences so when you have for example blue blue willow or mid journey you are able to save a lot of money where you can get the image of your own preference at a very, very small fee when it comes to to mid journey. But as for Blue Willow, it is completely free. So, so guys, AI art. So, AI art generated by GPT-3 models like mid journey and Blue Willow can benefit businesses in a number of ways so number one it helps in automating the process of creating art uh, businesses can save a lot of time and increase efficiency as they no longer have to manually create images or hire artists so on that part of hiring artists we can say we can co commend AI art so so much because it is saving a lot of time and a lot of money. So additionally, AI art can be easily customized to fit specific requirements, allowing businesses to quickly generate new designs and visual content on demand. So furthermore, AI art can be used to generate a high demand images at scale, reducing the cost and efforts required to produce a large volume of visual content. So generally, AI art can be very, very helpful for businesses when it comes to saving time, money, resources, while enabling them to create unique very high quality and visual content in a faster and a more efficient manner now there is a way we can apply the ai art in very very um, with uh, in major aspects of business which include marketing advertising as well as under other industries so AI art has a wide range of applications when it comes to marketing, advertising, and other industries such as branding, website design, and all that. So when it comes to advertising, AI art can be used to generate creative and eye-catching images and graphics for advertising campaigns. So if you are there, you want to 
to give high quality advertising without having to worry about royalties and all that you can consider using ai art it will give you just what you want the, the same the, the only thing that you're figuring out ai art as we have seen is able or is capable of giving you high quality images according to what you prefer uh free of charge and it's going to do it quickly and it's going to give you high quality images that are eye catching enough to to enhance your advertising campaigns so there is also the product visualization so ai art can be used to generate 3d images and product rendering that can be used in product marketing and e-commerce uh social media also can benefit a lot from the ai art so ai art can be used to generate custom graphics you can generate memes and other type of visual content for social media marketing campaigns also that is web design so ai art can be used to generate web design elements such as headers background images very unique visual elements that are crucial to create an attractive website according to your niche also you can use you can utilize ai art when it comes to branding so this art can be used to generate logos yes you can generate a full logo as easy as that using the ai art also you can you can create illustrations and other visual elements that can be used to enhance brand identity also we can utilize the ai art when it comes to event promotion so on this one uh the art can be used to generate promotional graphics and flyers for events and exhibitions so if you if you're good at promotions or if you're working somewhere and you want to do promotions you can consider ai art for this it's very very beneficial also there is the virtual and augmented reality so in this one ai art can be used to create virtual and augmented reality experience for marketing and advertising purposes so these are just a few examples of how ai art can be used in various industries guys so its ability to generate high quality images and graphics quickly and cost effectively makes it valuable tool for businesses looking to enhance their marketing and advertising efforts so if you are a business or, or if you have a business somewhere and you want to see how you can improve so improve your business kind of prom promotional activities marketing or advertising or even web design you can consider using ai art and nobody will come to like sue you because you have used their image so there is freedom guys there is cost effectiveness and there is quality so that's all for today we have looked into the business benefit of using ai art and now let's move to the next chapter so until next time bye bye hello everyone today we will be looking into the chapter 3 of the course and uh, in this chapter 3 we will be checking on the business benefits of ai art so on this part we will look into the kind of businesses you can actually start up with the help of where you can actually utilize the ai art that we have just seen to bring in a good revenue so so let us ask ourselves this question 
how can AI art benefit businesses? So there are three major things that uh, the AI art can, uh, can benefit businesses. One, that is saving time. It saves a lot of time. Also, it enables customization ability. And also number three, it increases efficiency. Uh, also, there are other benefits. Uh, it is cost effective because sometimes we are forced to to pay artists to come up with uh, art according to our preferences. So when you have, for example, Blue, Blue Willow or Mid Journey, you are able to save a lot of money where you can get the image of your own preference at a very, very small fee when it comes to, to Mid Journey. But as for Blue Willow, it is completely free. So, so guys, AI art. So AI art generated by GPT-3 models like Mid Journey and Blue Willow can benefit businesses in a number of ways. So number one, it helps in automating the process of creating art. Uh, businesses can save a lot of time and increased efficiency as they no longer have to manually create images or hire artists so on that part of hiring artists we can say we can co commend ai art so so much because it is saving a lot of time and a lot of money so additionally ai art can be easily customized to fit specific requirements allowing businesses to quickly generate new designs and visual content on demand. So furthermore, AI art can be used to generate a high demand images at scale, reducing the cost and efforts required to produce a large volume of visual content. So generally, AI art can be very, very helpful for businesses when it comes to saving time, money, resources, while enabling them to create unique, very high quality and visual content in a faster and a more efficient manner. Now, there is a way we can apply the AI art in very, very, mm, with, uh, in major aspects of business which include marketing advertising as well as under other industries so ai art has a wide range of applications when it comes to marketing advertising and other industries such as branding website design and all that so when it comes to advertising ai art can be used to generate creative and eye-catching images and graphics for advertising campaigns. So if you're there, you want to, to give high-quality advertising without having to worry about royalties and all that, you can consider using AI art. It will give you just what you want. The, the same, the, the only thing that you're figuring out, AI art, as we have seen, is able or is capable of giving you high quality images according to what you prefer uh, free of charge and it's going to do it quickly and it's going to give you high quality images that are eye-catching enough to to enhance your advertising campaigns so there is also the product visualization so AI art can be used to generate 3D images and product rendering that can be used in product marketing and e-commerce. Uh, social media also can benefit a lot from the AI art. So AI art can be used to generate custom graphics. You can generate memes and other type of visual content for social media marketing campaigns. Also, that is web design. 
So AI art can be used to generate web design elements such as headers, background images, very unique visual elements that are crucial to create an attractive website according to your niche. Also, you can use you can utilize AI art when it comes to branding. So this art can be used to generate logos. Yes, you can generate a full logo as easy as that using the AI art. Also, you can you can create illustrations and other visual elements that can be used to enhance brand identity. Also, we can utilize the AI art when it comes to event promotion. So on this one, uh, the art can be used to generate promotional graphics and flyers for events and exhibitions. So if, you, if you're good at promotions or if you're working somewhere and you want to do promotions, you can consider AI art for this. It's very, very beneficial. Also, there is the virtual and augmented reality. So in this one, AI art can be used to create virtual and augmented reality experience for marketing and advertising purposes. So these are just a few examples of how AI art can be used in various industries, guys. So its ability to generate high quality images and graphics quickly and cost effectively makes it valuable tool for businesses looking to enhance their marketing and advertising efforts so if you are a business or, or if you have a business somewhere and you want to see how you can improve so improve your business kind of prom promotional activities marketing or advertising or even web design you can consider using ai art and nobody will come to like sue you because you have used their image so there is freedom guys there is cost effectiveness and there is quality so that's all for today we have looked into the business benefit of using ai art and now let's move to the next chapter so until next time bye bye Hello my good people, how are you? Once again, welcome as we continue with our course. So we have finally gotten into chapter 4, yay! So on this chapter, we, we are going to focus on three major business ideas. You can start and utilize AI art and actually create a new revenue stream as well as boosting your brand recognition. So once again, I want your full attention, guys. Buckle up, grab your laptop, grab your notebook, and follow keenly as I will take you step by step on all these businesses. And if you have any questions, feel free to contact me. I will guide you with love. So what are these? three major business ideas that you can actually start and succeed using or utilizing AI generated images. These potential business ideas include Amazon Kindle. Guys, Amazon Kindle is a very, very good business venture. We'll dig deeper, don't worry. There is YouTube. We have some people making million dollars out of just YouTube. Also, there is print on demand. So, you can utilize AI art very well on these major business ideas. So, I'm just giving you these ideas. We will explore through this business idea. So, if you are a go-getter, I'm sure... You will maybe start one or if you want to start all of them, no problem. By the end of this course, you will have learned uh, a lot concerning these three businesses and how you can actually use AI generated images 
to utilize them and actually bring a good income stream one that is capable of even reaching up to a six figure per month yes a six figure per month i know what i'm talking about guys i've done it i have friends who have done it and i've seen so many many people who are doing this and they are succeeding they are succeeding just from the comfort of their own homes so guys artificial intelligence has made a huge impact in the world of design and ai generated images have become a very popular tool for businesses especially in since 2022 so uh, it is used to create high quality visuals with ease with the advent of ai tools such as mid journey and blue willow on this case but there are more there is doll e there is playground and other there are many but after a lot of research i came to realize that blue willow and mid journey are one of the best ai tools that can create nice images so businesses now have the opportunity to generate a significant income from ai generated images so one potential business idea is actually starting a youtube channel where you can showcase your ai generated images and educate your followers on the potential ai art you can actually open a youtube channel and focus on these two niches blue willow and uh, mid journey it's a wide topic so you can choose to to narrow down your niche into just that but there is more you can do with with such art when it comes to youtube so there is another option uh you can also consider uh you can so another option is to use ai generated images for print on demand so print on demand uh include things like wall art clothing mugs and more so these print on demands they need uh unique images interesting images so we can utilize ai art for such things so you can sell these products on very famous platforms like etsy ebay amazon atomic tea springs red bubble you name it you name it guys there is a lot out there there's a lot out there but don't worry i will guide you in each and everything that i mentioned here so finally ai generated images can also be used to create a low content book for amazon kindle how amazing with this platform you can create kids coloring books and other types of low content books which are popular among kindle readers so with the right strategy and of course the right marketing and the right uh, design techniques you can make a good revenue stream from selling your low content book on amazon kindle so ai generated images have the potential to open up as many business opportunities as possible for individuals and businesses whether it's youtube channel print on demand amazon kindle other guys they prefer to be freelancers where you can just freelance around and create images interesting images for people you can decide to sell these images on websites such, such as nft where you can sell those pictures there is more to that guys but on this course we are going to focus on those three business ideas and i'm sure they will really really help you so there are many ways to monetize your ai generated images and make a very good income from this growing field so uh, as the world is revolution is revolutionized sorry is evolving i'm sorry or it's growing i want you to keep up with the growing world guys i want you to keep up with the growing world grow grow with technology advance with technology and those people who will who will do this i'm telling you you will have an upper hand compared to those people who don't know about this so spread the gospel uh refer people to this course and also i'm hoping that you will learn a lot <music>
like I said guys, YouTube is one of the major business ideas you can start as early as today and I guarantee you AI art will really really benefit you in this one. So it can be useful for YouTube channels in several ways. I've just listed a few but I will explain. I will expound on others so one you can it can help you so for those who already have youtube channels and you keep worrying about maybe the images you use for thumbnails maybe you don't have a good camera or maybe you want to to give something unique something that will attract people or you want some quality or you want to just do things differently or you're worried about royalties and all that uh ai art got you in this one so you can do thumbnail creation so ai art can be used to generate custom thumbnails for videos which can help attract viewers and increase through rates so guys i'll take you through how to create a thumbnail so let me show you how you can create a thumbnail then we can go to intros and outro graphics and then later backgrounds and animations so follow me as we are going to make a very very beautiful or eye-catching thumbnail for a video and i'm hoping you learn a lot so let's go <music> hello family welcome let's uh, keep doing this so earlier on we we talked about the business ideas that you can start with the help of an AI and one of them we talked about YouTube and I told you that I'm going to teach you on how you can create very unique and yet catchy thumbnails so first of all what is thumbnails thumbnails for example let us go to stretch YouTube it's like for example a trap or a bait that will convince uh, viewers to click to your YouTube uh, channel and actually view the video. So these are thumbnails. And the good news is you can, because most of YouTubers, they really struggle creating thumbnails. So you can use AI art to, to get very good and attractive, unique thumbnails. So basically you have understood what a thumbnail is. So in the thumbnail creation, you will need some some softwares here and there, but you don't have to worry, guys, because I'll walk you through and I'll make sure that you have understood what you need and how you navigate through these softwares. You don't have to be an expert in this, but because they are very very friendly and you'll be able to navigate through and actually come up with a very good, simple but very attractive thumbnail. So first of all, you would need uh either blue willow or mid journey for now i'm using blue willow guys but we will use mid journey at some point uh as i told you earlier that blue willow is completely free so i prefer blue willow myself but if you can be able to afford to pay for mid journey or something you can use mid journey so you will need the blue willow ai next thing you will need something that is called canva canva for those who don't know what Canva is, it's a software. Uh, it has both free and uh, paid paid uh, package. So in this free, Canva is what most uh, graphic designers use or most YouTubers use or many people use to design different stuff. And we can create a very simple and awesome thumbnail with the help of Canva. I hope you are together from there. So let's go back. To our to our discord to our blue willow and uh, before we go there I want us to go back to YouTube and steal some ideas for example first of all after you have created your video let's say my video is about making money so in this one I'm going to go to YouTube and and maybe look for people who have made the same kind of video that I have made and maybe I can steal ideas of the kind of thumbnails they have used so for example for example i i made a video about how to make a hundred us dollars per day so i'll just come and type in how to make a hundred us dollars per day and then i just say search so here i want to 
to see what these guys used for their thumbnails. Uh, for example, this guy has how many views? He has 1.1 views, and this is the kind of thumbnail, thumbnail he's used. This another one is one it's seven k. So these guys normally what has worked for them definitely it will work for you. So here uh, there is this reaction that um I've noticed guys um many people as you can see ev almost everyone here either they are holding money or their eyes are wide open and their mouth is wide open they're looking excited and they're looking surprised as if this is new and everything so as you can see yes so these are ideas that you can steal and have a, at least an idea of what you are going to create at blue willow mm, personally i see this idea of guys opening their wide open uh, their mouth wide open and their eyes wide open is a very good idea and i choose to pick that up now let's go to the next step the next step is getting now the image or getting the reaction and how are we going to do it guys we are going to to give our blue willow some commands and then it's going to create us a nice image that we are going to use so we are going to come to image then prompt then definitely you can either use a guy or a lady but i would prefer a guy it's you can choose anything guys you don't have to use what i used but i would prefer to use a guy picture so i'm going to, to say i'm going to say imagine a young guy a young guy looking surprised with He's uh, uh, surprised and he's also excited and excited with his hands. Ah, uh, no, 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 not his hands, with his mouth and eyes wide open. So now that we have commanded Blue Willow and we have given it our description, we're just going to put enter. So there is this thing guys I want you to, to learn. As you can remember over time we've been having this problem of kind of tracing our, our images throughout this confusion. Everyone, everyone is trying to send commands and so there are so many images. So we've been having difficulties in trying to trace them. But there is a solution guys and I want you to pay keen attention in what I'm going to do and it is going to help you when it comes to tracing your image so you do this you come here at search and then you say mention mentions mentions yeah mentions and then you say mentions user so when you say mentions user you put in your username what is our username our username currently it's heavenly uh like that currently and now it's going to search it for you so when it it does that, you come here and you say jump. Are you together? You you come and click jump. And there you go. You have your images. But earlier on, I'm not seeing any surprise guy here, and it's it's as it's as if it hasn't followed my command. But earlier on, I had given you some few prompts on some few guys, and uh, this is one of them is another one jump to this one it had given me i had looked for some few images still no so let me go down i had also given a, it another image jump to that personally i like I, I like this version of guys they their mouths are all wide open and they're looking all surprised and all that and i like it this one looks happy this one I think this one goes with with what I want. Uh, this one, this one goes with what I want. This one looks happy. Yes. So uh, I would upscale the first image. So I'll just do upscale one. So I uh, then go back again at mentions and then I just enter. If my if my image is ready, I'll just have it. Yes, I think it's ready. Because when you see this screen part, it shows you that your image is ready. So 
it's somewhere around here let's see so our image is ready just jump straight into it just jump Where is this yes and there we have it so that's all now that we we have the idea and now we have our image we are just going to download our image and then now we can jump straight to Canva. I hope that we are together from there and I hope you have understood something guys. So how do we save our image? Just come, click on the image and then you say save image as. So how are we going to save this image? We are going to say we are coming here at AI at images and then we are going to say I was surprised, dude. Yeah. So we are going to save it. Now we have our surprise, dude, and we have our image. That's good. Thank God. Now we are going to jump straight to Canva. I know someone is getting worried here, but let me tell you guys, Canva is very friendly. Anyone can use it. So here we are at Canva. So, if you don't have an account, guys, it's very important to have an account. It's very important. You just go to your Google. You just type in Canva and then you open an account. So, here I had already done some preparations. But I'm going to like go back for you guys to see everything that I did. So, after I came and logged into my account, I came and said, create design. Create design now it's going to give you options like what has brought us here at canva uh, what has brought us here at canva we have come here to create a youtube thumbnail yes so we are going to save youtube thumbnails so normally it's going to give us templates so these templates are the ones that we can pick from and actually use them and actually use them to create or we are just going to take one and customize it but remember guys we are doing a free version so the ones that have some this kind of um a crown they are paid for so you are going to look for any other one that doesn't have a crown but if you will pay guys if you can be able to pay well and good as for me i'm using the nini so the free one so here i'm going to choose this one because it is going actually like closely to what i want now that we have our template guys we are going now to customize it using using our our image and using our own kind of creative creativity but we are not limited to this we can still look for another image images are many i love this one too this is great it's awesome so let let us settle at least on one on one kind of thumbnail so we are not going to use just exactly this thumbnail guys we are going now to customize it for it to look unique according to what we've talked about what, uh, according to what we've talked about so what are we going to do from here we are now coming to this one and then are now going to delete that guy we don't want him anymore thank you so we are coming here to from there we are coming here to elements right together guys <coughs> sorry about that no no we are going we are going to come to designs and then here we are going to upload our our image the one that we we created with ai so we're going to upload it now that we have now we are going to look for uh, for our image i think it's, a, it's at uh, downloads we had saved it in this file where is it 
for that image. We had saved it in the AI files. So here he is, our surprise guy. And now we are going to kind of upload it. We're going to upload this particular image and we will maybe upload the rest later. But currently we want to use this image. So it's uploaded. There we have it. Then we are going to take it. Then we are going to just uh, drag him here. And then we are going to expand him. Uh -huh. Let me show you a trick. You want to avoid these lines, so this dot must be like kinda. You must like fit in something like that. Um, also, you must want to bring him nearer like that. Okay, he should not touch the words or something. So. This is just an example, guys. As you can see, it's not hard. Then from there, we are going to think of a catchy, of a catchy title. And now, let me show you another trick, guys, that you don't know. There is another AI by the name ChatGPT. And that is very good when it comes to generating ideas. So, I already have ChatGPT. And I would encourage you guys, if you can get ChatGPT, is very it will be very, very helpful for you. It will help you generate ideas. So, for example, we are going to say new chat. Mm. Then we are going to tell it, um, give me a few ideas for my thumb nail. I've created a video on YouTube on how to make hundred no no not a thousand a thousand is, is exaggerated a hundred US dollars per day guys watch this what this Money rains, cash stack, hundred dollars bill, successful entrepreneur, money making blueprint. I love this money making blueprint. Mm -hmm. But I don't love actually these ideas. So we are just going to use our own imagination. So there is this catchy ideas that I've heard or I've seen people use. They they say like how I did. So, you can see how mm -mm, we are going to delete this part. So, we are going to come to elements. What this guy is? Elements. And then we are going to say text. And then now we are going to say, we are going to say, we are going to add text. A text box. And so, this text box, we don't need this one. So, we are going to delete him. And now we are going to to insert our own text box, and uh, this is the text box that we have inserted, guys. Mm -hmm. We are going to just drag it somewhere here, and maybe we are going to like uh, twist it or something. We are just going to like rotate it for it to um, like look like that. This interesting stuff and then now we are going to add text so we are going to text now and say no we don't I don't like the, the font the black font so we, we are going to use maybe another color mm -hmm. let's say a, a colorful color like that one made 
then you come here this is this is good this test is good a hundred pistolas how i make not i made how i make you see how i make and US dollars per party. I don't like this one, so I'm just going to remove it. I don't like that one, I'm going to remove it. So, guys, as you can see, we have something totally maybe near to. isn't that amazing we have a unique thumbnail at the same time very catchy so anybody who comes across this i'm sure they would we, we don't want this um that line to be seen so that's why you're seeing me uh removing it and all that eh? <coughs> so guys this is what basically a thumbnail is it is as simple as that guys we have already made our thumbnail and it's good and guys you're not limited you're not limited you're not limited at all at all you can remove that part of canva yes and uh you can also remove this one yes so like that so something like that huh? it's looking unique it's looking awesome and all these just ai uh, okay we're going to just remove the watermarks <coughs> but not right now we haven't paid so we can't use that so just let it go so we have our thumbnail and i like it so this one we can use it for our video you can just attach it when you're uploading the video and let me tell you it's going to attract a lot of views or what do you think guys maybe you can tell me you can tell me in the q and a section and then maybe we can change or we can improve or we can just clap at ourselves so that's all guys with how to create a thumbnail using ai at uh, uh with the help of canva and maybe at some point with the help of chat gpt guys i didn't show you a lot here but um you can choose to use this kind of text that is already here you can just use maybe this text you can choose not to like add a text box in your text you can just come in and for example let me show you an example you can just come and uh, use this you can just come and use this and say um hmm. you can use um <coughs> sorry I have a cold so that's all guys let's just undo i don't want this but that's all guys you can use this text here and you can modify them according to your own wording and it will be good to go so that's all so what next what's next after you have created your image and after you have liked it you say wow this is cool and everything you just come at files and then you download your thumbnail and that's all guys you download the thumbnails and uh, there you have it no we, we don't want to pay now if you want to download our image you just come to file then we say download and then we say download and then it will download our image then from there if it has completed downloading it we come straight to files and then we go to downloads here it is calling itself income i don't know why it's calling itself income but i think we should have renamed it or something so that's all guys we there we have our uh let let it load so that's it so that's it guys there we have our thumbnail and it's looking awesome and that's all you don't have to be an expert or anything you just have to learn the few basics 
and there you go. Wow. So thank you for your time. See you for the next class. Bye bye. Hello everyone. I'm hoping we are all good. We are doing well since we we were together, guys. Uh, today I'm going to show you. Uh, I'm going to show you how you can make a good intro intro video for your YouTube channel using um, using the power of AI and with the help of Canva. So last time uh, we talked about. Um, starting a youtube channel as a good as a good business idea that can be that can benefit a lot from the ai art so we tackled how you can make a simple thumbnail using ai art and canva and now we will go on out to the next thing how to make a good youtube intro video using ai art and uh, some few canva features so i want you to pay a lot of attention in this i'm going to take you step by step guys and i hope that you will understand so guys uh first of all before now you make an intro an introduction video normally an introduction video is this video that you you use like you use in all your youtube videos so normally this video is meant to to like uh, motivate your viewers to subscribe to your channel and to make them feel at home. So it's some sort of welcome video and uh, it is also very important when it comes to brand recognition. So somehow it um it makes you like stand out from other YouTubers who have the same niche with you. So, for example, in this one, we are going to ask ourselves, what is our YouTube channel all about? So, for example, our YouTube channel is about fitness. There's that fitness, uh, fitness YouTube channels is a very, very good niche, guys, and it is very marketable. And uh, most people who are doing it, for example, if we now, for example, go straight to YouTube, we can look for fitness channels and then we can see how much they are, how much views people are getting from there and so that we can know if this niche is a good niche or something so i'm not limiting you guys to like choose this kind of niche you're free to do what you want to do according to your passion you can always open a youtube it is free it is diverse you can choose to be unique, you can choose to be outstanding uh, according to what you like doing. Guys, let me tell you, let me give you a hint. When you want to, to open a YouTube channel, you ask yourself, what do I love doing? For example, myself, I love teaching. So if I were to open a YouTube channel, I, I already have it, guys. I'll, I'll, I'll tell you that another time. Okay, if I was to open a YouTube channel, what would it be? For example, like this guy is into hair implant and all that. This one is a pastor. He has a he has a calling. You see, this one is a singer and all that. So what you do, you you do what to 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 in order for you to be successful in YouTube, you need first of all to understand yourself. Self actualization, like what do i love doing what do i love doing am I, am I into sports am i into fitness am i into technology am i into ai am i into beauty am i into tourism am i into cooking so you do according to your niche so for example today we are going to imagine uh we love fitness so we are going to see what most fitness youtubers are doing we're going to steal their ideas like this one their niche is fitness so we are going to see what they are doing for their fitness 
So normally in most fitness YouTube channels, what they do, they show people how to do some exercises like they guide people or they just show people how to work out and all that and all that so for example this guy here I, we are seeing that this guy is having 79k views and he did this only eight days ago so fitness guys is a very good niche but uh just as i i told you guys you don't have to like do what everyone else is doing you can be unique you can start the craziest youtube channel and you'll be shocked you'll be shocked that you'll get uh subscribers and you'll get a lot of views and at the end of the day it will really pay so normally this is what fitness is all about fitness channels so let us see this one for example let's see what they are doing let's see if they have an intro video and if they don't have no problem as we're just going to create our own either way. This is the first video that Alex has released in a very long time. She was a new YouTube video on her channel that has since she found out her name. That's So as you as you can see guys, this person doesn't have an intro video. He has just introduced himself and these ladies. And now he's just doing some kind of graphics and he has just gone ahead and we have started doing the exercises. But wow, it's good. So let's do our intro video. So basically that is what if you have a fitness channel, that is what you can you can do and now we have an idea of what a fitness channel is all about now we will go straight into creating our first intro video so guys as you can remember last time i showed you when you come to canva first thing you do you come here at create design so here you're going to say we want to where are we here we want to create a youtube intro a YouTube intro intro yes this one so it is going to give us templates and then we are going to use these templates to customize them into our own fitting to give us what to give us to give us an example or a template of how our intro video is going to look like so guys i'm into kind of white brown and goldish so as you can remember i told you for those who are not in pro or for those who have not paid for canva there is a free version and it is very good guys if you don't have the money to pay you can always do the free version and it's it's just okay but for those who are doing the pro version the crown parts eh? The, the one if you see like a template with a crown you know that one is paid for so avoid it because you're going to use it yes but at the end of the day when you go to download your your your, your work it will refuse until you pay so you have to be very keen when you're selecting when you're selecting these templates so guys i am into white brown goldish and all that so this is good for me so i'm just going to take an example an example of this one so i love this so i'm going to select it so this this is a vlog template but us we are going to make sure that okay it's not going to be a blog so so this is a kind of a vlog intro video but we are going to modify it to look like a fitness intro video so I already put this first video i just came here guys and i said workout workout videos under this video i just said i came to elements then i went to videos and i ex a search workout workout videos and now i'm so careful not to choose uh 
got to choose the the crowned ones i'm looking for the like totally free stuff so i love that one so i'm going to just like choose it uh and i'm going to remove this one i'm going to just say delete that one i want you to be very keen i'm editing i'm putting my own uh sorry i'm putting in my own my own videos so <coughs> sorry about that <coughs> i'm going to bring this one in and then it's just going to fit in there yes so as you can see these are videos this is another video and this is another one they are working out now i'm going to add another video here i'm going to add another video till for working out so maybe we're, we're just going to say because i'm seeing many of these people are men so we're going to say women work out or black woman or white woman whichever as long as it's a woman no problem so we are going to wait for this to give us another video and then we are going to put it in here yes so we, are, we want to make sure that um, we have changed we have changed this uh intro video for it to look like it's a it's a fitness channel intro video and not a vlog intro video guys i want you to see the importance of using a template at least a template gives you an idea of what you're going to like design so i find graphic design so easy i find it so it's it's in fact it's the simplest art or skill that you can have and it is going to be very helpful with the help of something like canva with its templates at least it does the whole thinking for you and then you, you just have like to go pick up from there and then go give it some ideas but at least it has given you a template or an idea of what you can do or what works so uh -huh. i want to make sure everything is fitted inside so we want to get a not crowned template of a woman working out so we are going to look closely and see if there is any i'm not seeing any guys seem all of them are crowned but not to worry not to worry we have an ai like before we started all these guys i i went to blue willow and i asked it to create me a few images a few images and uh these images i was to use them for like creating this this intro video so we are just going to come here and say upload and then we are going to upload from files we have ai art images this is what i look for guys i look for this one and i look for that one this one and this one so with an expectation of using them for this intro video so i had like done a pre-preparation before so we are going to choose this one and then we are going to say open and then there the the image will load and maybe we are going to use that image here okay, together guys we are going to use it here we're going to sit here yes and it will look appealing it will look like a real picture like it was taken somewhere like in real sense it was made with an ai and i hope you can remember how to create nice excellent pictures or excellent images with the use of an ai so so far so good so I'm just going to use this picture and, I'm, and then I'm going to delete this this video yes I'm going to delete this video and I'm going to replace it with this picture yes are you together from there guys I hope that you you are and you're getting all these things apparently it is so easy 
now maybe we can maybe look for another picture another like video let's just say gym uh no let's say just fitness mm -hmm. now i think i'm pleased with what we have guys i'm pleased with the videos that we have selected and i like what i see but there are a few things that we haven't done and we need to change some few things here and there for our intro video to fit into our niche. So we are going to change this part here. It's saying uh, vlog daily. For example, we are going to say. Um, we're going to say fitness daily. So we replace that. Uh, with fitness daily fitness uh, daily so we don't want it to look like that so we're going to just do something like this and then maybe uh, we will move it uh, we'll move this part but guys it depends with your creativity it depends with the you, with your aesthetics and your taste so here this person is saying a day in my life so you can think of like another kind of description but still a day in my life is cool but since it is not a blog it is some kind of a fitness uh, activity um, channel so you're going to say maybe you're going to say living each day fit yes i think that's amazing so i'm going to change this and i'm not going to use the exactly the exact uh the exact font he used maybe i'm going to change my font to look very different Maybe I can do with what color here. Maybe that one. Let's see how it will say. Mm -hmm. So this is where we will type in. We will type in the word living. Living. Each. So we will say living each. Uh -huh. then um, we are going to, to like um so we put this design of four design leaving each let me change the font that is too i think too dull let's see the next dull i think this was the best was the best color this was the best so leaving each then here we are going to say day we're going to type in day we, are, we, we will type day fit so day fit so we're going to make sure that at least the font size is the same we'll make sure the font size is the same so this one is a hundred and this one is 63.2 so we are going to make sure at least it is at around 63 so we just reduce the font the font size a little bit for it to just fit in so We'll just bring this one at least nearer. 
then I want us to add some a few aesthetics to add this so we can come here under text and then we're going to say effects so I, I love this um, outline effect Line effect and uh, the best color to just give it an outline is this one but you can change the color you can change uh, the outline color maybe you can give it such a color or even that you can like you can change uh, the outline color I'm trying to go back to the previous outlay. Yeah, I think I think now we have it. So this is good progress, guys. We are slowly changing the grid to look as if it is uh it's all about fitness. I like the stars, so I'm not going to do much change on that. Now we have we have the the grid ready it's okay now we will we will go ahead and make another we are going to add another another clip here so that it can become a continuous introduction video so th this will be the first part of the video then we are going to add another short part another short clip that will have the welcome stuff and everything and subscribe and like and share and welcome and all that so that is very important in like most uh, most introduction videos they they normally have that welcome uh welcome this is where you like welcome we will get this and this from this youtube channel don't forget to subscribe share and like and then now from there they now go to the now to the actual videos we are together yes i'm really hoping that you guys are understanding um if you've noticed guys i'm taking you very slowly i am not doing it in a hurry i don't want anyone being left behind but if you feel you need to ask any question i'm always there to interact with you guys at the q a question you can engage with me and then you can ask any question and i'll be more than glad to help you because that is my job to make sure that you guys have understood everything and you can actually go out there and do what i'm teaching you and actually use this skill to like to like uh use this skill uh, for the purpose of making profit so now let's go to the next part so guys i'm showing you video editing and it is as simple as this so we have the first clip and this is it now we are going to come here and then we'll say plus so here we are adding a page and so here we are going to like look for a video a video that is saying welcome as uh, welcome you can look for a video that has this welcome intro something yes yeah, something like that so we will going we are going to get a, a video that has that is written welcome and then from there we will use it so we're going to look for a color that resonates with our first part remember when you're making this when you're making a video 
or when you're making any graphic design you should be very sensitive with color and branding and theme you should make sure that you match your colors appropriately because we can't say that the first part is is as bright as this and then the second part you make it yellow no at least you should do something that goes uh that goes with almost the same colors as the first one are we together from there so guys if if there is none we can always improvise a video it's not hard okay let me do this let me show you how you can improvise a video or how you can just make an animated video and uh it will be good to go so what we will do first of all we'll we will make sure that this part has a background so we are going to look for a background texture we just say back background background texture yes so we want to make sure that at least our video has a has a background texture normally a background uh enhances your video or enhances your video it makes it look appealing other than just plain background plain white background it is always good to like play with the, with aesthetics so there is background texture here so i'm seeing most of them are crowned but don't worry guys there is always something for us there is always something for us if you look keenly there's somewhere we'll find uh, something that we can use that at least resonates with the with the first part of the video mm -hmm. let us look for gradient color and we want photos we don't want videos so yeah photos or graphics let's do graphics and then we say uh gradient color yes and there we have it guys here it is you see you can say i can go back to texture texture background There is always something for us. So let it load. Yes, there we have it. Guys, I, I'm seeing two colors here that at least resonates with our first part. We can do this. And then, and then this one, you'll just make sure that uh, you fill it in the whole page. Make sure that it goes to all and covers the whole part covers the whole part yes yes like that yeah we're almost there we're almost there good so at least this color at least goes matches with our with our first part are we together from there yes now let's go to the next thing we already have the background now we are going to get the animated text guys animated text can make very nice videos they are so nice and they are very engaging and so these animated text we are going to incorporate them with some of the ai art that we got from from blue willow Now guys, there we have it. And guys, let me tell you something about AI. Today we have not gone to Blue Willow, but I wanted to tell you something concerning it. You can use AI to create even backgrounds. Actually, you can give it a, a command uh, concerning uh, this kind of background. You say, create me a, a background to be used in a video it should be this and this texture just instruct it and then it's just going to give you then you give it the measurements for example this one you can 
look at the measurements for example right now uh let us see the size it is it is 1920 by 1080 pixels eh? so you can do this you can give ai this kind of instruction sell it create me a, a, a background i want it to be green background image and it should have a, a, a rough texture it should be floral and all that and all that and then it should be then you say uh hyphen hyphen double hyphen you say hyphen hyphen say something like hyphen hyphen ar then you give you give the the size like 920 by 1080 so it is not just um it is not just limited to creating pictures or images of people it's it you can create almost any visual aspect or any any kind of imagination using ai art but for now because we don't have that time today let us just use what canva is providing for us but we, we, we will surely do another ai photo that we took in this um introduction video so for example in this one we can use uh this guy here or we can use uh -huh, we can use uh, we can use this this lady here so we we'll just say open then it's going to load and there we have it so here we have our our lady here and you can always edit this picture for those who have who have pro they have this uh they have this feature of background remover and i think in this one we would really need a background remover or something because we'll just use her the way she is uh then we are editing the picture as you ha i hope you've seen guys i've come to the picture i've clicked on it i've click clicked on it like this it's aspect ratio i've then i've gone to i've clicked on it then i've gone to edit edit image edit photo and when we go to edit photo it can give you a uh, filters you can choose to filter the lady like that so that she can be more browner you can use to use such a filter you can always play around with filter for those who like bleaching up or something this is where you filter and you bleach or you do whatever you want to do you can do whatever you want to do with picture you can crop it you can crop it like this you can just like crop and remove uh, uh the unnecessary stuff like um let me just crop let me see i can crop the picture i can crop the image i can just remove this unnecessary unnecessary kind of um unnecessary background stuff and there we have it we have cropped the picture we have done some filters on it let me get a favorable filter here i will need a shouting one i don't want to change how much she's black and beautiful and i like that so that there there we have it now from there guys i want us to add a text box that says welcome to our youtube channel and let's get fit together so i'm going to add a text box i'm coming here at text then go to add a text box but i think for okay for today let me show you <clears throat> how to use the the text that is already there so let me just uh, remove this just then if you want to remove any feature you click on it then you, you go to the delete button and then you delete 
So let's use today road this this one. Let us use it. Uh huh. You can always change <coughs> the font, no problem. And you can always change it. No, no, not uh, no, no, the font color, but not the font because at least you want to use almost exactly as the the text that we have taken. So what you can do is change the color. So what color goes well with this? I think using the same text color it would be okay. Like the one we used for the... Yeah, let's go. This is the color we will use. So... We we'll say welcome. If you want to reduce the size, goes so we'll say welcome, and then we're going to reduce uh, this part too big but at least we want big big um at least big big wording for it to be visible so we're going to say welcome to our feel free guys you can just expand then you we will do duplicate i want to show you a lot guys i want to show i want to make sure at least you people understand the different aspects of canva and how you can maneuver around with canva so you can duplicate um i don't know what has gone what is the problem but we can always solve that we want to duplicate yes we have duplicated this text part Welcome to our or we could have said uh here we could just um so let's return it uh -huh. and come to our channel. No problem, we can just expand uh, to there and there. And reduce the font size for it to fit. No problem. You can always move it outside. No problem. With a uh, Canva, you can just play around. You can play around. Yes. Welcome to our channel. And let's get fit so and let's get fit so we are going to change the color for it to fit here let's get fit let's try and do another border so you come here at effect now we are going to change this text to to and and keep it on the move so because this is a video so we have to make sure that things are moving here and about. Here and about. And I think that's all we will do for this intro. So we will start by this and then we we'll start by our let us first of all animate this our wordings. But did we put effects? Let's see. If we didn't put, I like let it at least glitter. So I'm going to put the glitch, the glitch kind of an effect for it to look attractive. Yes, sir. And uh, let's get fit. So guys, there's something I want you to keep in mind that when you're making the intro video, you should not be too wordy. You should be simple and clear. 
So let us first of all animate these words. So you're just going to click on this text box here and then come here and say what? Animate. And there's something I want you to understand. If you decide for a, a particular direction, no, you select and then you're going to say animate. You decide if you're going to do animation of text. You do a constant kind of pattern. Don't like say breathe then you say then you say tectonic or you say drift no you choose how do i want my text to you test do i want it to go up do i want to go like that how do i want this how do i want this i like this part so you say wipe are we together then when you click on wipe you say animate on both on enter or on exit may I say on both then it should not be too speedy. It should be like speed should be less. Something like that. And so I'll make sure I've done the same thing with this one. I've come and say wipe. Then I say both. And then I reduce. And then you'll be good to go. Now I have then I should do add what? I should add I should add. so after you finish animating the the wordings after you finish animating the wordings now you go ahead and animate you go ahead and animate this image right here so we'll click on the image then we come here and say uh, yeah it's uh, and and say animate and then we do we put breathe so it's animate then we put breathe so we wanted to we can either say breathe out breathe out when you say breathe out uh it's going to like push itself behind but when you say breathe in it's going to push itself inside as you can see like breathe in is vice versa it's it's going to like push itself behind and then come up again but now when you say breathe out it's going to like slowly come nearer so we have already done uh we have already done animations on the on the text and now we have done animation on the image and it's it's um it's now a video it's not text anymore it's a video now we want to finish the story because we don't want to go and and open another and and, and open another page for subscriber. Okay, you can choose to open another page. You can choose to add another page and look for a subscribe button. But um you can simplify things by just uh putting in a sticker here uh to inform people to subscribe to your channel. So guys, we are going to to insert a subscribe button informing people to subscribe to our channel so this is what we are just going to use as simple as this then we are going to minimize it down so it will be a full statement welcome to our channel and let's get fit and then you say subscribe like that so we'll keep redu reducing the size yes we're not going to like reduce the size that much we want it to be a little bit conspicuous and then from here we will just animate it to keep it on the move so you can either say yes like that you can also say you should also wipe it so that it can just wipe with the rest or let us try something else yes like that this is good and then intensity sh it should not be it should not be that quick it should come slowly and then no uh, no no I love the neon parts. I love this neon. 
animate so we are just going to say neon and then from there the next step will be adding music there is something that i want you to to know that you can't just add any music to your youtube channel there are, there are musics that you can add and they will you they will expose your content to like kind of some sort of low case because of copyright and so we will need some sites that provide royalty free music that you can use for the purpose of youtube channel or for the purpose of your videos so these sites are completely free most of the youtube music are normally like bought for a price but guys i am focusing on doing free because some of us we can't be able to afford or maybe we don't want to start investing in something that has not yet started bringing money so we are focusing on now free offers or or free websites that are going to give us free songs that we can use for our youtube channel so one of them is it's called tune tank so we're just going to say tune tank then we'll come to tune tank tank and then we are going to wait for it to load here it is we have it so we want a music and uh this music it should be like energetic music or uh glamorous because this is all about fit fitting and all that or you can go to jenna and let's see what it's all about theme let's see theme we see theming gaming lifestyle vlog wedding sports so let's just do let's let's go with moods and see and try to find a, a song that goes with a particular i i believe that when you're working out it's an you need an energetic mood so we are going to look for an energetic mood song and then we can now look down and see the songs that it has so we can try this drum in the world so you just click on it and listen to the song how about that guys you can listen to another song still how, how about this one step by step I like this compared to the other one i like this one so if you find a uh, music that you like what you do you come here at download and then you download and then it will come here and then it will start downloading there we have it our music has just downloaded it is in our files so we'll just go back to Canva and upload the music. So it's, we're going to come here at uploads. Then we go to audio. And then you upload a file. Then downloads. And then you say tune tank step by step. And you open. So that is the music we are going to use for our introduction video i hope we are good from there so let us wait for it to upload then we can insert it and then we can preview our video and then lastly we download it and upload it on our youtube channel now that our music has uploaded we are going to just click on this music you click on it like this then it's going to come here 
it's going to come here it's going to come here so what are we going to do we are going to stretch it all the way we are going to stretch it all the way to there so we'll just bring it like that yes like that so you just stretch it to where you want to where you want to start hearing your music yeah you want to hear you you pull you use this you first of all make sure the the, the sticker the this part is to where you want our music to be and then you you move the arrow like that yes there we have it so i think it's okay so now let's preview our movie let's see let's see if we've done a good job so this is where you come you come here and you you save your work and then you come here and now you preview you, your movie see if it's, it's okay or it has issues let's see wow i just love this so from there you just go straight and download your video they normally rec recommend so you download and that's it that's it guys we have our intro video and it's awesome so i hope you have understood guys if you have any question feel free to ask me i can rewind for you personally i'll be more than glad to to do that but for now i hope that you have understood how to create a good intro youtube intro video with the help of canva and with the use of ai art for now you can go ahead go try and practice with canva you can redo watching this clip then go ahead try things out nothing is hard the problem is starting you just go ahead go try do some practices and it's going to it is going to get into your fingertips very soon and you'll be an expert so thank you for listening thank you for taking notes and until next time bye bye hello fam today is a wonderful day we've got another chance to be together as we keep learning and learning so i hope that by now you have understood a few things about youtube you have uh, understood how to create thumbnails and uh, also i hope you have understood on how you can create good intro and outro graphics for youtube also i'll not dig deep into background and animation because the same skills that i've shown you with the creation of thumbnails and intro video is the same same skill that you will implement to create backgrounds and animations i think earlier on i had mentioned on how you can create backgrounds using ai i had told you you just go to either mid journey or blue willow and then you give it a command you say i want a background to use in a youtube video and i want this background to 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 be of this color for example i want to be i want it to be a jungle floral kind of background i want it to be i want it to be of this texture 
and I want it to be of this size. So when, when that part of giving it a size, you do, after you give the description of what you want, you do hyphen, hyphen, you do hyphen, hyphen, AR, then you give, for example, 11 by 8.5 inch. And then it will give you the images from there. You will download as I have been showing you. And then now you can upload it to Canva and use it for some few things. Also on animations, for example, you are an animator. And for example, you want to create characters with 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 blue with a blue willow or mid journey. I have few examples where earlier on I had created I had created animated characters or anim characters using AI. Like this one is a is an anim character. This this one it's an anim character. You can create an anim character for the purpose of creating animation videos and actually create anim backgrounds that you can use for animation videos also this one i think is a 3d anim char character this cut here it's a 3d it is cartoonish as you can see so it is very possible with the power of ai it is very very possible even such it's a 3d anim it is also cartoonish as you can see so guys I believe that with the use of AI, all these things are possible. You only have to give it your your specification. If you want animation, like if your niche is about animation and you are into animation that you're going to put them on YouTube or something, you're just going to command AI, either Bluetooth or no Blue Willow, sorry, either Blue Willow or Me Journey. Give it a description of the kind of anim character you want it to create and the kind of background you want for your animation. And then you can have all that. Then go to Adobe, Adobe Express. You can also use that to create any animations. Or you can also go to Canva and create great animation videos that you can set up on YouTube and bring a good income out of it. So I'm not going to dig deep into that, guys, because I think so far so good but if you have any question or if you want any clarification you can all you always you can always reach out i will be more than happy to assist you but it's not much you just go to canva and do basically almost everything that i've shown you under video editing and under photo editing and all that and you just play around with canva and then you'll come up with something that you can put on youtube and then it's going to give you uh it's going to give you good results so from there as we continue concerning youtube the next step i'll show you how to create a youtube channel and i'm going to show you the potential income uh, that you can earn from a youtube channel so most people are, are, are as the world is going remote like we know with the help of technology and all that, the world is becoming a global a global village. And so most people are, most of them have decided on like some kind of self-employment or remote kind of job. And YouTube is one of the best, best job that most people are doing from the comfort of their homes and they are earning and they are earning and they are, and they are making big money. So... There is this site that you can use to spy, not like on spy, it's not really spying, like you can use to see the income of different YouTube channels. For example, we will go to YouTube. Let's do YouTube. So this is YouTube. It's loading. Let, let us wait for it. Here we are at YouTube, so we're going maybe to choose a 3D animation channel. And then we are going to spy on that channel and see actually what these people are making. And then we'll also go to a how-to YouTube channel, for example, 
a YouTube channel that is all about mid journey and then we are going to see how much that person is making. The person who is teaching people on how to nav navigate through mid journey. Guys, I've taught you a lot about mid journey and I've taught you a lot about Blue Willow. So you're good to go. You are, you are set. You can open a YouTube channel and become a, a Blue Willow teacher on YouTube or become a mid journey tutor on YouTube. And then from there, you can be thinking of very, very interesting topics surrounding that niche. And then you do the, the videos and then, and then, and then boom, you bring them on YouTube. Now we are going to, to spy on a 3D channel and see 3D cartoon animation. Maybe they have chosen 3D cartoon animation let's see Here we go. Mm -hmm. Let's look for a station. So for example, we are going to, to use this one. You can easily make such a character, such a background using using animation, using, uh, using AI. Then your work will be just uh, giving this characters some moves and uh, creating the story and all that for animators i know you can understand this and if you're a beginner we are going to make an animation an animation course next course after this i'll create an animation full course uh with the use of an ai so don't worry so for example we are going to to spy on on this this channel we want to see how much this guy earns and how much he makes per month so we, in order for you to see what people are making per month, there is another site that is called YouTube Blade. So at Social Social Blade, it's called Social Blade YouTube Stats. So in this one, you can be able to like feed in someone's uh, channel and be able to see what this person is making per month or per year or have been making since they opened their YouTube channel. So I know that is crazy, but... It is what it is. So this channel is called. Uh huh. Let us just um, see this channel. The way it's called. So as you can see, guys, this guy has dedicated purely on 3D animation. So this is what he's doing. And we want to see how much this guy is earning or how much this guy is making per month. So what you do, you come here and see the name is called, he's called Mad Artist Publishing Films. So we are going to copy that. And then we'll come here at YouTube, YouTube Analytics. And then we are going to enter the name of this person here. We are going to paste it there and then we'll just search. So we're going to search that YouTube channel and then it will come and then now we can be able to, to analyze actually how much this guy is earning per month. So these are the estimated earnings this guy is earning and this money is in dollars guys. <clears throat> and this money is in uh, dollars and it's a monthly kind of analysis. So this guy roughly earns about... One hundred and sixty-five dollars up to two point six k dollars per month. I'm not kidding, guys. You can see this is what he earns, and he's this rank in his country. He's from Canada. This is the flag of Canada. So, and this is the much he earns per year. So he can earn 
to the maximum of 31,000.6k per year. So this is what this guy is making. So guys, people are making money from YouTube. They are making a lot of money. They are making a lot of money. Like, you see, from this date, when was this? It was on June 17th on Saturday, 46k. Uh, he has these subscribers by then. And this is the video views he got. And, this, and he earned around this much. This is the estimated earnings he made out of by this day with this video. So, guys, as you can see, this person has been making money. These, these are real stats. He has been making money. It's only this day that he didn't make anything, but he has been making money. So, it can, it can also be you, guys. It can also be you. You can also be a part of it. You can also earn as much or even more. You don't have to worry. I've got you. I'm going to train you. And from there, remember, guys, my work will be training you. My work will be just giving you ideas. But remember, the rest is you. Nothing easy. Nothing good comes easy. You need to be consistent. You need to work very hard. You need to set a schedule and you need to give it a full dedication. Because nothing good comes easy. All these guys are making money, yes. Yes, they are in their homes, under the comfort of their homes. But these people are working very, very hard. So you're not just going to put the first video today on YouTube and you expect that it's going to give you this much. No. You have to be consistent. You have to be very hardworking. You have to motivate yourself. You have to be patient. You have to focus. And at the end of the day, you will see good results. You will see. Just do a good work. Do nice work. Just decide on your life. Yes, I've decided I'll do animation. Yes, I'll decided I, I will do. I will teach people on mid journey. Let us see. Let's see a, a, a channel maybe that is speaking about me journey or um, me journey. AI tutorials. People are here, they're already teaching on me journey. AI tutorials, how to use me journey. <laughs> I want to see a person who is like has focused on me journey. There is a, this lady I saw the other day, she had focused herself on like the uh which ai it was some kind of ai and then she had decided i will see people are teaching people on how to use mid journey it is as simple as this and i'm sure these people are making money these people are making good money are we together yes so i hope we are together so now let's move to now the actual thing you've seen what people are earning now let me let me go straight and show you how you can create a YouTube channel from scratch and there from there you will be good to go Now pay close attention as I'm going to walk you through a step by step uh process of how to create a YouTube channel and from there you can create your own and start doing what you love doing using the expertise or the knowledge that you have learned through this platform. So we are going, first of all, before you create a YouTube channel, you need to have an email. I have several emails. I have uh, plenty of emails. So, um, for example, I'm just going to use just one of the emails that I normally have. Like most of my emails, they have YouTube. I have few YouTube channels. So, I'm going to focus on, on this email that doesn't have a YouTube channel like that one. It's, it's a pure email. It doesn't have a YouTube channel. So, I can use it to open a YouTube channel. But there's this thing I want you guys to understand. That when you're opening a YouTube channel, first of all, you need to decide your niche. Before even going straight to creating an email, you need to decide what will be my YouTube channel all about. 
Will it focus on t- tutorials? Will it focus on music? Will it focus on animations? Like, will it, will it focus on storytelling and all that and all that? So, for example, today we are going to pretend that our YouTube channel is going to focus on AI. So our YouTube cha- channel will be all about AI. So in this one, we'll be talking just about AI. To be on the safer side about YouTube, it is good to decide on one niche per YouTube channel. You can have multiple channels with different niches, but to be on the safer side with uh, with uh, with YouTube, you need to decide on only one niche per channel you can go ahead and mix lifestyle you can mix music you can mix music ai food stuff and all that no you decide on only one niche or maybe another extra niche that is closely related to that niche i hope we are together from there so step number one We have decided on our niche and our niche in this case it's going to be ai so ai academy can say we can even decide to open an ai academy where we'll be like focusing on mid journey and blue willow and we'll now be teaching people on how to navigate through these things and then we can go along with the development of that of that technology because definitely blue willow and a and mid journey they have a future they are here to stay and it, it is something that is growing it is something that is developing so you can be researching more on the development of these ais you can research on how mid journey is developing or how blue willow is developing or how their competitors and all that and then you'll be coming up with topics explaining the developments explaining the know-hows how to how to all the how to questions concerning ai art you'll be able to answer them through those topics so for example today we will just open a youtube channel concerning ai to be specific big journey and blue willow so here we will just come here to our search bar at the chrome when we have opened an email it is good to always do when you're opening an email i think by now like most of you know how to come to create an email and if you don't know that also feel free to come to the q and a section engage with me then i can take you a step by step guide on how to create a gmail account guys when you open a gmail account you get a google account So right now we are at the Google account and our browser is Chrome. Now we will go and type in YouTube. So it will just say YouTube here. Yes, it is as simple. It is very simple, guys. It is very very simple. Just say YouTube and then you wait for it to load. There we have it. So once the YouTube app is open or the YouTube website is open, you come here. They will always circle the one the first letter of your email. So if it is it has started with S, it will just say S. So you just come here next to this notification then you come here to to this part and then you you click on it like that. And then you will come here pay close attention you will come here and say create a channel so this is where you give it a channel name so what is it is our channel name ai school ai school and you can say 
just AI school and then immediately they will they will give you a handle so this is the YouTube handle that you'll be sharing with people saying here at AI school blah 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 so this it is automatic the moment you in you 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 the moment you you give it your your YouTube channel name immediately you have a you have a handle then maybe now you can upload an image you can upload an image a picture so here we have several pictures guys and you can use this this picture it's an AI so we'll say done this is one of the images we made for me journey last time if you can remember so we have the name the youtube the youtube channel name and we have the the handle now we are good to go we say create create channel so it is very very simple the first step decide on your niche and before you decide on on your niche gauge yourself can i deliver on this kind of niche can i really deliver can i deliver don't just start a channel that you don't know any what well, anything to because uh, there is a friend of mine i was talking to the other day he was telling me i already have a youtube channel he only have one video and then i asked him why don't you have other videos your channel is okay it has subscribers it is okay what is the problem and then this dude tells me i don't have content i don't have content i don't know what to put in next so the guy is stuck because he he ran into a niche that he can't be able to produce good content for it so guys just like i've told you evaluate yourself see what you love like me i'm into ai and i'm into teaching so if i was to open a youtube channel i would open an ai youtube channel very comfortably because i love I, I have passion with ai and i have passion with the growing technology so i will i will comfortably open that channel and i will comfortably give content second thing i can also open a teaching like a tutorial youtube channel where i'll be teaching people on how to on like answering men so I'm comfortable with answering questions. I have passion for teaching. I have passion for helping people. So I can always do what I love. So same case here for you guys. If you're into AI, because if you clicked on this course, definitely you are somehow into AI. So you have a passion into AI. And if you're into, maybe your business is all about, maybe fashion and all that. You can focus. You can focus on what? on a youtube channel that you feel comfortable talking about or a youtube channel that you feel comfortable working on with excellent content content now there we have our youtube channel it is okay it is good so then first thing you do here we are at the youtube studio it took us straight to youtube video so this is where people upload videos you can upload your video there and then now here this is the home this is the place so this is what you'll be playing with you come to home and see what is there then you go back to your channel which is always like this then here is the youtube when you have your channel already you come to youtube studio so youtube studio is where you will be doing like every draft every draft that's where you will be uploading your videos that's where you will be editing your videos so that's why you'll be editing your videos and all that so let's in simple terms youtube uh on youtube studio is like the kitchen where you cook you add the salt you add the spices to all your content and then from there now you upload the video you add the thumbnails and you and th this is where you'll be checking on the analytics of your channel have i gotten any subscriber has my video gotten views and all that it will be giving you the statistics and all that so it is as simple as that guys from there everything else is simple it's just something you'll be using your eyes you'll be using your eyes 
you will just navigate through and see and then you can see wow oh this is where i can view channel analytics okay this is where i check the copyright okay so th the rest is for you to discover i can't show you everything i'm sure you're learned people you if you come into your youtube channel you come to the studio you will understand one or two three things are we together then you will come there and maybe customize your channel according to what you want it to be like you can decide i will add a thumbnail i will add a youtube banner you will just go to canva and then type in youtube banner then you will just edit it according to what i showed you guys and then you will come up with a very nice youtube banner according to your niche then it will be attractive enough to attract people to subscribe to your channel so from there we are good i hope you have understood everything and i'm glad to work with you guys in this journey and i hope that you're okay with youtube so far so good so until next time i love you guys bye bye wow 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 we have come to the end of chapter 4 it was all about youtube business idea so far so good i hope you guys you have understood the basics of youtube and how ai power can help you when it comes to your youtube business so i'm hoping that you people are filled like this ocean right here you you are loaded and that when you go out there you're going to to give your best so at least you know the basics on how you can use ai for your youtube business you know how you can open a youtube channel you know how you can you open you can create nice thumbnails with the use of an ai without having to worry about royalties or about any copyright issues and so far i love it and i hope you guys you have learned and just let me do know talk to me come to q a section engage with me i'll be more than happy to to help you i'll be more than happy to clarify you on some stuffs and they'll be good to go so on our next chapter that will be i think chapter five so in chapter five we'll we will look into another business idea and that will be print on demand so stay tuned stay tuned i have i have good things i have a lot to share and i'm going to walk you through a step-by-step -step full guide tutorial on how you can utilize AI uh, to drive in print on demand or to start a business known as print on demand basically print on demand is about graphic design it's about visual it's about, it's about like a uh, graphic design and it is worldwide guys it doesn't matter where you are you can be in iraq you can be in kenya you can be in usa you can be in canada uk it is worldwide it's a business that you can start from the comfort of your own home with a laptop and internet and the knowledge of ai and everything i'm going to teach you and it will be and it will be good so i'm so excited for chapter five and i hope you are i hope you are also excited for chapter five it will be very educational so until next time until next time guys bye bye i love you i love you i love you as we embark on our journey of learning how to grow ourselves with the power of ai we have moved now to the next part or the next thing about print on demand earlier on guys we defined what print on demand is all about it's uh i will not go back to it i hope you people understand by now you know what a print on demand business is all about so in this section we are going to look into the requirements that you would need uh, in order for you to to start uh, with this print on demand business effectively on a good note so one thing that you need to have guys first of all 
you need to have AI. Yes, you need to have either Blue Willow. So you should go ahead and open a, an account with either Blue Willow or Mid Journey. So it depends. If you have money right now, as I told you now, uh, Mid Journey currently they they are not offering anything for free. You've got to pay for subscription. So it depends with what you can afford. But apparently these two AIs they like perform almost the same performance just like in the other chapters guys i have showed you the basics of these uh, ais they work almost the same in fact they are the same with almost everything so you can either subscribe to mid journey or blue willow where it will give you only 15 they changed guys even blue willow they did some few changes i didn't tell you about that uh, Blue Willow, uh, for Blue Willow, you can uh, create only, you can only do 15 queries per day. And if you want to do more, you also subscribe. So, at least Blue Willow is a bit fair. For I, I'm sure by, okay, by the end of the day, 15 queries are good. With 15 queries, you can have just enough photos or images to use with your work so you can you can either open an account with blue willow or me journey so first requirement is the ai which could be either blue willow or me journey the second thing that you need to have guys you need to have softwares that will enable you to do some editing of your photo because uh like guys i want to show you something like uh so you need to have uh photo editing softwares they are very very important guys to improve the image or the quality or to improve the quality of your image and there is something that I've noted, guys, that there are some other service providers that I've noticed that actually many people right now are using AI images. So they are limiting people from uploading those AI images. They are limiting them from uploading those AI images. So you need uh, at least two or three photo editing image photo editing features so feature number one will be photopia photopia guys i want you to see this is this is called photopia i will uh, i will include those things um uh, i will include those things in the description or at the uh, at the announcement so i will include all these links for these softwares so the first software that you would need guys uh it will be photopia so don't worry guys i'll show you uh, i will show you each software how and what uh it is you can use it for so you can you the first software i i hope you are writing down that you would need is called photopia guys remember we are doing free free things we are working now with free softwares i have researched and i've come up with um completely free to use softwares but those that are quality those that are doing a quality job so there are these softwares uh we will not necessarily mention them there is the software called photoshop uh another one called premiere pro those are used for photo editing but actually they are very complicated they are not friendly for beginners and uh, they are very okay you have to pay and as you know as beginners right now we don't want to invest in something that has not yet started bringing in an income so what you do you start with with these ones but i know as even when you start with these ones you'll just get used to and continue with them because i don't see any problem with this software so this photopia is used to just enhance uh, the 
your image and uh, to mask i'll tell you what is masking so it is very important to mask in order for example when you have a a, a photo like this one eh, you want to mask it for it to look like uh, for example if you place it on a back background it will just appear well if you place it on a yellow background so i'll just show you don't worry so the first software that we we'll need is called photopia photopia you get it next is called polotno studio polotno studio guys earlier on we were using canva but i've realized that canva is good yes but when it comes to quality photo editing uh quality uh photo sizing you know yeah, it turns out that um it turns out that uh polotno studio is is best and the polotno studio is very 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 free it is a free to use software so you will not have to worry about um like subscriptions and all that you here you are free to use anything and like a uh, canva where we are limited to use some things we have to pay so in this one we are not limited to anything and also another thing i realized about polotno studio is that you can also do nice masking with this one and you can do excellent excellent uh, photo editing photo editing shaping and all that framing automatic framing and all that something that you have to pay in uh, in what in canva so polotno studio so are we together from there so the next thing that you would need guys the next thing that you would need mm -hmm, the next thing that you will need you would need um, another software which is called uh, which is called erase bg so erase bg guys you normally use this one this is what I, i'm talking about this one is called erase bg so this software is very very important guys when it comes to background quality background removing you know some photos are work best when you remove the background thing and then when you you just install you make the photo without a background then then you can now go ahead and now edit it according to what you want and then lastly guys we have we have had now the erase pg we have had the mid journey we have had the photopia and then we have had the polotno studio now finally we open an account with printful so after you have used all those softwares i'll show you don't worry after you have used all those softwares to edit the photo that you've gotten from ai now this is where you come and actually create or um design your own your own uh, your own your own t-shirt or you design your own mask uh, mask you design your own cap and then this is where now this is the service provider that will cater for the that will cater for the inventories for the shipping and for the everything like i said before guys when it comes to printful it's one of the best print on demand service provider because i told you it has it 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 acts like a like a one big shop for like almost 
every platform that you, that that offer print on demand service so when you have printful i know you can easily access to your tiktok shop you can like you can control your tick the okay it does the rest your work will just be designing and uh, placing the design here and then printful will will do the rest in your store for example you have an amazon store so printful will be the one now taking care of like will be the one managing your store are we together if you have etsy as the same thing so that's why i told you guys printful is best to start with printful is very good to start with because when you have it it's going to make a you don't have to be like an expert because there's a time back in the day like two years before when i had tried to open an etsy account and then i found it so hectic for me because i didn't know how to maneuver around etsy and uh it i i, I was just stranded and i had to stop because i didn't know that I, I didn't know that i can use printful to like to allow printful to connect to my store and actually do the dirty work for me so my only work here will be just to connect the two stores to connect printful with my etsy store and then after that, I'll do what the Printful will now cater for everything else with me. So it will make my work easier, though at a very small fee. So guys, there is now Etsy. These are the stores that um, are under Printful. There is Etsy. There is Wix. There is Square Squad. This one is Square Squad. There is Amazon. There is TikTok, as I told you before. Now TikTok has gone to print on demand. It is doing well. There is eBay. So each and every uh, service provider here has its own conditions. And some are limited to some areas. For example, Etsy. If you're in Africa, unfortunately, in some parts of Africa, like in Kenya or Tanzania or Nigeria, you are limited from using Etsy. Because, yes, you will do everything. And then when you now get there where you're supposed to like, give your tax uh, information, you find that your country is not listed. So before you open a store, you need first of all to research, is this uh, website uh, allowing me to work when I'm in any, is it worldwide? So TikTok, I know is worldwide. You can have a TikTok uh, store. You can have a TikTok store uh, from any part of the world, from any part of the world. So on that, I hope guys, you have understood on what we need. We need first of all we need the ai let's just go quickly we need the ai from there we need the we need the photopia online photo editor we need polotno studio uh a photo editor and also we also need a printful store and also lastly erase bg software so when you have that now will be good to go we can now easily start our online uh business of print on demand and we'll be good to go so from there now let's move to the next thing of actually making our first design and actually editing our first photo and then you'll see from there so keep 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 keep, keep. So far, so good. I feel good. I feel excited. We are finally now coming to the real thing. So far, so good. I can't complain. Maybe you. What about you? What about you? If you have any complaint or if you have anything that you need to set on the table, just come, communicate, and there we'll know what to improve or we'll know what not to do and all that. But guys, now, now that we have known the starter pack of starting a POD business, we said we are going to use AI, the journey of Blue Willow, Photopia, Polotno Studio, RSBG, and then the service provider, which is, we have decided on uh, Printful 
but that there is something i there is this very important ai that uh will be very very useful you know sometimes uh not everyone is creative guys not everyone is creative yes so i can i can show you uh go to mid journey type in this and this but you will have to be limited and you'll be like oh i'll just have to use what she showed me as a description you need another very important ai i had mentioned it early in the topic it is another ai that has really really uh thrived in the market out there people worldwide are using it i'm in africa and it's working for me guys i love it i told you that it is very important to have that ai and that ai is none other than chat gpt so chat gpt will be very very resourceful for you guys it will be resourceful for you guys it will help you out when it comes to like generating ideas so this is another starter pack ai that you will need to have in order to make sure that um, your your work is on another level it's unique it's well thought of but it is not you things are becoming easy you should just be there with the use of chat gpt you can get ideas for your designs and all that and all that so we said we'll start with getting an idea from chat gpt and then we'll tell it to give us some few descriptions of what we want and then from there next thing we'll use mid journey or blue willow to create our images mid journey or blue willow to create our images next thing we'll now start editing the picture so we'll need also this ai this ai uh, not an ai a software guys i want i want to type in i want you to see how you will just type it type in you'll say eris we'll say you'll type in eris dot bg right together guys by pixels just to be specific yes by pixels bin by pixels bin dot io right together so the next thing after now we have gotten our image from mid journey the next thing now we'll go and take it now to background remover right together yes so this uh we'll go and remove the background from this one yes and then we'll be good to go so this is what we'll use to remove the background yes now we have a photo that we have removed the background what do we do because if we take this image directly to printful and try to like try to like um try to come up with a design it will be too small it will be too small so we need to go and resize this image and do some few touches on it maybe put it in a frame maybe uh just play around with it so we'll need what else for lot no studio are you together so polotno studio this is where you will you will go and resize your image i'll give you the specification of the best size of, of an image that you can use to get to give quality image for t-shirt design I, 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 currently guys i told you i'm focusing on t-shirts i'm focusing on t-shirts design especially animal animal t-shirts so for example for a uh, for a t-shirt design there is this specific size that you need that you need to do what in order for you to come up with the best size for designing a t-shirt for a mug it is different for some for a mask it is different so guys uh but t-shirts and apparels like sweaters mm, polos things like those at least this size that i'm going to show you is is very very key is very key it's very key when it comes to uh quality quality image you can uh, again you can you can you don't just come up and just guess on, on the size no you need to like be very specific on the size on the on the size in form of pixels so don't worry i got your back i'm going to show you 
Then after now, we put our image here. Uh, we resize it according to what we want. Now we can do some few touches on it. For example, we can, for example, edit the photo. We can, uh, we can do so many things. We can add text if you want to add some text on uh, on on the image. But what I would, uh, what I would recommend for you guys to do, the only thing that you can do that it would be good uh, when it comes to t-shirt design is just uh, maybe, for example, framing and masking using shapes i'll show you and sizing that that will be the most important part of using polotno studio then from there after now we have now sized our photo into our into the best size the most recommended size and we have maybe framed it or maybe we haven't even framed it you can decide not to frame or but it is always good when it comes to t-shirt design a frame is good you can frame it, you can either put in a circular frame, you can either put it in a square, triangular frame. You just be uh, creative, guys. Be creative. It's awesome. Now, after we've done the the, the framing and all that, now we'll move to Photopia Online Editor. So this Photopia Online Editor, what will you do with it? What What's Photopia Online Editor? It will like act like a Photoshop. What will it do? One thing, uh, it will enable you to also mask. Uh, to mask, uh. this is very important when it comes to background. Have you ever had a chance? There is this case I don't want you people to go through. I have tried. Sometimes I've been so frustrated because I didn't know that such softwares exist. Where you create an image like this one, and and then it comes with a white background on the T-shirt. For example, the the shirt is blue, and then you have now. It, it is coming now as blue it doesn't want to blend in uh, it is coming now with a different background so it doesn't blend in so we want to come up uh, with a with a t-shirt just like this where it has just blended in without any problem if if you can see this 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 um, this um this uh this our dog here it can uh, easily suit on a uh, like green it can it can it can okay it can be in green it can be in yellow and th there'll be no problem it just suits everywhere and it looks so real it, it integrates well with the t-shirt and it blends in so well so that is why we would need photopia and don't worry guys i've got you i'll show you then from there guys uh now that is where now we'll now move to what to to this one to to print full and then make our design and then now put it up for sale so we don't have to do much in fact the only thing we'll have to do is that we'll just be designing the rest will be printful to do earlier on i had uh, connected my my printful uh to to what to ebay to my ebay account so it will just care, cater for the ebay account and i also want to open a, a tiktok store so i'll also connect them so guys th that's all you have to do about their pricing you just set up the present i'll show you but the good thing about printful is printful has tutorials guys these people are very dedicated to helping people on how to navigate through the website so they have tutorials so if you are you are a bit confused and you don't know what to do you can check especially on like uh, connecting your stores because it can be very hectic sometimes so they have some 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 tutorials they have i want to show you an example let me show you they have some tutorials where they'll teach you on what to do and and and, and all that and all that and all that so now let's now go to the real thing so what what do we start with okay thank you chat gpt chat gpt so what command or what are we going to ask ChatGTP to help us? So, okay, guys, before before you start, before you start, before you start designing, before you start coming up with these creative ideas, um, or before you start asking ChatGPT to give you these creative ideas, I told you what you do first. You decide on your niche. You say, I'll be designing t-shirts. I'll be designing trousers, just trousers. 
I'll be designing. And what design will I focus in? I'll focus on animals. But if you're confused on what to start with, uh, I, I love the fact that AI has come to like save lives. You can come here. You can easily come here. You can come here and ask the GPT, chat GPT, please uh -huh, tell me the most trendy print on demand niches. Simple. You, you, you can literally ask this bot to, to like give you uh, any answer. So it's giving us answers. It is telling us pet accessories, uh, inspiration and motivational products, pro culture and freedom merchandise, niche hobbies and interests, such like things. So you can choose among among these ones, and then you will know. You will know. You will know what to come up or what to choose. You can ask it. Uh, tell me more. You can say tell me. More and then it will give you more, 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 and then now you can come up with a niche. You can conclude to a niche that you can start with, and you'll be good to go. So from there, we have decided on our niche. Personally, we'll go with my niche. It is t-shirts, animal t-shirts, and now here we'll come with a mind that we want to create an animal t-shirt. Uh, we want to create a nice animal t-shirt, but this time not for kids, for grown-ups. So. That is what we'll do uh, throughout. We'll do that. So, I want you to be very, very keen, guys. Watch closely. Take notes. Rewind. Watch, watch, watch. I want us to learn. I don't want us to end this session without you understanding. It is very in-depth. But, guys, don't be scared. It is very simple. I will take you slowly and you'll understand. So, we know our niche. So, what's next? The next thing will be creating or telling it to come up with an image. So keep a close watch. Keep a close watch. So now guys, let's now start doing the real thing. We have the basics. We, we have understood. Now we are going to the practical part of it. Now we have decided our niche is animal t-shirts. So in this one, we are going to ask ChatGPT to like give us a description. It's going to like tailor a good description for a certain animal. For for example, in this case, I love tigers. Tiger t-shirts are, are very awesome. So we are going to tell it to give us a description of a tiger. So and we are going to inform it it is going to be used for t-shirt design so let's jump straight into it we say uh, describe to me um, a tiger image to be used in a t-shirt design be very detailed with accurate description I will be using that information to instruct image AI to come up with that image. So let's see what it's going to give us. So it has responded as quickly as possible and it has told us um, this um, Certainly, uh, 
this is a very long description so say be brief be very brief just give major details so like that let's see what's going to give us so She's giving us some description. So, a, a Bengal tiger in a dynamic and a powerful pulse. The tiger's head slightly turned to the side as it was spotted something in the distance. Distinctive orange ghost with black stripes, detailed and... So, it's giving us a description, guys. So, this description is what we are going to just copy and paste and put it on Blue Willow. And then we'll see what Blue Willow will provide. So we'll just copy this. We'll just copy that. And then we'll come to now Blue Journey. No Blue Willow. And then say use up. So we'll say image prompt. Then we'll say imagine. So we'll just add a, 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 some something maybe helpful. A very detailed high definition picture of a then we will paste we will paste our what what chat GPT described for us then then you be specific say uh, to be used in a t-shirt design so and then you just say okay then you wait wait and see so guys as you can see earlier on i had uh, i had created a a a a, a, a lion a lion image and with the use of like chat um, chat gpt this description comes straight from chat gpt so i had, I had um like this prompt had come from i had used chat gpt it's the one that prompted this and this is what it gave me so earlier on it, it gave me this and then i upscaled this one so as you can see it is a very detailed lion picture and i chose this one and this one is also cool so this this is a description that i got from chat gpt it didn't come from my head so i just pasted it and i added a few details like high definition picture to be used in a t-shirt design and this is what it gave me so as you can see it's good it doesn't even have a background guys as you can see it is just an image maybe this one has a background but the rest it is just the whole thing so let's see uh, what it has given us. So we'll keep entering and entering and entering. Right now it's a bit slow. You can guess the traffic. Almost everybody is trying to like create images in here. So definitely it might be a little bit more slower. But you have nothing to worry about. We are going to get our picture very very soon. So let's see. So guys, there we have it. We have our tiger. But this this thing that happened, guys, we 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 shouldn't have like went directly and copied and pasted uh, the text from Chat GPT. I went ahead and did some few edits. Like I remove I removed the the like the way it was as you can see here it was in like this kind of form and i had to rewrite it in form of a paragraph and so i took it and um i went and pasted it and still it didn't give me results i don't know why but it normally does so what i did after that i just want to be honest because we are going like step by step learning i went and copied uh i, I went to my the the prompt that worked earlier, this prompt I had gotten it from ChatGPT, and I I just copied it the way it is exactly, 
but here on that part like here a very detailed high definition picture of a majestic lion's face rendered in an intuitive blah 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 this so i i copied it and uh i pasted it the only detail i changed so the only thing i changed was the tiger's face like this part was lion's face i just changed tiger's face and i used the same same uh, same prompt but change a few details and now i have the results so guys i love what i see i love i see this kind of uh t-shirts doing amazing uh they're amazing they are good they are fashionable so we we'll, we are going to like upscale for one uh, we are going to like upscale for for one uh picture we can either do this or that we can either choose to do this or we can select this one either of these two i am in love with those two i i am now confused who what to pick but we are not limited we can use we can either we can upscale upscale one or we can upscale upscale three and guys don't don't forget you can always do variations if you don't like what or if you want for example you can upscale for two and then you do variation for two there is no problem you can like for example come for variation four you get variations of this that you're not limited so for example i'm going to upscale for upscale one and i'll also upscale two three yes one one two three upscale three i love those two and so i'm going to upscale them and that is what we are going to use for the design of our t-shirt so far so good i'm hoping so so let's wait for for upscales to actually form and then from there we can save it and now go straight to editing there we have it guys we have our two upscales just jump straight into it and save it up and do it very quickly so we just come to here and then uh, we just save I'm seeing a very big difference. This one really looks this one looks more realistic. So we'll upscale this one. So we're just going to like uh save images. Then to go straight to our AI folder, we'll save it as take one. Then we'll go to this other part and then we'll save it as we'll save it as tiger two. There we have it. We have our images. Now we are done with uh with with the blue willow because it has already given us what we want. Now we'll go straight to editing our our images. So let's go and see what we have we have tiger one and tiger two so this is what we'll edit and actually come up with a very good nice t-shirt design so far so good guys so we said first thing we need here we'll need background remover so we are going to upload an image directly we'll we'll, we'll which which one would you okay i would prefer this one so take one so we are going to remove the background of the image take one so let us do this prompt hastily we want to confirm if we are robots or humans so so it's uploading our image so as it's uploading uh you have to be very specific guys in what you want like uh but you're not limited yes so here we are that is the original uh version and there is the one without a background okay now so what do we do we just download with the original size we don't change the size so we download we download but you can you can read these guys you can decide to laugh and say wow this is nice so you can read them so i think we have uh the downloaded part uh, we already have 
our our image that doesn't have a uh, background so after you remove the background i'm sure it is here download so uh and always guys remember to always keep your work in order when you take it from one state to another to another label it label it guys just make sure you label because um it might confuse you because apparently we have so many of these so what do you do just say uh you you just come and rename it and say uh oh my god i we didn't have to do okay we'll come here and uh, rename rename it to uh first stage first stage so there we have it we have removed the background and i like it so we have already done the first stage of image editing so what are we going to do next what are we going to do next let's see what are we going to do? so we are going next to come to Peloton studio now let's move to the next stage which is actually sizing the photo we have done the background removal stage and we have labeled we have labeled labeled it as first stage i told you it is very very important for you guys to label to label your your piece because there are so many pieces like you see like tiger one and this one they almost look like uh they almost look like they look alike the the, the difference is more so it ca you can easily confuse so that is why it is important this is a hack that i personally do and it has worked for me to avoid a lot of confusion and all that so i have labeled this uh this image and i've called it first stage now let's move to the next stage guys which will be actually resizing sizing it according to the size that is most recommended for a t-shirt design so guys i told you uh the the best uh the best or the most uh, effective software uh that i have come up with uh better than canva when it comes to sizing and all other features will be studiopolotno.com so as you can see here guys this is studio.polotno.com so if you can uh, like type in this uh the way it is um, you type it the way it is uh it is right here so when you do that uh it will it will go straighter uh, to to this it will bring you here it is an online editing platform so at least you need to have uh, to make sure that you are connected to an internet connection so you must work with internet you must work with some so that's why i told you in the beginning you need to, to at least have uh, some sort of internet connection and a laptop and all that so it is an online editing platform that is completely free you don't have to worry about paying for anything you just edit to do your work then uh you come up with uh, good results so guys uh now that now we are done with uh knowing the 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 knowing the the software that we are going to use to resize because actually uh if you take the photo directly you you decide i'm just going not to i'm not i'm not going through all this i'm not i'm not good with editing so let me just go and just uh fix this image in my t-shirt it won't work guys it will it will be of low quality so the reason as to why we want to make sure that we have done nice editing is to improve the quality of our image yes so that is why we are going through all these hassles yes you can do that but you can be rest assured your your image will be low quality and some and some service providers like printful are against the ai ad so we have to edit it edit it to enhance it and to remove the all the like ai art elements and make sure that our photo is safe to use now so when you open uh this polotnostudio.com you get some this you get this is a layer guys it's called layers 
So I can open another layer when I want, like literally another another page. So so like you you keep like opening pages. It, it's called layer. So there's layer one. You can open as many layers as you want. So we are in layer one, and uh, it is as it is right now. But guys, we want to use this layer to to put in our graphic here, but we have to give it a specific size that is recommended for t-shirt design so what you do what you do watch closely guys you come here at resize right together and then you put in the best pixel you, you put the measurements in pixels the best recommended pixels for 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 image for like graphics to be used in a t-shirt is around um 50 45 hundred um, inches uh, pixels by 5400 pixels so it's automatically going to it's automatically uh, going to to give you that so earlier on guys we had done some few things and so it is just showing you what you did so that's the good part of this it shows you there are so many there are so many things that we have done before so it's just going to show you the kind of work we've been doing and all that so here we are here we are at uh, we have already resized it so i wanted to do that for you guys to see how i have done what i have resized so we come at uploads that's the next thing we want to do because we want to upload we want to upload our image so what do we do? We come here at uploads. Right together. When you come here at uploads, you're going now to access your, your, your photo from wherever it was. Because now we have easily uh, we have easily labeled it, it will be easy for us to trace it. So for example, we, we labeled it first stage and here it is. So you just click and click open and then it will automatically load as quickly as that. So guys, this this photo is just okay. It's, it's fine. So what you do, you just drag it slowly or faster according to how fast you are. And then you resize it. Guys, as you have noticed, guys, it is very small. So that's why you want to resize it into a 45 by 5400 pixels for it to be desirable in what? As you can see, guys, I already have a backer uh, an in I already have a, a a working area that doesn't that doesn't have any form of background, so you can can easily just um, move it, but make sure you at least are uh, working with the uh, working with the width area. So. It's, mm -hmm. I think it's um so let's see so let's uh, reduce it a, a little bit more so that she can allow us to go down yes we want at least to have the full image no we don't know okay we want Let me just do it real quick. No, we don't want to like um we just want to have the uh, the photo in full. So we want to make sure every detail is coming out without leaving anything. So, for example, you can just position it center and middle. So, let's just do that. Middle and uh, align to center. Now, from there, we can... Because we want to see the ears popping out. Yes, yeah, so... I think... Uh, I think... 
we have our image it's okay it's okay it's clear as you can see guys uh we already have uh, our image it doesn't have a background it doesn't have anything so you can just pick it up and just uh, save it and maybe take it to the next level but the see there's something i wanted to add guys it is very very important like to shape uh circular shapes do no let's let's open another layer we can just do another layer we see uh -huh. so uh we need um, what happens so, What happens? Uh, I wanted to tell you this, guys, that um, shaping shaping your your image for t-shirt works magic, works magic, and masking also works magic when it comes to t-shirt design. You can choose to be ordinary and just uh, size your 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 image and uh, and download it and go and uh, and print it on demand. But guys, it is you know here everyone is trying to be like doing the best so you have to make sure that your art is on another level by giving it a little more touch and let me tell you guys circular circular kind of design circular kind of uh graphics on a t-shirt works magic it works magic when you frame your image in a circular or you can even frame it in a triangle you're not limited but personally, I love the, I love the circular part of it. So that's why I'll just come to shapes. I want to frame my, I want to frame my image and I want to put it in a circular kind of shape. So that, uh, so this will be called uh, literally like masking it and framing it into, um, into a circular. I, I give it some sort of a circular shape. So it works, uh magic when it comes to like a, a good t-shirt design so it also works magic when it comes to like removing unnecessary backgrounds so there are so many so many benefits uh that come with at, at least doing what uh putting the picture into a circular frame so what do you do guys you just click to to the shape just like i have clicked here and then or you can even drag and then it will come here and then then you will resize it you will resize it like that at least you make it you can make it as small or as big it depends with what you want uh yes so it depends so personally i love big so i'll just do this uh i think that is good for me then i'll come here at position then i want to position my circle at center and middle I hope we are together I hope we are together from there now what do you do you come back at uploads what do you do watch watch me closely you drag this slowly and then you drop it there I hope you have understood so guys I want you to see this difference I want you to see this difference there's a very big difference between okay let me just bring this uh here let me just bring it here then you will tell me the difference uh i want you to see it by yourselves i want you to see the kind of magic masking work, works or uh the kind of magic uh, that appears when you frame your when you frame your t-shirt graphics in a circular motion so that's it so there is this there is this unframed one but we have just uh, put in our graphic and we have resigned it to 500 by 400 pixels. And now there is this. You can see by yourselves. This works. It works magic. It works a lot of magic. It does. It does. When, you, when I put this thing in a t-shirt. Compared to this. Personally. I love this one. So. You can choose to either use this one again i told you guys it is according to your preference earlier on i had uh, put this one in a circular first and it kind did it did good 
when it came to like enhancing a background removal i want to i want to, to make sure that this doggy here doesn't have any background whatsoever because i had removed the background from the erased bg but still i when i i put it on a circle it made it even more perfect so that's why i'm telling you guys it's important to like frame and you're not limited you're not limited to to like uh that uh circular shape you can you can choose to like use the love shape for example uh let me just look for a love shape here yes so let's just uh maybe do away with this and then we'll just put this kind of uh shape guys i told you you can choose to be like extra you can choose to do something totally different from the rest you can choose to be very unique you can give it some you can this is something you can just play around with you can play around with this and it will give you excellent 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 results so now we have we have had our shape here and now let's see what will happen with this you just drag it and drop it there voila we have a tiger in a love shape so this is also cool you can choose to like de decide something like that okay now that you have experimented with shapes we have finally concluded on this circular kind of shape and we are satisfied Now we we download the photo and we use it for the other stage. So what you do guys, you simply come here and say download. And when you say download, it's going to tell you it's a PNG photo and it is for 500 by 5400 pixels just as we had set it up. And then from there, you click download. So don't click it more than twice because this thing is very sensitive. You might think you have not clicked and I've done this and I've seen, yes, just this is what I'm talking about. You just click once and it gives you so many, so many images. So, guys, what you do, you just, um, you just do what? You just click download and then you have your image. So, what do we do? We go to downloads and we get our, our download our downloaded png for and i think it is if i'm not wrong it is this one yes it is this one let's so let us use this so what we are going to do we are going to name it we are going to name it uh tiger stage two Yes, so we are going to name it Tiger Stage 2. So guys, the reason it has like downloaded so many things at the same time is because we had done a lot of work here. We had opened a few, we had opened like several pages. There is this page here. There is this uh, page down here next to it. So there, there are many pages. Yes, so there is this one. There is this one. So that's why when you have said download, it has just it has just downloaded like the whole thing everything that we had worked on we had worked on this we had worked on this and also we had worked on this and this so that's why it has like downloaded a lot of images but now we have settled on this one so it is tiger stage two so to be on the safer side it is always good for you to avoid such things to always create a new design you come to files create a new design and then do each design separately for you to avoid all this confusion now let us move to stage three stage three will be all about masking what will be what is masking masking is removing this uh this black shade like uh like kind of making the picture more like making the picture like um how do i explain it like we are going to like edit this photo to an extent it is can it can fit to any background be it black be it black comfortably whereby it will it will just be able to blend in so in this one we are just going to like basically mask and now this is where we need the other software that we had talked about earlier and this software is uh is photopia so we are going to use photopia for 
for our next stage whereby now we are going to mask and make the, the we are going now to like edit the details of this image to an extent that it can blend in to any t-shirt design or to any t-shirt color black blue without having to worry about um like the background and everything so guys watch closely so what to do after you have now come now into your photopia uh photopia account and guys there's something i want to always encourage i want to encourage order when you know that you i'm going to use like all these softwares what you do you pre you do the preparations before like you pre-prepare the softwares and you put them in one place like you open this you open this you open this and you open this to make sure they are all open for easier access so what do you do you come to open from computer so this is where we want now to access our our image uh yeah tiger stage two and then now we open so this will be in stage three now let us see wow there we have it so i'm going to do this very slowly guys and i want you to pay keen attention to what you i will do so after you have uploaded this image at this uh working area what you do you come here at select then you do what you say color range so we want to like highlight the we want to like remove um this excessive black we want to like remove this excessive blackness and we want to make sure that this image can fit into any black t-shirt without it having to like look different from the other from the other black t-shirt i hope that you can understand like it can be able to blend in comfortably without any problem so after you choose color range you come here at fuzziness so what we'll do we'll just increase the size of fuzziness and there's something i want you to know there are so many challenges when working with photopia you can click and think you haven't clicked but you have clicked guys as you can see i have clicked yes so it it works a bit slow sometimes it doesn't go like on real time sometimes it, it is slow sometimes it is fast so this I, that's why i'm trying to be real for you guys to see the challenges i'm facing so that when you go ahead and like face such a thing you can know it is normal and do not start doubting yourself it is very very normal so i have added the fuzziness it can go up to like 200 so it depends by you how much do you want like to to remove the 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 shades and everything how much do you want to make your picture neater cleaner and to, for it to like be able to blend in any 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 t-shirt design without a problem or how much do you want how much detail do you want in your masking so i have decided on 117 percent i am i am very perplexed because this apparently is my biggest percent i have ever decided on one of my images so after you have settled it's 117 or yeah you come here and and press okay just do it once don't worry it responds yes so as you can see it has like dotted like all these highlights as you can see so it appears like this when you say okay now the next stage it is i will do it but i want you to to listen very carefully it's not something that you're going to see but i'm going to tell you what to do after this you press control shift and then letter e all together at the same time and then you release there you will be inversing you'll be inversing and now it will be the last stage of masking it is as simple as that so guys that is what i'm doing i'm pressing control i'm pressing shift and i'm pressing letter e at the same time and then i release are you together when you release it if you want to know it has worked you come here and you see inverse 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 so i have already done the masking and i think i'm comfortable with everything right now if i put this on a white t-shirt i can tell you it's going to just be okay it will blend in without any problem guys photopia is very good it is a uh, very easy to navigate software and once again it is free very free you don't have to pay for anything it is like the best substitute to a uh, software known as photoshop 
or photoshop or you pay and uh if you're not like too much uh of a guru when it comes to like uh, this field of editing uh the best one i would recommend is using photopia it's the best alternative of photoshop but for those who know how to navigate through photoshop well and good so guys we have already done the masking and everything i think our photo is ready what do we do next we come here at files and then you come here you say export as so we are going to export it as png png is the most recommended type plus also jpeg you can either use J jpeg or png for photos to be used in a t-shirt design so it automatically comes like this something like this appears it tells you it is sega stage 2 png and it's the size and quality is 100 percent guys remember the reason as to why we are doing all this editing and all that stuff it is to improve the quality of our image because remember this is a business like any other there is a lot of competition so you have to make sure that your images or your work is outstanding and when you put it out there it is going to sell so what do you do you come here and you save and there we have it so i'm sure it is there stage two one so we are going straight to it um and uh, i'm sure it is somewhere here so what are we we're going to do we are coming to it and then we'll rename it tiger stage three there we have it guys now this photo is ready for like um it's ready for print on demand it's ready to go place on a t-shirt it's very ready but we have to go and test it out and see actually how it will behave on different colors of t-shirts so what are we going to do guys we'll come now we'll come we'll go back to we'll go back to to this poloto studio that's why we'll go back and try to set to test it out and see if it can blend in 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 like different kind of versions so you come here guys uh-huh you come here and uh you come and upload your image you upload your image uh-huh you upload but no we can choose to like uh do another we can create another design we are doing two commands at the same time so it's wondering what will i follow so it is this one stage three you upload it and then now you come here at backgrounds at backgrounds and then you say file uh, create new Yes, you can remove all the content for that one. So we create new. So this this is the blank blank background. So we come at uploads. I think it's already here. If I'm not wrong, but just to be sure, we can like bring it up again, just to be sure. So we can just come here at upload image. We want to test it out. So you come to Tiger Stage 3, then open. And then from there, what are we going to do? We are going to imagine this is a t-shirt. So we are going, for example, to decide this is a it's a pink t-shirt. It's a orange t-shirt. So what are we going to do? We are going to put our tiger there and see how it's going to behave on this. Voila. There. It has blended so well in the orange t-shirt so let us imagine we, we have this kind of see it has blended just well without a problem so that is where you know that this is okay and now it is good to use so what do you do you come and download again you can choose to download again or to just use the prior one that you had earlier on and you will be good to go so here we are we are so i think we'll take this one 
we will save it as we are going to save it as final design so guys there we have it we have our final design so this one is very ready it is very ready to be put on any design be it black blue white whatever it is very quality it is 100 percent quality it is something that will, will be accepted in this print on demand services and it will enable you to have a very nice animal tiger t-shirt so guys so far so good congratulations we have come this far we have created our first design and it's amazing so next time we will be taking care of like printing or putting it on a t-shirt with printful and then from there we'll keep growing so guys go experiment and thank you for following thank you for understanding go and try things out uh, until next time i love you i love you i love you bye bye hello family welcome yet again for another session uh, today we will we look into how now you can design your t-shirt at printful i told you earlier before that uh, printful is one of the best service providers for pod services whereby it incorporates uh it incorporates uh almost uh more than 10 pod service providers So basically what you will be doing at Printful, this is where you'll be coming and doing your designs. And then after doing these designs, you download the mockups and then from there now you can list them to whatever shop you have. Maybe you have an ST shop or you have an eBay store or you have and then from there Printful will do all the other stuff including delivering, things like delivering. Uh, things like those things like printing and all that so guys uh it basically does the dirty work for you so your work will just be like designing and putting it out there then the rest will be the work of printful so guys as you can remember we we just uh, made our design we edited it we started by taking it we started by creating it from mid journey no we used blue willow right so after we got our image, we did a few editings for the purpose of in improving its quality. And now from there, I want to show you how you can actually put that image on a print on a on a print. And we say that our niche is animal t-shirts. So that's what we are focusing on. We, we are focusing on animal t-shirts. Animal t-shirts are very good and they are unisex. So it doesn't matter if it is like a lady or a man, anyone can wear a cat t-shirt, anyone can wear a lion t-shirt. But the only thing maybe it ha varies is the color like t-shirt, maybe the color. But now the design is very friendly to everyone. So that is why myself personally, I opted for animal t-shirt. So what do you do guys? So this is the printful dashboard. As you can see, what you do first before... You start designing and everything you go ahead and just open an account with printful it is very easy to do that it is a very easy step to do activity where you'll just be giving your details and make sure that your details are constant you give your details and there you will have a printful account so the first step guys what you do after let me now walk you back for example my printful uh this is a printful that i opened the other day i've not yet like completed the whole processes and all that so what you do first is that the first step that you do after you open a printful account you you design your first product and then after you design your first product uh you connect uh your your printful account now to your store for example you would want to connect it for example to tiktok store uh all these stores here so maybe first of all you, you decide which store will i have so among these you check which store is friendly maybe this uh this etsy i told you it, it can limit you when you're in some areas but to check which store 
is 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 okay for you which one favors you and your geography so after that uh you just create a store and then after now creating a store that now that is where now you come back here and connect and connect your store with printful after you do that you you add products to your store so these products you create them on printful and then after you create them on on printful they automat they are automatically added to your store so your work here will just be designing and designing and don't worry guys uh, i love printful because it is very educative guys it is very educative when you use printful these guys are so dedicated to helping like newcomers and all that so they have tutorials in anything that you want to know about printful so that's why i'm not going to like walk you step by step because i know the moment like you come here for example you will be educated on some uh, on some few things so for example let us see on etsy for example you've decided i want to connect to my etsy store they will guide you on what you have to do they will give you a step yes they'll give you a step by step guide on what to do and they are whatever you want to know you can always uh like watch their videos and they are, they are very simple to understand videos and you'll understand everything from there so after so you don't have to panic or you don't have to worry that oh i don't know i don't know no you just go ahead believe in yourself go open an account then one step at a time one step at a time to everything and you'll find that your store is ready start selling things and now start earning dollars start earning good money so so after you've done that uh you do this you come here and add products to your store so in this one you will add now products maybe for example personally my product is animal t-shirts so that is where i will do what i will focus on i'll just keep adding products products and then i'll set, set up billing so here this is where you come and set up your billing uh details your for example your payment details and everything your tax details this guys i want to give you a hack if you want to know something is legit if you want to know a website is legit they always have you to fill in tax information so if you ever had an online kind of job and there is no way you can fill in your tax information that's a very very big red flag so here they require you like to give your personal details you give your number you give and then now you you add a billing method for example you can add maybe paypal payona you see those online billing maybe you can even add a bank and all that but normally payona is good although they pay but they have banks so you don't have to worry maybe i'll show you that another time where you can open an a, a us account bank actually when you are maybe for example in kenya like me you can have a us bank account with payona guys i'll show you that maybe in the next uh, session so you'll just add your bank here and then it will be easy for them to like do the paying and everything and everything and everything so the next part will be billing and they will guide you that's why i'm not going to get deep in this because i know they have nice tutorials personally i've watched them at some point and i love them there's something i can recommend i can recommend so there you can now order samples and now you can continue from there all right together now guys when you want uh printful is something that is easy to understand and you can easily navigate through printful guys you can easily navigate you can come here orders and then you check you just use your eyes it is something you can navigate. so that's why i'm not going to get deep but i'm going to show you how you can now design your t-shirts are you eager yeah keep a close watch so today we are not going to like focus on on these boys and no today we'll focus on ladies ladies will wear tiger yeah so we'll do a lady t-shirt yeah a lady fashion t-shirt uh animal t-shirt yes so we are going to focus with uh, a woman so what are we going to do uh -huh. you can also do a dress a tiger dress 
So what do we do? So let's do a t-shirt. So we are coming here and now we want to select a template. Yes, that's why we are here. Mm -hmm. T-shirt, so that one. That's what we want. That's, I told you guys, you don't have to do what I'm doing. So personally, me, I'll do a bestseller t-shirt. I just do. That's what I do. I come to the bestseller because what works for this bestseller might work for you. And it will it'll have an upper hand because actually your t-shirt will have some design compared to that other bestseller. So here we have it. Here we have our template. And now this is where we will put our design. So guys, it is very simple. What you do, you come here and you say, you click here. You click there. And now that is where you are going now to upload your design. To upload what you created the other day together. So I think we named it final design. So you just click on it. And then it starts uploading as fast as possible. So let's wait for it to upload. Okay, now our image has been uploaded to Printful. So after it has uploaded, what you do, guys, you come here and you say apply. So guys, I want to show you two types of t-shirts. We are going to do an all print all over t-shirt and just one print like just one print t-shirt like it just have one picture so we are just going to do an all over print t-shirt so this is the design we have and now we have the print area so this normally is just when you want to just create a a design that has one like one picture at the center and uh, from there it will just be simple as just uh, save the product template and you'll be good to go but now we want to create an all over print t-shirt yes so what we do we are just going to come here at uh, pattern and you say pattern so what pattern would you want to use maybe we want to use um this pattern here block or we can use a half drop mini pattern so what you do after we have chosen our pattern we come here at spacing we reduce the spacing completely so that will be the first the the front part we have designed so when you are doing an all over print t-shirt you just uh what do you do you make sure that you have done like an all over kind of designing where you you design the front you design the back the sleeves and everything about the t-shirt so this will, this will be the front and after now you do the front, you come to the back and you re you repeat the same thing. You come and uh, you say apply this image and then you go to pattern, you choose half drop, you reduce, you reduce the size, you reduce the spacing and then the back is now okay. So the sleeves, the left sleeve. You come there too and then you do the same thing you say drop your design here and uh, you apply that then you do pattern you do this half drop and then you reduce the spacing so it's as simple as that guys so we come to right sleeve same thing you come, you say, drop your design here. You select the design, the picture that we created. And then you do pattern, say half drop, and then reduce the spacing. So, so far so good. So now let us see how our, our t-shirt has turned out. So you come there at save. We want uh, a little bit so pick a white for lighter design and black for darker to make the stitches blend in so do the opposite to make the stitches color pop so maybe we'll do a black one let's see how it will it will be 
So after you have chosen black, you select black. So we come here and as you can see guys, it is telling us that our print quality is good. That's why it is important to always edit your your image. You don't just come and pick it from AI and come and try to do these things. It will not work, guys. So it is always good to like edit your your picture, do it, uh, do some few enhancements and all that. So it will be of good quality to print out and actually sell. So when your picture is on for on for good quality it has a it makes a printful be motivated to want like to sell it and all that so it is marketable it is appealing to the eye so after you do that you come here and what you do you say save image so this this is what we have this is the picture that we have this is the photo guys as you can see there is just a view template and see our final product so there we have it there we have it doesn't it look amazing guys so we have like different um, sizes there is extra large a small middle large extra large to extra large so this one will cost around 24 and 5.85 to 26.85 dollars so the good thing about print on demand is that this is not something that will be bought and then and then it, it will now like go it will remain here like you, you, people can keep uh, purchasing it and purchasing it and purchasing it and purchase. it is a passive income where you created one t-shirt and it can actually pay you for the longest time ever so for example you have sold um, like 10 10 t-shirts and definitely i'm sure it's not 10 will sell more than this so there's this profit margin that you set so for example you you sell 10 and then you do you want a profit margin of like four because guys you don't take the whole of this money remember there is printful you have to pay printful there is the money that ac take for example if you have an etsy shop and also there is money for delivery shipping and printing and all that so that's why you you don't like take this so if you you are sure like this your t-shirt is awesome what you do like you can now change the price that one you do at Etsy at your shop, for example. So you set the price, but normally you don't go too high or too low from what other t-shirts are selling for you not to look odd. So this is what we have. So what you do if you if you're happy with what uh, you you are you are seeing, you come here at the load mockups, and now you see how many mockups that you want to use. So this is a virtual fit, it's big, so we can decide to use this woman too and see how she would look on this. So there is also this one. So there are many types of, of mockups. So you can choose to like have all these mockups for that t-shirt and uh, you download them and then it will show you what. And then you now finally have your template and it will be good to go. So that's it guys. We have our mockups. We can download them and set them up at Etsy. And then we start selling. We start selling. So guys, that's all. That's all with designing our t-shirt. I hope that we have understood. I hope that from there we are good to go. We can actually design our t-shirts comfortably without having to worry about anything and i hope that you have understood if you have a question i'm just one question away just ask me questions ask me questions and uh, i'll answer you and i can guide you once again so so far so good guys now let's go and create the other picture. The like the not all over print. This one also works best with, with dresses, guys, skirts, trousers, vest. It works nicely. Like an all over print works best on all those. 
So we are going to create one more design. Uh, we will do a woman's t-shirt again. And we will say on t-shirt. It's preparing design. So do we do that? No, we not do a baby t-shirt. I don't want to do a kid's t-shirt. So let's just come back. I've already done kids t-shirts, so I don't want to do kids t-shirts. So I want women, mature women t-shirts. So I'll come here at product templates. Let it let us let us do this real quick. We are going to do this very very quickly because so far so good. So we come here at women's clothing and then we choose <laughs> let us choose this one and uh, yes see guys when you choose like uh that okay can just use her i don't know if she keeps coming back no problem uh we do we just apply that there when you apply there guys as you as you have noticed this color is so dull compared to this black color so what you do because of the masking that you did you see they always tell you part of your design is out so you move it until you stop seeing that stop seeing that oh Yes, we have stopped seeing that. But now we are going to change the color of this t-shirt because uh, because uh, it is looking too dull on this black t-shirt. Don't you agree? So we will change the color and make sure that uh, it is another color. So we come here at products and then we say DTG. And then maybe change your color and do away with black so, and we are doing dtg printing you see now when we have put a white background it is looking more cooler that is awesome and also that is awesome so you choose the colors here guys i didn't show you that previously but this is where you choose the colors and now we'll be good to go we'll just do the front size no we don't want the black one we'll just do the front size and uh, our 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 t-shirt is available at twelve dollars and fifty cents. So from there, what do we do? We just say product template, and it will be done. So it is as simple as that, guys. I hope that you have understood this in simple terms, and that you can actually go out there and do some things and and do a few things. You can go out there and try and design. I'm wishing you all the best and if you have any question you can ask and you can always come back to the video and watch and watch and watch so you come here and you download your mockups according to what you want so you can choose this mockup you can choose this one you can like you can choose the mockups that you want to download and now from there now you can download and set them up or on Etsy or Amazon or TikTok or any shop that you have. So far, so good. That's all with Printful. That's all with, with setting up our design on Printful. Uh, the rest, guys, just go open up an account. They will train you on the bigger details. They will train you. And uh, you'll be on a safer side. So, that's all on Printful. That's all on print on demand if i have more i'll update the cost but so far i think that information is good for you so guys i'll encourage you to practice keep practicing watch these videos not more than one time take notes do it do it do it, do it. it's not hard it's very simple and i'm wishing you all the best in your new pod business so until next time 
bye bye there's something i wanted to add on real quick guys about this all over t-shirt as you can see it is looking all buggy it's looking all buggy so we didn't fit we didn't fit it so what we'll do we'll come here scale to fit yes so because apparently it uh it it became like too big for our lady here so let's see what what what's what will, what will come out if it will fit in because it turned out to be too baggy because we didn't scale so it is good to always do some scaling hello hello how are you family i'm hoping you're well i am hoping by now we have created a few t-shirt designs I'm hoping by now we have a printful account and I'm hoping by now we have made steps towards a successful print on demand business. So guys, uh on this part I'm going to show you how you can actually create a store of your own or how you can actually have a store that you can maybe start now selling or you can now start adding products to your store. Because earlier on, yes, we created a product, but it is they are not yet on sale because we d we didn't have a store. Or if we had a store, we didn't want to like place them in our store. So guys, I told you earlier on that you can use Printful to connect to an existing store. So if you have a, a, an Etsy store, if you have a eBay store or something, TikTok store, you can come here and connect uh, you can come here and and connect your printful account to your store account and then from there now they'll be working together but guys i have good news for those people who are getting limited because of their geographical positions yes this other option is worldwide but it has its pros so this one guys uh this one you'll have to like have like your own website so in this one you you have like your own independent store without having to like depend on Etsy or we don't have without having to depend on like this well known store. So it has its advantage and it have its at the disadvantage. But for me, it works for me personally because I come from Africa, Kenya. I'm proud and I'm a proud Kenyan. So you find that most of these stores i'm not saying all but most of them are limiting me when it comes to like according to my geographical position because uh they are requiring me to put an ssn taxation that i don't have so um but i've not tried all of them like i'm sure tiktok will will uh, i am planning on opening a tiktok account and i know it's going to work so before i do that i have opened an independent store an independent store whereby it's mine it's me now to decide or like I, i'm a, an individual and i don't have like to go through etsy i've opened a website where i can be selling my designs and now it is now a totally individual independent store and so this is it it's active and billing currency is in us dollars guys so i want to show you how you go about creating such a store you come here you come just straight to create so it's giving you use this method if you want to use an e-commerce platform that currently does not integrate with printful yes because printful already have other e-commerce things like walmart ebay ebay etsy and all that so you you want to use it if you if you know the platform that you have is not integrated directly to printful second you can use this when you want to sell products in person and want to place orders for your customers manually yes so th this it is you and it is like now your business you are on your you are on your you are your own boss and when it comes to this one you do things manually and then do this when you want to connect a custom website to printful using api so you will need like website developer which is not uh expensive guys if you have someone who can design a nice website for you you can create a nice website for you and then now you can come here and say like 
I love Beulah, so I can say Beulah store. I can say Beula T like that. So yes, so this so I I'm gonna like use these stores to like uh I have now to uh, you guys I want to tell you something. You can have as many stores as possible, guys. And as you can see, this one is worldwide. It doesn't matter where you're selling from. It doesn't matter if you're in America, Canada, India. This is good news, guys. I know it is good music to your good uh good good music to your ears for those who can't be able to have this to have these accounts because of their geographical positions that is another alternative so you can add you, you want to increase so you can also do compare platforms and you can always add a tiktok account and all that and all that and all that and all that you can take a quiz to compare platforms and all that so you can now do as many as many as possible yeah so they are saying weeks is fast yeah you can compare uh, platforms and after you, you compare platforms uh you will now decide on which platform to use so a platform that will accept you according to like uh, your geographical position without having to discriminate you you can choose to do that like big big commerce is they're saying it's fast it's fast so you can do a platform that is fast guys you can also moderate tiktok is right now it's moderate but let me tell you guys tiktok will move fast so this is what i would recommend i would recommend this so you can always have as many as many stores as you can guys and do as many designs as you can that is why i told you even though it is a work from home job opportunity or work from home uh business it needs you to work very very hard you have to have this discipline of i can work without supervision i am self-disciplined you like wake up in the morning and say today i'll do 90 shirts i'll do a hundred t-shirts and i'll place them in all my stores and then you sit back pray for it hope that god will come in and do something and your t-shirts will be bought and then you'll have good money in your account is that good news yes so you can add as many stores as possible but currently right now me i'm using the independent one before i like go and try to compare stores and maybe go try one two three so right now uh, uh for example i have beula t and it's active it's worldwide so what do we do after we create we have created some few templates i have shown you guys and i hope you understood what do we do now we come here and say add we add products are you together so when you come here and you say you add a product it it will give you two options you can say a new product where you just start designing from scratch you can come to new design you come to like pick up a, a design do what i showed you guys and now you'll be good to go one or two yes you can come to this one and maybe you can come to this cup this guy here try to design this one is an all over all over print cup so you can come and maybe design but now we have some few templates guys i have like a few templates that i have so i'm going directly to uh my templates so that's what i've clicked on i've clicked on my templates they should be here guys yes here we have them so i have them so i'm going to maybe add this guy here this is a very nice t-shirt it was on it was it was on bestseller so this is what i have and it has all these colors and it is in all shapes it's in it's in all sizes guys i want to encourage you when you're doing a good t-shirt you make sure that you have included all sizes are you together yes so after that when you have selected your design you come to proceed to mock-up proceed to mock-ups and now this is like a landing page this is what will attract your buyers so you can choose more cups here you can choose like when they click what will they see which model will they see like i love i love this mock up here and i love this one too you can choose all this you can choose this guy here he's he's looking good he's plus size and we love, we love him so you can use to choose this guy here no problem so you can say continue this t-shirt is looking good on him right so you can choose this one and we can also start that one and that one and that one 
so guys don't love white t-shirts i know you agree me uh, on that so we can do like this one or this one let's see yes so wow so we can decide this is the mock-up that we will use and now we can choose to use png or jpeg but right now let us just use jpeg then you say continue are you together then now we are on details they have already done the, the whole thing for you they have written men's garment dyed heavy white t-shirt uh say cut you can add cut design and guys remember i told you chat gtp is cool right so you can go to chat gtp ask it give me a good product description for this t-shirt i made in printful and I, I have put it a cut i have put a cut design on it give me a good product title and it will generate nice excellent product titles for you so that's all now after that you say continue and you say continue and now this is where you will do the pricing i think we have jumped on the pricing part uh-huh uh, okay we'll do another one where we'll do the pricing where you'll set up your price yes so it has been added uh, so we can come here at edit and do pricing because i think uh, we have overdone like the so we can edit the the pricing this pricing part so guys you can always play around with 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 printful there is no problem you can play around with printful original alternative okay set an alternative one and uh so you can just give it so much dedication wake up early in the morning have a timetable assume you you have like you are in a still in an office you are doing a few orders you are doing a few things and that's how you will grow guys let me tell you so that's how you will you will grow so so let's just go back to the top and all that so we can add another let's do another product no problem we are not limited we can add another product as many products as possible we will use my what we created before my, my templates we have them then we are going to use this one and uh, we are going to use this one and all that so what do we do we proceed to mockups i love the mockup that we were using before was just okay so this one was okay so we can choose that girl there and then we'll just continue mockup will not for this product so let's continue aha uh -huh. set your desired price so you see taxes aren't included i've not yet included the taxes but i'll do that later do not worry so it's a very good sign to see them telling me to put in the taxes so what do i come to do i come here and i do what i put in the set price they have already recommended so let me just say 37 dollars that's seven uh point uh nine nine so that that is that will be almost like uh it works magic it should be 38 dollars so it will be like 37 and it works magic this trick works magic when you say 37.99 meaning 38 no problem and then you do what you apply so this is what i wanted to, you people to see so from there that's how much we will sell our t-shirt on retail and then we we'll save it up yes so it will be it will be up there for sale so are we together guys so that's all that's all we have put our t-shirts for sale and we have added 48 here and we have added six here 48 pieces six pieces and they'll be good to go so that's all guys we have our t-shirts they are good to go and now you pray and you wait for money to come because i'm telling you guys this t-shirt will be bought it will be bought in a big way let me tell you this people will buy because they will buy and leave it there for you to for next time that's what they do 
it's it's not like something that will be bought like every day like uh bought and it's over it's a print on demand so it will be bought and then another one will be bought and another one will be bought and it'll be bought and it'll be bought so that's all on how you're going to have a store and and i've shown you how you will put up your your what your 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 designs on on your store how you label your store is it not easy guys it is easy i love every bit of this i love it when i'm helping people i love it when people are getting educated and when people are growing day in day out so guys on our next part i'll show you how you can uh, how you can actually go ahead and market your work yes as you know so ladies and gentlemen we have come to the end of print on demand section and i'm very excited by the way i'm very happy because i know this is going to work for most of you guys it is a real job with real money it's a real job that you can start and actually start making a lot of money at the comfort of your home but don't get comfortable so guys these are my my two stores there is violati there is cynthia stores let us view this store and see so far what we have done with our new stores so these are the these are the designs that we we have created guys i've created a few and this is a t-shirt this t-shirt is selling at uh i think 27 dollars and i have 36 pieces so you can only imagine how much this might bring in so normally guys uh when it comes to payment uh printful takes something it takes something it, it's like um it doesn't like you don't get the full amount this is how it works uh, when you sell a t-shirt like you design a t-shirt for yourself you design a t-shirt for yourself at uh, at printful then a customer buys a customer a customer you can you'll go ahead and watch this one it will explain to you more on how printful works so a client buys from your shop or buys your design so for example a client will buy your design at maybe 25 dollars and now what you do when they send the money to you you take the money and pay printful for example you pay printful 15 dollars for the sake of shipping and all that and all that and so the remaining ten dollars is what you will have at the end of the day so guys the reason as to i've gone to how does billing work when you set up your like billing you will go and maneuver through this thing it's not hard you'll just set up your payment uh details uh it, and it is easy guys most of you can access i am sure paypal is in most countries and it's one of the best online payment uh solution so maybe we can go to my printful guys and uh, maybe go like straight to to like the other step of uh everything so so this is a, just an example of printful that i have so that's why i'm using it and i'm i'm very open showing you guys so you come here at setup billing when you design your product you, uh, you do templates you add your products like we did now the only thing you'll have to do is just like put in your details and maybe you choose a payment option and one of the payment motion option that is available worldwide is paypal like paypal is in kenya and it is in most countries and if okay you're not going to access paypal in your country there is nothing to panic about you can always direct your your, your bank directly so for direct bank payments where you will just insert your visa card number and it is an easy process to do and then from there guys you will be good you'll be good to go you will make a lot of money and uh, you will thank me later so at the end of okay at the announcements guys i will put in a printful printful link so i i encourage you guys to go just click to that link and open your printful account with that link so that's something i want you to understand and also i'll put a link of canva 
where you'll just go and um and do and just click on I'll, like basically every software that we have used here i will link it up at the uh, question uh, at the communication section at the announcements so you can go directly at the announcements and click to those um, to those um, links and they will take you directly where you can now go and open up your printful account start designing and start making money get rich buy a very nice house and a very big car and all that so wow i'm so excited so that's all guys so guys i uh, i wanted to show you on how you can like promote your products but this is this is where you will come you'll come at promo maker it is an easy thing to do it, it will just direct you and you'll not have to worry about everything so guys so far so good i have trained you a lot and i hope uh that um you have understood that's what i'm hoping and i'm hoping that i've helped you with something some information and i'm hoping and praying that you people will go out there and become uh very successful in print on demand business you don't you don't have to worry it is not like a us canada limited kind of business it is worldwide and it is very friendly and it is legit guys people are making good money for example let us come here this is one of the best sellers who have sold this t-shirt design but they, they have just sold the way it is like this and it is coming in different colors it is coming in black it is coming in blue and and all that this person has gotten to 80 reviews so you can only imagine 280 times 13 dollars what is how much has that person made 229 to 30 dollars and this can be you this can be you so you don't have like uh like uh, you don't have to like doubt yourself or say i don't know what i can do or will i manage to do all these things no no it can be you so the problem is starting out that is where the challenge comes in so i would encourage you go out there dare to start and start and do it like you will never do it again and you'll not find yourself like saying i'm jobless or i don't have a job or you not get scammed online because this is something that you can do this is something you can teach people and it's something that can actually bring you a good income at the end of the day so guys there are other ways apart from like selling on 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 on, on printful there are other ways that you can make a uh, good money from printful so let me show you other ways so apart from people buying your t-shirts designs there are other many ways that you can make money out of additional money out of printful so it is good to be very active with this one that's why i told you printful is the bomb it's the best so one way you can do is uh you get your first sale that's another way you can do and then add all of these products to your store so these are the activities that can earn you points right together so set up your business earn rewards and start making money with printful so these are the activities that you can do so one is off to go to a good start so this is where you do you set up the like the whole printful thing it will earn you 400 points and then push it add all these products to your store that's another point managing the business side of your store so you manage your store so this will be 200 points and also there are other coupons that you that people get so 400 po points is five, five it it is uh it goes up to five coupons guys and also you can also uh there's this thing i wanted to show you guys there is this promotion that is going on or there's this kind of i think competition that is going on right now let me show you and if you like participate in it you get a coupon of five dollars are you together so it is always good like okay this, this is what i'm talking about you when you click to this place you just click to the to it 
you pick a product that print wants you to design you go design it and then you put it in your store and then you get a five dollar coupon just as you have seen so far i'm loving this and what about you guys just tell me at the q a session communicate to me tell me if you love this tell me if this is something you want to start i'll be more than glad to and also there is another clarification i wanted to clarify guys at photopia online photo i wanted to to clarify this if you know that you're going to use your design on a black t-shirt please don't come and mask it because as i have seen it is like it is appearing so dull on a black t-shirt and also there is something i misspelled when we were doing like the inverse thing i said control shift and letter e no it is letter i for ink so you do control shift then letter i so that's what i wanted to clarify before we conclude and uh, that's what i wanted to clarify so by now i think you're good if you have a question you just tell me and i'll be more than glad to help you guys so now that we are done with print on demand business i'm so excited because we will be moving to amazon kindle book so that's another booming business out there that is worldwide and people are making money good money out of selling books ebooks storybooks coloring books for and putting them on amazon and they are making good money so that is what we will we'll do for our chapter 6 and i'm hoping by then we'll have like gone way far with good knowledge that will help you get richer remember guys at the end, at the end of the day we need to give dedication commitment and work hard for something to grow remember when you're starting a business it might be a little bit slow but let me tell you the more you work hard towards it the more it will work for you so i'm happy congratulations guys we have come to the end of chapter 5 on print on demand thank you for your patience thank you for like following things writing things down understanding thank you for practicing thank you and once again i love you guys and now let's uh be ready to meet for chapter 6 which is amazon kindle books so until next time go practice go open a printful account i will place the link at the communication section and i hope you will win and i hope you will be victorious and you will boom in this business so until next time bye bye ciao now guys now that you know what basically amazon kindle business is all about now let us jump straight into it so in this one we are going to look into the tools that we need the tools that we need for this kind of job we need to know uh, the tools that we will be needing uh, for us to be able to do this kind of job without any problem so guys um in order for us to come up with the best book and in order for us to thrive in this business just like any other business online we need a few softwares we need a few tools for us to be able to come up with a very nice product at the end of the day and uh for us to be able to know where we are going to publish this product and all that and all that and all that it is a long process but a good simple process nothing to worry about so I want you to be very keen i want you to believe in yourself and to follow very keenly the reason as to why guys i don't do like uh an, an, an image of me there because i want you to put your eyes on the screen so don't worry maybe at some point you'll see me for who are like for for who i am like my face and all that but this is how much i love you i have sacrificed myself like i've sacrificed my face and all that for you to have a full concentration on the screen uh yes so back to the business 
So one of the tools that you need for this is actually an Amazon account itself. So this is just uh, the normal Amazon account. Like when you go, you just go sign up Amazon Amazon.com. So basically, you just go to, to, to Google and you just type in Amazon.com. So I'm, I'm positive that most countries, like Amazon is worldwide, I'm positive. So I believe uh, anybody can be able to access Amazon.com from any part of the world. Yes. So you will go to Google and just type Amazon.com. And from there now, you will sign up to this account. And now you'll be able to have the Amazon.com too. So this is why you're not going to, to sell your books somewhere that actually you don't have an account. At least you have an Amazon account for you to maybe to be able to see your book or maybe to, to see what other people are doing. Most, most importantly is to be able to see what other people are doing, to be able to steal ideas, but not copywriting, guys. At least you have an idea and all that. And at least you get the keywords and everything. So this one will basically help you to search on the niche that you're doing for example you're doing a coloring book for example for kids under the age of 4 to 12 so you go there uh you do for example in this one uh coloring book for kids uh, age 4 to 8 so the ideas that um that you can get from here are what type of ideas so you come here and then you click and then you you can be able now to see ideas then this one has made a monster truck a kind of coloring book for boys and yes Guys, and I don't want you to, you make sure that your work is original. Why am I telling you this? Because I've been a victim. When I was a complete newbie, I just went ahead and, and, and said, um, I edited a nice book. But now I got into trouble with the Amazon team because I didn't do this, guys. I do, I didn't go, like, I generalized it. I said, this is an uh, a coloring book for kids age 4 to 12. No, you can't title your book like that. You need to be very, very unique and very creative. Research. Yes, and that is why you need the Amazon.com itself, the, the website itself, for you to see what people are doing so that you can avoid like getting into trouble with the Amazon team for them, like flagging your account or even terminating it. It will be bad. It will be bad. Being terminated in the beginning, I felt bad and I got lucky because they were able to reinstate my my account. I told them I'm a newbie and I don't understand all these things, but don't worry, I'm getting better sooner. And this is why I am. I want to guide you, and don't want you to find yourself in the situation I was in. I tried to look for answers all over, all over, and I just answered in a very naive way. I said, "Please, Amazon, I am a newbie. Please, ah." Uh, Please, can you reinstate my account and not do that again? I'm not telling you to be easy for you or you will do the same thing and be able to reinstate your account. So, guys, as usual, cure, uh, okay, prevention is better than cure. Don't you agree? Okay, now, this is a coloring book for kids age 4 to 8. So, this is what people are doing, guys. So, you can see some ideas and you can be able, the kind of books you will you not do and the ones that you will do. So, this is a dinosaur book. So the these are different titles, nice titles and all that and all that. These are books. So this is why you need first of all the Amazon.com website. Next thing you need is the self publishing Kindle account. So in this one you just come and type in guys as you can see, as you can see here, it is KDP dot amazon dot com like that so if you just come and say kdp dot amazon dot com or you say amazon kindle self publishing or self publishing amazon kindle you you be able now to go there and it's easy guys you just come here for example i already i already have an account that is why you're seeing my name that is already here but now if you don't have an account we will be able to open an account it is a step by step thing what i love about internet or what i love about okay internet is that it is a step by step thing okay 
they direct you okay after you put your email now this is next this is next this is next this is next and now from there after you open up this um kindle account they will need you to fill in the payment details yes because it is a real job that you need you are expecting to be paid so you will put the payment details and they will need you at least to have a u.s bank account don't worry guys you can always have a u.s bank account wherever you are with payona so guys i want to encourage you if you want to be paid effectively by amazon kindle at least open a payona account okay for those who are not in the u.s yes for those who are not in the u.s and uh, uh definitely you don't have a us bank account but there is good news guys i am smart i'm not bragging i am smart enough to tell you that you can actually get a us bank account from any part of the world with this killer tool that is known as payona so on top of the self-publishing account you also need to open a payona account and now when you open up your account you will get verified again it is a step by step you just go to the internet search payona or pioneer accounts as some people are calling it and then when you you are verified you will go there at cards if okay let me show you my payona account guys so guys this is my payona account let's just do a quick one i want to show you how you will actually get a us bank account you just come there at banks and cards after you open your payona account with just an email you open your payona account then you get verified they will show you they will only send you an email they'll ask for some documents they are not documents that you don't have i'm sure you have a national id or something they will tell you what to do they will tell you to verify blah 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 and then now when you have an account you come here at banks and cards and then you come here at receiving accounts and definitely you will find already there is an us bank account set there for you so there is a u.s bank account set there for you and there is also a uk bank account for you so you just come you click to it and now you'll be good so from there you'll have uh if you'll have uh when you have a u.s bank account you can be able to get the the like this okay these are kind of private i don't want to show you more but uh when you click you'll get the routing number the bank account number and all that and all that and all that so guys that's all with the payment mode from there now they will also ask you at this um amazon kindle account when you have an account you get the payment mode and then they'll ask you to fill in a tax detail if you are not in the us you will fill the w-8 band form it is there available online guys it is there or it is even here they will tell you to fill it and maybe uh send it to them and when they approve your your form of which they will approve they have never disapproved any as long as you will fill it well completely uh they will do and if you are not like sure on how to fill it in youtube has resources guys so many people in youtube like in your country for example how do i fill this w whatever form uh in nigeria or in pakistan or in india you will always find someone to, 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 to show you how to do it and then now you'll be good to go with filling in the tax information but guys i think i in in the notes i have directed you even in the payment mode in the tax everything coming opening up the kindle account i have guided you so i love you so much i don't want you to be lost and that's why i have guided you please go back to your notes yes go back to your notes see the step-by-step -step guide this okay i did it for you to like take it slow like you check step one you do this do, do this. so go back to the notes check on how you will come up with a very effective amazon kindle account with the payment details with the tax details and then now you'll be good to go now our factory is ready why do i call it fake factory i call it factory because this is where we are going to like create our book the drafts that whatever whatever so this is where we'll draft our book and actually publish it well next thing is that we will need the self-publishing uh, titans guys as you can see here it's a self-publishing titans so this one it has tools 
and uh, we used there previously we have used the tool of calculator there are other tools like and okay immediately you install this in your in your in your computer it will it will automatically like uh connect itself with your amazon account and this is it here so he, it is here it is so this one first of all it it has suggestions for you it can give you like suggestions it it has so many wonderful features it can give you like suggestions it can give you suggestions it can be able to make you like get the most uh keywords that you can use for different books and all that and all that so you need a uh, self publishing titles next thing i must have you also need chat gpt chat gpt wow guys i mentioned this earlier and i still mentioned that you would need this i'll show you why it will help you to generate ideas like for example if you if you are making animal books it can give you maybe types of animals and all that and all that so you will need chat gpt also you will need canva for designing your book so again i tell you i'll put in a link of canva where you can just go to it and open up a canva account and then finally you would need the mid journey why am i saying mid journey guys and not blue willow why i'm saying uh that you need be mid journey and not blue willow this time is because the mid journey ai is it's about to load it's because okay mid journey i told you you pay and it is the best one actually when it comes to creating coloring books i've tried using blue willow it has failed me big time and i came to realize that with mid journey if you'll just pay a small fee of ten dollars and then it will allow you to create as much images as you want uh i'll show you how you will create them uh at, and it will allow you to create nice images without having to like struggle so you can either use uh mid journey or there's another ai i didn't mention it just came up the other day and i researched on it it is good it is called leonardo ai so guys and another tool that we'll, we will need is this it's called uh, this one it will help enable us um it is like a trademark search kind of tool where we'll be able to check a uh, trademarked words so that we can avoid getting into trouble with the team and copyright issues and all that so guys uh that's all that's all for the tools that you need in this job and um now i hope you've written down and i hope actually you have opened some of these accounts if you haven't you can always come back here and, and get the tools and go back and open the account step by step don't worry one step at a time so we are done with the tools now let's get to the real thing so yes let's get to creating a book hello family i hope you're well i am good i've been well and i'm hoping that all of you have been have been doing okay now guys as i promised you earlier i'm going to take you a step by step tutorial on how to come up with a nice product to set up on amazon using amazon kindle self publishing and ai art so Previously, guys, we looked into the tools that we will be needing. And just a quick recap of the tools that we'll be needing for this whole activity. Tool number one will be Canva. As you can see, guys, I am in Canva. Then from there, we'll be needing a, a Mid Journey. The reason as to why, guys, we have opted for Mid Journey and we have opted to use this. I, I told, as I told you guys, it is no longer free. We paid ten dollars. I paid ten dollars. I subscribed ten dollars per month for it to enable us to create a few images that we are going to use. Okay, in this case, guys, I want to be in the know. We, we are going to create a coloring book for kids because apparently, as I showed you before, guys, coloring books for kids are doing well. People are making a lot of money out of coloring books as long as i can tell maybe there are some people who are making two thousand dollars per month others are making three thousand dollars others are making even four thousand dollars per month others are making even a thousand dollars per month which is not bad 
it is a good business to start with and it is something good if you give it your dedication and if you do it to your best you you you're creative you you're, you're coming up with creative wonderful things that are very exciting to parents and all that i am sure you're going to make good money so guys tool number two is mid journey for a reason mid journey okay as i checked okay there are two ais that you can use to create nice coloring books images and one of them is mid journey mid journey is paid and it remains the best and then there is leonardo ai this one this leonardo ai I didn't mention this when we were starting the course, but this is something worth it, guys. You can go to YouTube or somewhere and maybe try to to understand uh, the basics of Leon, Leonardo AI. So I would, maybe I would recommend you go back and maybe try to do your own research about Leonardo AI. But it is simple. It is a step-by-step -step thing, just like these other uh, AIs. But, okay, the difference between Leonardo AI, Blue Willow, and Mijan is that Leonardo AI is just uh, some sort of a, like a website on its own. It doesn't like literally depend on Discord. And then something else about it is that Leonardo AI is completely free right now. So it doesn't, you don't have to pay anything. And then something else about it is that you can train it. It is you to take it and train it to be what you want. So if you want to be using it for coloring books, there is a way you can train it. Guys, maybe I'll make another course concerning Leonardo AI. But currently, let us now stick to the stick to Mid Journey and Blue Willow. Now, okay, we've been using Blue Willow for other things. We used Blue Willow mostly with the POD. Uh, but in this case, we didn't have a choice, but uh, we had to at least pay something. I said uh, $10 is just, maybe most people can afford $10 if I'm not wrong. Yes, so we just spent a little this time. I don't think if you can start a business today, you can start a business ten, worth ten ten dollars. Am I right? Because if you're going to open a physical shop, guys, you're going to pay rent, you're going to pay electricity, you're going to use some fare and all that. So I'm thinking, uh, in terms of like that kind of thinking, ten dollars is fair enough. So guys, I paid ten dollars uh for this for this uh activity, and actually I've created a few coloring books and I love it. They they've been awesome. If maybe we can check, uh, let 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 us go to Discord and and see if no and in cover and in cover no and and see if our book is here. Maybe to show you a book that I made with uh with a mid journey, mid journey but okay you have nothing to worry about because i am going to show you a step-by-step -step direction on how you can come up with a nice with, with a nice coloring book uh such as this one and you put it up on sale and definitely it's going to give you money now we've said tool number two is mid journey in this case and then now tool number three is chat gpt so this is another ai guys uh i think i mentioned this before uh chat gpt is good it's some sort of a know it all kind of software where like you ask it anything and then it will give you any answer so we will utilize this to make money guys so we're not just chat with it like you can chat with this hey how are you how are you and as i mentioned before this thing is completely free but there is this free version and there is a paid version so there's a way free version free version is good for me because okay it depends on what you want to do with it but i think a uh, free version is working for me and i also think it would also work for you but if you want to still maybe pay and maybe explore more with this you can do that but currently i am okay with free version so guys uh mini uh, chat gpt will will be of great help to us when it comes to making a very unique coloring book and when it comes to maybe coming up with an issue or coming up with an idea it is very good at that second thing that we'll be needing is self-publishing titans guys i showed you uh i didn't go deep with self-publishing titans but i wanted you to see it has free tools which are very very good these tools uh if you want for example a tool you you just come here and maybe you click on it I, I have installed most of the tools that is why you are seeing they are kind of limited but 
it has a uh, free free softwares that are very very important uh, it has the calculator the one that maybe you can use to spy on what maybe a certain book is making and it it also have other tools that will enable you to get the keywords that will give you the best niches ideas and what i love about uh, self publishing titans is that it has tutorial videos yes so guys when you when you open up an account with this it's free it's free but okay there are some paid page tools there are tools that you have to pay and there are tools that you have to like they are free but okay for right for night night now as a as a beginner guys i can recommend just use the free ones but if you think like i have gone like to another level with kdp and all that you can just maybe pay for other tools but the most basic tools that you need in amazon kdp as a beginner like the tools that will help you to get suggestions niches keywords such things it is totally free all right now we are done with uh these are the tools so you can go ahead and maybe check these tools and maybe when you click on a tool what happens for example you okay the, the result as, as to where they are not coming uh it's because i already installed most of them as you can see my amazon here uh they the tool is already there so that's why you're seeing yes here here it is guys so these tools uh i when i installed them to my like i downloaded and as an extension they came automatically to my amazon.com all right the other tool that we'll be needing is amazon.com basic amazon.com so this one will enable you to see what other people are doing for you to avoid like creating a copyright like a copyright book or doing an, a, an exact duplicate of somebody so for example if Okay, the idea I have today is that we will we'll make a super doggy, uh, super duper doggy's coloring book. And so this is what I did. I just came there and I typed in super duper doggies. And as you can see, guys, I'm told no results for super duper doggies. What does that mean? It means this is a complete new title. Nobody else has done it. Okay, there are other super duper uh, animals, something, but doggies, I don't think there is. So this is why it is important for you to at least have an Amazon.com. Okay, it is good. For example, you can even use it to shop maybe for your favorite dress, favorite bag, favorite laptop and all that. So it is good. So it is good in terms of making money. It is also good in terms of shopping. Now, let's move into the other tool that we'll be needing. If I'm not wrong, this will be the major tool that you'll be needing, guys. And this is called Amazon Kindle. Amazon Kindle. This is a book that is a, it's trying, like, I'm trying to edit it. So this is Amazon KDP uh, book, Amazon, kdpamazon.com. So this is where we'll come and publish our book after we have created it on cover. So, okay. And lastly, but not last, we'll need, uh, like, uh, tool that will enable us to check on trademark prices but guys uh i'll just show you how you will do it so that you can avoid uh to like your work to be copyrighted or you can avoid termination and all those consequences that come if you have done a duplicate of another person's work and also guys inbox gmail you need at least to have a gmail account this is where Amazon will be uh, the Amazon team will be communicating to you with so it is important at least you have a Gmail account now I think now we are set with the tools now let's go to the real thing we are going to to create a book and you excited I am but okay guys this is one thing I want you to remember that everything that I've mentioned here it's free apart from the mid journey so you don't worry about uh canva there is the the paid canva and there is the free canva so we are going to use the free version and i'm telling you it will surprise you it will give us good results and you will not have to worry about anything so guys before we start before we start i want you to go grab a pen and a notebook because there are measurements that I want you to keep keen, like be keen with the measurements and also be keen with the prompts that I will give to Mid Journey because not every prompt will give you 
a coloring book image are you together so that is why guys i need you to cooperate please cooperate yes and go get a notebook and a pen and make sure to write things down like the measurements that i'm going because it's not all measurements that you can just go you need to like set up a specific kind of measurements for your book so go get a pen and a notebook so that you can note down those important things they'll be important guys if you skip this it should be bad for you okay now i am hoping that you've done that good good now let us move straight into this now i want to show you exactly how we'll come up with a very nice product to put up on amazon with the help of ai and a few other tools so the first question you should ask yourself is what exactly do i want to make what product do i want to make there are many products you can make with amazon kindle publishing so number one product is that you can make an ebook there is puzzle are we together there is puzzle book there is a coloring book and there is a storybook so in our case guys we will do a kids coloring book so now that we know what we want you ask yourself what type of coloring book am i going to come up with so there are two ways or three ways uh you can come up with a nice idea for you to now uh for you to now to be able to like expand the idea and come up with a very unique idea a nice idea that most people don't have or that has a unique one and then you will be able now to now create the the book out of that idea so idea number one guys is just your own imagination if you 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 believe in yourself and you believe that i am creative i can come up with nice crazy ideas yes you can generate the idea just from your own kind of imagination or something next thing you do is you can use amazon.com itself so for example you can come here and just say coloring coloring book and so this is where um this is where the titan uh comes in now handy so this is where this self titans it will give you suggestions for example you you will be given suggestions by you see just the moment i've just wrote coloring book it is now busy trying to give me suggestions so coloring books aha uh -huh, for kids you know for kids so we can use the self publishing titan to give us say, suggestions so number one we can get um suggestions from all these the, all these are suggestions so for example here we have suggestion uh, coloring books for kids age to eight to twelve and now guys let me tell you this is just a coloring book suggestion i didn't tell you to go put up the title just exactly as it is because it will bring you to trouble but at least it is giving you a suggestion many suggestions it, it is suggesting to you you can use a, a two to four years coloring book for kids age two to four years dinosaur now you have the idea the suggestion that i am going to come up with a coloring book of dinosaurs this to this age you can have a coloring book for pokemon it's a nice suggestion guys so for kids so as you can see this is where now a must have key that you ha you should have it's called self publishing titans go ahead and put it at amazon.com it will help you a lot in coming up with nice suggestion now you know the second method of getting an idea the third method uh of getting an idea is uh, chat gpt i mentioned this tool earlier and it is very helpful guys it is very nice it is very nice uh in coming up with ideas for example you can tell it mm, hi give me a few suggestions 
for a kids coloring book to be sold on Amazon. So you just tip, you, you type in and then there you go. Magical creatures. It is giving you suggestions. It is now telling you creating a coloring book filled with uh, these magical features like unicorns, dragons, fairies, and mermaids. Kids love magical things, and this could be a hit. Adventure space. You know, it is giving you very nice ideas, guys. And as you can see, this thing is magical itself. It's giving. It has given you ten ideas. So what you can do, you can just copy up these ideas. And maybe go paste them go paste them in your google docs for for future reference or you can come to this and maybe download all these suggestions you, you download them here and then they'll go to a google sheet and then now you can always refer time to time i hope we are clear from there now guys i have a suggestion i want to create a a book a coloring book um targeting age mm, let's say from age um mm -hmm, no not three to five let's do four to eight years kind of yeah these uh, not girls literally like uh, gender four to to eight years and now this this idea this is how i came up with i came up with that title because guys these are not titles get me right these are just suggestions I don't want you to make the mistake I made when, when I was a newbie. In fact, I I created a book and I just said, coloring book for kids, this, this, this. Everybody is like using that title. So it's, it's going to give you issues. These are not titles, but are suggestions. So um, I can maybe, uh, the suggestion that I have here, for example, is uh, maybe creating a coloring book of kids around four to eight years. Yes, four to eight years old. Kids yes so what you, or you can just say coloring books for kids it doesn't matter the age because what i have in mind is is called uh i want to create a dog coloring book but this is the the thing guys i want to create a, a book known as like the, the the title i was thinking about here i told you, you can be creative guys i i i came up with this wonderful title and i called it um I came here and say, you know, kids like saying this thing, this word, super duper, super duper. So there are so many super duper animal coloring books. I want you to see, guys, there are so many. There are so many. So you can always get suggestions and ideas. You see, <clears throat> there are so many super duper stuff, super duper animals, super duper everything. But there is no super duper doggies. You see? There is no super duper doggies. No. <laughs> Let's do ah doggies. I search before and I don't think there is a super duper doggy book. Voila. No results for super duper doggies. That is good news to us because it is telling us okay, but it is okay. Another thing about self publishing titans. It's that it is telling you that the keyword, you see this yellow part here, this yellow part suggests that that keyword is super duper as it calls itself. It's awesome. It turns, uh, okay, yellow. But if it is not that good, it will not turn yellow. So this is what we are going to do. So what are we going to do? We have the idea, we have the title already. We have the title, we have an idea. We know. What is the next step? After you know, uh, the idea the title so the title tells us a super duper doggy definitely this is not a just a doggy or a dog doing um the ordinary thing something else i wanted to add on like coming up with a nice suggestions or nice ideas for coloring books for kids guys you can choose to do uh for example one type of thing uh, for example one thing that has different kinds for example dogs we have different types of dogs. There is Poodle, there is Chihuahua, there is German Shepherd and all that and all that. So there is also, for example, another one that has different kinds is cats. There are so many kinds of cats. So you can do, 
you can always do or think of something with different kinds. For example, cars, toy cars. There are so many types of toy cars. So you can always come up with something. You can think of one thing that has other types and then now you can come up with so many, many, many other types. So here, guys, we have decided it's a super duper doggy. So definitely these doggies are not going to do the normal activities dog does. Like, you know, these dogs, they walk in the park. Or maybe these dogs, they are lying somewhere, sleeping on a couch. Or they are, they are, they are behind or the, behind the car being, or, 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 yeah, normal, catching freebies, that is normal. So when we say super duper, and that is something that is going to be fun for kids, something that is kind of fiction, something that creates a sense of imagination to these kids. What are we going to do? We are going to ask Chat GPT to give us types of dogs, different dogs doing super or uh, like extraordinary activities, you know, yeah, extraordinary things. For example, maybe a poodle or a chihuahua, you know, driving a Lamborghini on the streets. Isn't that supernatural? Isn't that, isn't that amazing? Yes. So we are going to ask it to do to tell us like another few ideas of different dogs. Guys, and also before you 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 tell this chat GPT to give you like the activities and all that, you need to think about the size of your book. So my personally I do around 30 to 50 pages book and I can either do 40 pages book or 30 pages book. So when you're doing a 40 pages book, you you make sure you have 20 dogs i'll explain why you have 20 dogs so what do we do we come here we ask our chat gtp hi uh give us uh give me a a, a list of 20 different kind of dogs doing extra ordinary ordinary activities let's see let's see let's see then you say enter wait for it wait for it guys boom here we have it here we have it let's see the retrieving surfing the waves at the beach a border when doing ship with precision and skill racing in a winner dog derby Haki, whatever, whatever. Hmm. I don't love these activities. They seem extra super and they seem extra bogus. So give us more. Simpler. Less detailed activities. Let's do let's let's see. Let's see. Yes, that is extraordinary. Tick. Ah, uh, solving a puzzle with impressive problem solving. Blah, 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 blah. And so on and so on. And guys, you're not, this is a robot, guys, and you are the human here. So, it's just giving you ideas. You don't have, like, to, like, do or just work with these ideas. You can choose to do. Like, you can decide something extraordinary, like, for example... A, 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 a lobster serving or a lobster cooking in the kitchen or doing extraordinary thing that normally most dogs they don't do so now we have the whole idea now after this we have the idea we know what we want to do we know the title and we know everything we know the direction of the book what do we do next we go straight to meet Johnny and try to generate these amazing pictures and then from there i'll explain you what to do next so guys let's go straight to meet journey and try to come up with a nice coloring image for these doggies doing these different supernatural activities now that we are done with with step one coming up with the idea and all that we now move to step two of creating the images. Now, what do we do? We go straight to Midjani. Why is it important for us to use Midjani? 
the most important part of your signature is that you're given the license to your to your image so any image that you create here you are licensed to use it because you paid ten dollars it means that now you have all the rights to use this image so here we are at mid journey while people are creating things i i guess this one is creating a magazine or something a fashion magazine if i'm not wrong you see guys people are using ai to make money so what are you doing join the team and let us make money let us just be creative with this thing let us utilize it now that it is here let us move with technology yes so back to the main thing now what we will do first of all we will come at the at the chat gpt and then we we'll get the ideas so we'll start with the a uh, number one a lab Labrador, so a Labrador retriever riding a stakeboard and performing tricks. So me, I will not like add two actions at the same time to make the image much simpler. Remember, this is a coloring book. So maybe we'll just take the, the dog type and just a simple task it is doing. So what do we do, guys? Go, go get your pen. Now, this is where you will need a pen. This is where you will need a pen. So I want you to watch closely the kind of prompt I will input at mid journey for us to, to have a nice, a nice, a nice, a nice uh, uh, image for our coloring book with the right dimensions and the right everything. So what do you do? You come here at plus and then you say up, use up and then you come here as usual you say imagine prompt and then you say a color guys you can do the other coloring thing it doesn't matter it is just the difference between this one is a uk english and this one is a us english so me i'm used to this type of coloring but you can also use the c o l u u o u r i n g so a coloring page for kids then say comma. Then we do what? We come here. Then we copy this part. Writing a stick board. Simple as that. Then we copy. Then we go back to this board. And then we, we do what? We paste it. Right together from there. Comma. Then we do what? We say cartoon style. What these guys cartoon style i'm doing it so slowly for you to write the notes down cartoon style then thick lines comma then what else you say low detail comma you understand this comma thing you give me a short instruction comma then say no shading. Right. Contrasts. It, it should not be dark in any way. Comma. And then what do we do now? We will put in the dimensions. What this? This is how you do to put in the dimensions. Do this. You come say hyphen hyphen a r, press it, then you say the dimension that is best according to me is nine uh, by eleven. Then you enter. Now let's wait and see what Majan is going to come up with. So we are crossing our fingers. We are hoping. It is going to give us something good. So don't worry about catching up with your image. We advanced guys. It is not like in the in the beginning of the course. Nowadays we just come to at mentions, then we put our our name and then we enter. Then now we'll keep now our we'll keep up now with our with our image. So it is at fifteen percent. So let us see what Midjan is going to come up with. 
so guys i've i've done i've done several several images with um with mid journey you can see for example i've done wow something good is coming here as you can see it's at 62 percent so let's see let's see so i wanted to show you what mid journey can do but it's amazing it's doing great stuff it's um wow it's already here as you can see guys see just see it's a nice coloring book it is in fact i'm torn which one will i select now i i love like all of it but definitely i'm going to go for one that is much simpler and one that have a little other details one that has okay almost all of them are smiley i will not go for this one because it has a black nose or something so i will not consider that i think i'll do this one because this one is bright it will it will be good it will uh, we don't want clients to complain guys don't we don't do we we don't want uh, to to put up something and then we get a bad review so we want to make sure that the image that you're selecting is it's favoring the client so this is a nice dog i think i would go for upscale too i will not go for these ones with a black nose yes so i would avoid something that has any color so I would do upscale too. Or what do you think, guys? Personally, let us do upscale too. And now let us wait for it to load. It is loading just somewhere down here. So here it is. But you can always come here and wait. But I noticed you can also keep up with your things here. Because on the other the other side, it's a bit slow. Well, here is our lab. Radar retriever riding a skateboard guys can you see it has other details behind so this is something a child will enjoy uh, like this is a, something that is making a child like no i'm creating something it, it has other details and this dog is doing something and it is smiling it, ha it has this smiley face and it is wow so i love this so just come here and then what you'll do you'll just save up the image and you continue and you continue and you continue so guys we are going to create another extra just for for insisting want to insist we will make another mm -hmm. let's just paste here pause yeah, and save yes so i'll show you another let's do another one for you maybe to understand and then the rest i'll have to leave you guys i go and come up with all those images and then we will come back to step three then now we'll know what to do but now let me just let us just do the other dog the second dog so we we'll come and okay for simple like guys it's always good to like save time so what do we do we'll go back to our prompt here because it is the same prompt the only thing you have to do is to change the let me show you so you will just copy that part like that you copy it the way it is copy text and then you come here and then you use up and then come to prompt and then paste now what you will do guys uh, you will change a few things like this part you just delete yes you delete that and you come here and you delete that but it, it's okay you can always type no problem i'm just showing you another way personally i prefer typing because this is also some sort of extra work so what we do we come back to chat gpt and then we go to our next dog i say a border collie solving a puzzle with impressive problem solving skills so let us just maybe copy uh let us just copy just the first part it is always good to be to use less explaining as possible because this is a coloring book we don't want it to have uh, a lot of details so what do you do after you do that you just enter and then wait and see what Mijadi is going to create but i'm sure it's going to make us something good 
So I wanted to show you guys what I made earlier the other days for other coloring books. And I want you to see how much this thing is. It, it, it's coming up with great images for, for that kind of... I don't know why it's, it's not coming up. It always shows me <laughs> what I've created earlier on. So I don't know why today it is behaving the way it is. But no problem. This is technology. We will not blame it. Mm -hmm. So let's see. Let's see if it's near. Near. Because I see as if this our doggy has color. If it has color, you can always go back and maybe do another prompt. Wow. I think. Let me see. Let me see. Which doggy doesn't have color here? This one has black color. It's not solving a, a, a puzzle. But I think I've seen one that, it, that has color. There is one here. It doesn't have color. If we can maybe click on it and see this one is black. I don't think this one is solving a puzzle. But I think this one has followed almost all our prompts. As you can see, it has it is solving a puzzle. So here we have it. So it's bright. It doesn't have a lot of black. Always avoid something that is already like in color. So you, you can't pick this one because it has color already. This one has color. When I say that this is going to give you uh, like coloring images, I didn't say that it will not bring you ones with color. As you can see, guys, we have we have ones with color. So it is up to you to like choose the one that doesn't have color. So let me choose upscale too. But you can always uh v2 if you want more of this but i'm comfortable with upscale too so i'll just upscale too and then see i think they are they 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 did something or they are they like upgraded their system or something they like modified their system it is now much friendlier it is not such it is not hectic as it was when we were beginning the course so what we will do we just save image as and then we just paste so guys as you can see this is what i made other times earlier on and they are good pictures and then you save so that's all guys i want to show you the the, the images that uh, maybe i created earlier on uh, the images i used uh mid journey to create i want you to see it was for my this book this book here, there is a book I created about sea creatures. And these were the kind of images that I came up with. So guys, my journey is the best when it comes to coming up with coloring book images. It's the best. It's so good. I just fell in love with the kind of image my journey is giving us. So that is why I'm insisting. Do my journey. It will give you license to your images. And it will give you very unique nice images guys as you can see these are images that i used and they were accepted and they are good so guys we have done step two now we'll go straight to step three but give me time i'm going to come up with all those doggies and then i'll come back and then we'll do step three so stay tuned i hope you have learned something and i hope you've noted down very important details okay so from where we left guys i came up with uh 18 extra images remember we have pre we had created two so i used my journey to come up with these uh doggy images all these are AI prompted as you can see they are nice images we can use them for our coloring book they are amazing so what to do next for step three is that we are going now to import these images to canva and then now we are going to set the layer or that we are now going now the step three will be about coming up or creating the paperback interior from the beginning so i'm going to show you how we are going to design the interior of our coloring book uh, using canva so this is where i'll need you guys to go get a pen and a notebook i want you to write down because there are dimensions that would be very important for you to understand 
before you start creating a, a book on Canva because you cannot create any other book, uh, any other dimension away from what is recommended by Amazon Kindle. So we need to use the recommended dimensions for a coloring book according to Amazon Kindle. So this is what you do. You come at create design and then you come here at custom design. So the the actual book size should be 8.5 uh, by 11 inches. But now because of the bleeding and the trimming when they are coming up like with the final design at, at their like warehouse, we will need like to put an extra inch from no an extra uh, a bit extra from the defined dimension and now what we'll need to do is you come here at uh, custom size and then you say 8.625 by 11.250 and it should be in inches so i'm sure it's going to change i should have started maybe with inches because when I just change into inch, so remember guys, it is always important for you to change this part into inches. So you, you do inches and then now you come up with the measurements. 8.625 by 11.250. And then now you do what? Say uh, create new design. So it's going to create a page for you according to that design, according to that size. And now from there now we come up with a good interior for our paper bag that will be used to be to like that will be used to create the whole book interior now let's wait for it to load okay in the meantime guys uh, as it's loading i came up with these images 18 extra images away from what we had created with you guys i used ai i, I purely used ai to come up with these things yes and as you can see they are nice images they are very nice they are very bright this is something that your kid or someone will enjoy working with with their kids so as you can see these are different types of dogs some are doing extraordinary things some are just posting and uh, posting and all that so what we'll do is that after it has loaded we are going to upload or import all these images to our canva now we can use them to, to come up with a good interior layout. So let's go back to Canva. I think it has already like come up with the size. If you want to confirm, you check here. You come here and check. And now we are going to say, we are going to call it interior for super doggy. Interior for super doggy. Super Dupa, dupa. Yes, interior for super dupa doggy. So what to do, guys? I'm just going to show you how to upload one, and from there maybe I'll leave you and uh, upload the rest. So what to do? You come here at upload files, you upload files, and then uh, we come to our folder somewhere here. I told you it's important for you guys to be very organized. So in this one, we are going to press control. We are going to add a group of these images. We'll do 555. And then now uh, we open and see what is going to come up. Let's see if it's going to load. So we have loaded our first five images. And then now we go back and load it is always good to just do it in intervals for you to keep track of the images that you are putting in that like adding the the like 20 images at the same time is going to like it's going to be hectic for you because i'm sure you can't remember every image the way it looks like so in case there is a problem you can be able to trace it stage by stage so you come at upload files again and then i think we have done one two three four five and then now we are going to do these other five ones so you are going to press control then one two three four five simple as that then you, you say open and then extra images will load so we'll do it slowly by slowly until we make sure that we have all our 20 images or so so uh, when you see this blue thing like 
uploading like what it means that your images are uploading very slowly or they are uploading very fast so we have so when this when these are done uploading then the rest will come in it's a slow process but it's good it's good to be slow but sure we now have all the images and now let us count to see they are all 20 here so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen twenty twenty one so it means there is one image that has appeared twice but don't worry we'll just trace it and we will know which one which one it which one i think it's this one this one and this one so guys you need to be careful and like cross check and recount for you to have the exact number of images now we have 20 images so basically what happens you need 20 images for you to make a 40 page book because normally if you have ever bought a coloring book there is for example this page here if you can imagine it's a page you will put a picture and then definitely maybe they will use coloring maybe water coloring or something so you cannot you cannot put a picture behind it so what you do you skip you add a page you skip then you you you, you make sure like on the right hand on the left there is a picture and then on the the back of the page there is no picture i hope you have understood so that is why we'll do a 40 page book so we'll skip we'll skip pages uh for us to have a neat book at the end of the day at the end of the day i want to to have a, a client mind i want you to always think about your client always think about that child when they are coloring and the kind of experience they're going to have with your book so that is the first thing you should do in any business that you start you need to think of your clients more than you think about yourself. You need to put yourself in their shoes for you to come up with something good. So guys, I want to show you how I will go about this. You will just come and click the first picture like that. And then from there, you're going to put it there. And now you will spread it all over this page. I will make sure it fits it fits to this page making it big enough and more up close so you make sure it has like filled up uh, the whole yes it has filled up the whole page yes so it has fitted in so after you put it there it's okay let me see what has happened let's go back to uploads so after you do that you come here and say add page so you add like one page then you add another page so after you put one image you add two extra pages you add and you add and then now this one is that this is where we are going to put our second image you just click to it like that you bring it here guys as you can see it is very simple there is nothing hard here don't you agree with me but if i'm taking this video so slowly because i want you to understand and if you will not understand guys i want you to like rewatch this you are free to watch this as many times as you want until you get this until it you you get it you now you add add page then add page so this is where we are going to put our that doggy there we go so so guys i will do the rest i will not record the rest but at least you have understood what to do you add and then you add and then this one that is where you put the for the doggy so I'm going to post this first. Uh, I'm going to post the recording and I'm going to do the rest of it and then I'll show you like the complete part of it. 
Okay, I'll come back. So I've completed uh like fitting in all the images, all the twenty images from where we stopped. I think we stopped from around here. So I fitted all these others. I fitted them inside the the pages. Okay. This is a problem here, guys. Uh, I see we didn't skip on this, so nothing to worry about. We're just going to add a page or something. Let's maybe add and yes, we didn't skip this. So it's it's important for you to always go through your work. So what we are going to do, we will come here. We we'll just come here and add a page. So there will be a page in between. Yes, in between um yes so as you can see yes there is always a, a bit that we have skipped skip um yes so after you've done that you've checked your work and you're sure this is good you come here you come here you check you you double cross you So that's it guys so what to do yes i have added an engagement an engaging question so what to do after you finish that you come here watch closely you come here share and then you come at download then uh, you will not go with the suggested one you will do print so you'll come here and say pdf print are we together you say pdf print and then you download your work we download it so let's wait for it to load so our book have already downloaded now it's interior for super duper doggy so guys that's it for step three i've shown you how you make a good interior it's not hard as you can see it is very simple so from there now we are going to hop into uh, to step four which is how to create the cover page because guys cover page is another big deal when it comes to creating creating this book so it's another big thing that you need to understand for you to be able to do it correctly so we are done with uh step three we need we created and uh, the interior of the paperback now that we are going to step four which is creating the cover bit sorry the cover page so i hope you have understood and i hope you've had fun with all this and i've had fun too as i have taught you one or two three things and I'm so excited about step four. So stay tuned as we go ahead creating this wonderful book. All right. Okay, now let's proceed to step four. And in this step, in this step four, we will actually create a cover page for our coloring book the outer part cover we are coming here at search because we had come up we had already uh, made a prompt for that we don't want to redo so we just go uh, and put in our name yes and uh, when it comes now we are going to uh, to modify so guys the, so i'm going to come here yes and i will copy the same exact prompt I'll copy text and then I'll come here. I'll say use up. Then I'll go to imagine and then from there I'll just paste it. Now I want you to watch closely. There are some changes I'm about to make. First I'm going to, to remove that and remove this. Now I want us to say here the this part of a coloring page for kids you just say you remove this a coloring page we together you remove this and you say kids illustration Are we together so you just change a coloring page to kids illustration comma it already has the other instructions now 
cartoon style remains cartoon style remains thick lines remains but this part of okay uh low detail we will it will remain yeah this part of low detail will remain but this part of no shading we'll have to say bye bye to it we will just do and this part of bright contrast we will we we'll just do with that away with that and then we are going to replace it with vivid color good now that is the prompt of having a nice cover page so this is what we'll do kids illustration a bulldog whatever 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 with his cartoon style thick lines low detail vivid color so that part of no shading you remove that part of kids coloring page you remove and now you get but the inches the ratio remains this dimension this it remains so let's see what it's going to give us. Let's see what that is going to come up with. So it is always good at least you use a, a, an animal that is already inside the coloring book. Okay, that's my style. I don't know about your style. Maybe you would go for a group of doggies. Kids illustration, comma, uh, uh, a group of cool doggies, comma. Cartoon style, comma, thick lines. That is also good. Low, de low detail and vivid color. You can be... I'm not telling you to like follow exactly my ideas or do what I am doing. Because I, I don't want competition. So guys, I want you to go out there and try to be creative. Don't like duplicate like everything that I show you. But at least the basics. The ones that you really need to know. Like coming up with the image like... um. Mm, what those are the things that you need to understand but the the ideas the creativity you can always feel free you can always be as creative as possible remember we have ai here so that would be cool so guys this is what it has given us mm -hmm. Is what it has given us, and um, I love this. It's super okay, but um, in fact, I'm torn. What do I go for? Mm hmm. What about this this one, guys? It's colorful. It's it's, it's looking extraordinary. You see. There's this part here also. It's okay. In fact, I'm torn <laughs> with what to choose. But you can always do a variation. So we'll do a variation of upscale 2. And a, a variation of 1 and 2 and maybe 4. And let's see. So variation of that one. And variation of that one. And 4. And then now we'll know what to choose. You can always, yes, we have all these variations. And now we can only now choose which one is best. So when you when you turn on what to decide, to decide you can always do variations. So this is a part uh, we will walk you through. Step four. So. So. So after I looked and looked guys I've come I've come up with a with some few options for the cover page. Mm -hmm, not that place. This place here. I've come up with some few options. So here there is this is option three for our cover page. Here it is, there is option three. So there is option one. 
that is option one option two and option three but actually i loved option three so we are going to work with option three now after we have we have found an image we have found an image what we'll do we'll now go back to canva and try now to come up with the cover page design so let's go straight to canva and make the cover page using this image here so now that we have got our cover image we'll now go ahead go to canva but now before we go to canva because we need to like put a custom size of the cover page but guys this is normally done different this is where we'll need amazon kindle kdp to help us get the exact dimensions of the cover book so this one you don't this one you calculate with amazon kindle for it to give you the exact dimensions so how do we get these exact dimensions from amazon itself so we'll go use an Amazon calculator. They normally have a calculator. And so what you do, what you do after, what you do now to go get the calculator, you go to your KDP account, I presume. By the time you are to this stage, you already have a KDP account. You have set up like everything. And now it is set for you to start designing. So what you'll do, you come to your kindle direct publishing account and then i want you to to also write this down guys it is very important for you to put these details these step by steps they will really help you when you're doing your own book so you come here at help and then from there you say format your paperback So after you click format your paperback, you come here at download, download your, your cover page. So here at download a cover template, you say cover, calculator, and template. You click this part here. So you click it. And now it's going to ask you a few questions concerning your book. So the first question it will ask you, it, is it binding type, it's a paperback. Interior type, it's black and white because it's a coloring book. Paper type, this is a white paper. Then, paper turn direction. Guys, I know this will confuse most of you because most of you maybe are used to opening the book from right to left. But guys, in the case of the coloring book, it is different. It is left to right. So we say left to right. Then measurement units. This is where you come in and you put inches. We will select inches and then interior trim size. So as you can remember, guys, initially I told you a good coloring book has 8.5 by 11 inch. So write that down to 8.5 by 11 inch note that down number of pages it's put one pages and now after you you put your 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 um, all the the you answer this question correctly and normally these questions are constant if you're creating a caroling book such as mine so they are constant the only thing you maybe you have to change is the number of pages for example you've done 50 pages you do 50 pages and all that so what are we going to do? We are going to say calculate dimension. So when it has said calculate dimension, you come here at download template. So it will download the template. And now we are going now, it will come in two pieces. There will be PDF and there will be PNG. We will go ahead and look for the PNG type, not the PDF one. So what we will do, we will come here at uh, downloads. Then um, I think it is this one. Yes, it is this one. Let us see if it is the one. So what we'll do, we'll extract. No, not it's not this one. It is the other one. So let us delete this.
to avoid confusion so it is this one if i'm not wrong so you can come and check you don't want to buy anything here you can come and check the png yes exactly it is this one so it will it will give you something like this so this is what we will use it is it is what that will give us the overall dimensions that we'll use to create our cover page are we together from there okay now how am i going to get this my my png i'm just coming to here if you have such a thing in your computer you can just come to the file itself and then you're going to say extract to a specified folder so we will extract it to we'll extract it to um, for example beula let's do it uh, let's extract it as beula and now let's go search for beula and get our what you need to do so we'll just come here and look for beula here it is and it has a png document for us so let us look for it so here it is so here it is so when you have already now downloaded the png and you have like saved it somewhere that you can read so quickly now this is where you go straight to 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 canva i hope you are together from there so we have calculated dimensions we've been given an a specific dimension by the amazon kindle calculator now we are coming here to do custom size so guys what do you do the custom size will depend on the overall dimension that you will get from that png thing that we we had downloaded before so you click on it and now it's going to give us a few dimensions so it is important one it is going to give us dimensions that we're going to insert there and second we are going to use it like a template to layer our cover page i hope we are together from there so what to do this is ignore all these other uh things just focus on this part here this part overall dimensions so the overall dimension of our book will be 17.342 by 11.250 so you come back here and you say custom size you say 17 point three four two by eleven point two fifty yes so you say create new design so when you have already done that you have now the recommended template size or the recommended cover page dimension according to amazon kindle so what next what next is that we'll come here at uploads and then we'll upload that png are we together yes so we come here at upload then we'll go get our png and then we'll upload it so we look for for beola Then we'll wait for it to load. As usual, it takes time, but it will surely load. So it is loading slowly, guys. So when it finishes to load, now we are going to put it here, and it will enable us to like format the whole cover page easily. So when you when it's already there, the PNG that we got from KDP Calculator, you click on it like that, and then you bring it here. Are we together so when you bring it here we want to spread it all over this page so what we do we'll come here and push it and i want you to watch closely guys i want you to be very keen not to go away from the page we want to focus more on the exact 
So it is scary when it you begin for the beginners. It is scary, but it's nothing to worry about. It's something you can do. Okay, yes. If I did it, you can do it. If the other people are doing it, you can also do it. Nothing to worry about. I don't know why it is misbehaved. Okay, wow, well, it has behaved itself. So here we have it. There we have it. So that will be the first, okay, the second stage to this. So this template here will help us to design our book. And it will help us to design like the cover page of our book. So now that we have ha we have now put the template on, so this is what is going to guide us on what to do. So this part here is the back part of the book and this is the front part of the book. So what you normally do, you start uh, designing the back part of the book. So what you do, you come here at elements and then you choose here shapes, lines and shapes. But uh, you, you look for a square shape. A square shape so if there is a square shape that is what you, you put here and then I'll, I'll just show you what to do but now I realize that uh, I don't know what is happening with Canva that it, it is lacking that square shape and you cannot use any other square because if you use any other square it will be hard to to adjust for example if we decide for example to use a uh, square this square it will be difficult for us to like expand it and do things with it. It is just constant. So it is kind of difficult. The only thing you can do with it is just to pull it, but you cannot like expand it from downwards. So that is why we will not just pick any other square. So what we'll do, you know, you need to be like proactive and think fast. So what I, I thought I would use something that is uh just uh closely something that looks closely to a square and this is the best one so this is what you do guys so this this one is the best this the the great these ones this type of uh lines and shapes are the best because they are adjustable one and you can change color so for example we'll change color considering the first the first page so this one, I see it has green. Let us just put it there. It has green, it has yellow, it has... Okay, we can do brown. But also it's good to do a colorful color. So maybe we can do blue. So what we'll do is just come here. Let us first of all remove it. It's time will come. So we wanted to see the best colors to blend. So we'll just click on this and then come to colors. Maybe we'll choose this color here or this. You make sure you have a very bright color like that one. You can even use purple. Let us scale for us. Intensity. So you see, we can decide for it to be intense or to be lighter. Let's go with this. So what we are going to do, we are going to bring our improvised square there. Then we are going to, first of all, uh, like push it, pull it down. We make sure it is within the, 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 the edges. So we'll pull it down and make sure it is even extra. Yes, like that. And then what we'll do now, at least guys, you see we have a square. If that is not, if yes, we have a square already. And now what to do, you come here and you pull it like that, like that, until you get to these lines, watch closely, you make sure it, it has passed and it has gone to the second line, yes, at least it has gone to the second line. So guys, we have already done the back. We are done with the back. It is as simple as that. Now we want to focus on the front part of the cover page. So what we do, we'll just come here and put our picture here. And um, I don't think this one will blend. 
the colors so maybe let me do this other doggy here so yes so we'll do this one instead of the other one so what we'll do we'll just uh bring this picture here this will be the front part of our book so what we do first of all you just pull it pull it like that See now, mm -hmm. make sure it, it has hit the line. Yes, let me see. No, no, no. Yes, so what you do, you will just come here, click on it, and then pull it. Pull it, uh, do the pulling, then you make sure it has okay this part here you make sure it has no yes this one you just uh, go a little bit overboard a bit and then now you come to this part here and then you say position then you say forward so guys you see we have now we have the back part of the book the, how our book will look like from the back it will look like this and now from the forward, uh, from in, in front of the book, it will look like this. So this is where we will come now and label the book. This is where we will put to. Now after you have made your back uh, part and your front part, what you do now is to label the book according to the title that we have decided so here we want to design the, the title so what you do you just come here add um, text and then you say add text box so in this case we are going to to do this we will come here around uh, here and then we will just um, increase the font size and uh, that I want that uh, name to be big that word to be somehow big so so let us just put in the word super super and I want to change this uh, font we want to give it a decorative font so you just come here so in this one we want a, deco a, a decorative font so you come here you select and you choose something um unique you can this you can play with that and see how it will look like that super will look like that i love this uh, uh, archivo black So super will look like that. Make sure it is big. Super. And then we will give it a, a nice color. Maybe we'll do red. Let's see. But okay. Red is not. So you just play with colors. Yellow. There is... Um, do that color but it is dull so just say super then we'll just come here and duplicate and then bring it next here and then we just say duper just change to that, that to duper and then we'll change the color of this one we'll change it to this color red so super duper then again you just come and duplicate bring in bring it there 
we don't want uh, so this one we will just do maybe another bright color you can see doggies so what we we'll do because it is big we we'll just uh, So this is another trick that I want to I wanted to show you guys. I wanted to show you that you can make these words more conspicuous by editing their their effects. So you can just come here and give it an outline. For example, we'll give it a shiny outline like that one. Yes, and maybe this one too. And this one. So you look for an outline that will make your work uh, more bolder. Let us see what will make it bolder. Yes, a bold outline. So I think it's okay. So from there, we'll now come here down and say coloring book. So we we'll just type in, uh, we we'll just, okay come here duplicate again then bring it down here and say after the position of this title yes so let us uh duplicate this and write caroline book so we'll just bring here and then we'll change and write the word color <clears throat> you notice it's so big so what we'll do just reduce the the font size and and change the color so i think this would, would be white will do white uh, white will do better so we'll just say white yes so, no let me it's not changing but okay it's okay it will change so just come inside here and uh, copy and after you copy you come here at color you choose color white white so you see coloring book so guys this is all we have titled our book and this is all with them designing the front part and the back part back part of the coloring book isn't it amazing i love it so from there now i'll show you how you download this yes i'll show you how you will download it and now from there now we can go to step five of Now I've moved the wordings from the top, I've brought them to the center and I've put them in different intervals. Again guys, I want to encourage you to be creative. You don't have to do what I'm doing. You can always do what you love doing or according to your text. I'm, I'm sure some would prefer like put it on top others. But it is always good to always maybe put your title bit in, in between the page or on top of the page. So what you do next is that you want to look if there is something that... Uh, is away from like that is something that is away from the like for example how am i going to okay what you're going to do next is to look if our wordings are away the the cover or they are within the cover so if you want to know if uh, you are if your art is within the cover or if everything is just within you just come here at transparency and then you you reduce the transparency to see where the wordings are in so it is always good to make sure that your wordings and everything is at least within not closer to the to the edges but at least within the within the the book because i told you but because i told you that they always trim the book and they do some changes with the book so it is always good to make sure that uh, your wording and everything is within the 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 edges. So when you're sure that nothing is uh, outside the edges, you just come back here and uh, 
you you install you reinstall the transparency back again so you do the same here you want to see you want to see if there is something that is away and you see there is nothing that is away so it's okay guys so from there what we will do we will come here and okay let us just call it super and we'll come here and share and then after you you say share you say download and after you download you don't do this suggested png you do pdf print so it is always good guys to be very keen and don't select any of this when i was a beginner i selected this and it gave me a lot of issues when i went to Apple. so ignore this just go to pdf print and then go straight to download don't do anything else so let us wait for it to download so as you can see this is what we've, we've we've made let us see just come and click to it and see basically how it's looking like so this is what uh our book cover looks like and i love it it's awesome it's awesome but guys i we, it's always good like to play around with test you can decide to do more than one like i did another one here here it is with a back the back part of it is yes here it is so the back part of it is, is, is red and it has super like yes so what you do you can decide to like do uh compare and contrast and then come up with a with a final decision but i love this so So guys, let us move straight to step four. And step four is actually uploading our book to Amazon KDP. So what you do, you come here and you, you go to your Amazon, you go to your KDP, no, you, you go to your yes, KDP, KDP account. So so your KDP account would normally look like this. So you just come here and say create. So this is just an easy process. You come here and say paperback, create paperback, not Amazon Kindle ebook. It is a paperback. So from there we are going to answer all this. We are going to say it's English. And the book title, it is super Dupa Doggies Color in Book. Guys, it is always important. Make sure that this title here matches with what you, you've written now. Uh, you've written at the cover page. So you make sure it looks exactly as that. Because if you don't do that, you're going to get into trouble with the Amazon team. So it is always important to make sure that you come here and cross check super duper doggies coloring book and that's all. So after you do that, you come back. Then you go ahead and go. You don't have a, a subtitle. It's just that. So we just go down. We go down. So we'll skip this series part, we'll skip this ed ed edition number. So we will just write our name here, Cynthia. But okay, avoid if you are in Africa, guys, it's always good to like avoid doing your African name or something. Is this a tip I'm giving you? You can give an American name or something. So, yes, let me say Cynthia Brown, like that. And then, avoid this contributor because we created this book our on ourselves we didn't have a contributor so guys what what we'll do here is just we're going to write a short a short description of our book so we are going to write Or what else can we do? We can just come to ChatGPT and ask it to write a 
you can also ask ChatGPT to do a description for you. So, but okay, we're not going to ask ChatGPT. We are just going to say this is a fun coloring book for your young ones. It has amazing up close images ready to color images of cool dogs doing amazing stuff ready to color then you promise if they buy this book what are they going to get say mm, this book will help <coughs> your child to learn different dog types it will also boost their creativity and imagination. It will be so much fun for your let's say kids and we wanted to let's focus on this name kids so we'll just repeat this kid 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 because of search engine optimization so for your kids just say kids we'll do we'll keep repeating this name kids so uh ready to color this book will help your kid to learn it will of this coloring book we just say this coloring book color coloring book so eh, we will yes this yeah we'll repeat fun we'll repeat we'll repeat the word coloring book and also we we'll repeat the word kids more for search engine optimization and google much fun for your kids hmm. I am um, I would I would recommend this coloring book for your kids hundred percent I would recommend so you can keep your description as brief as possible because not everyone is ready to like read your whole like to, to overread this so just make it as brief as possible but make sure you have included the keywords the ones that will help your book uh, to get uh, searchable it, so to make it searchable on the internet so yes so you check for errors yeah up close Yes, so like that. So, this is a fun coloring book for your kids. Uh, it has it has amazing up close images of cool dogs doing amazing stuff. Ready, uh, ready to color. And we can just remove this ready to color thing. So, yeah, we can just uh, make sure. So this coloring book will help your kid to learn uh, different dog types. It will also boost their creativity and imagination. I will be, it will be so, yes, you say it will. It will be so much fun for your kids. I would recommend this book for your kids 100%. So that's our description. And then now we move to the next stage. After you've done the description, you, you ask them, you say I own the copyright 
and you say no it doesn't have adult only content so you skip this it you remain this let this remain the way it is so for the categories i want you to watch this closely guys let me show you this about categories it is always good to be keen with the categories that you're selecting for your book because if you do wrong categories it will get you also into trouble with amazon kindle book so i want to make sure that i want you to look to look so closely so keenly so that you can get the type of categories we select for our coloring book so normally back in your head you know this is an activity book and it's a coloring book for kids so that's what we are going to put in under the categories so the categories just come choose categories then you say select category so this one is a children's book and then we'll select it's an activity book children's book then you come here no, 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 no. It just selects an activity book. I want us to be very keen when selecting this. So let us maybe choose actions. No, 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 no. So let's come back and choose. Let's do art and see. Category is. That's why I told you guys it is very difficult to come up with the category, but you don't have to worry. We'll find a coloring book category. It's just here. So. So let's go back and see children's book category here activities number one activities select activity and then you, you select uh it's an activity book and it's a coloring book i hope you have understood it is children's book activities crafts and games activity book coloring book so this is, let's say fiction, because some of these dogs are doing things that are not chill. So after that, you when you do the keywords, uh, no, after you do the categories, you skip this part of low content book, because our book is not low content, it has content. Our coloring book is not a low content book. So keywords, it will be kids coloring book. And then something else is dog dogs coloring coloring book you say latest you think of what someone could search coloring book the uh dog animal the animal coloring book 20 23 and you can say mm, coloring book for kids age 4 to this this can even go to 12 years so 12 years or are between that age it say four to eight. Mm -hmm. Say mm, coloring books for teens. Coloring book for kids all age. Ages. So those are the keywords. You can think as much as key, as many keywords as they want to think about. You're free. Then you say save. Uh, save. 
So when you say save, it will take you to the next page. Now that when you go to the next page, I hope you have understood, guys. I'm hoping that. So it will load, load, load and take you to the next page. So let us wait for it to take us to another page. It is a step by step. So we are done with part one, this part. Now it is part two. It's content. So you say assign me a KDP. So they will assign you a free one. That one is not something to worry about. They will give you. It's already there. Publication date is today. When is today? Mm -hmm. Yes, this is the date that we are publi doing the publication. Then you skip that part. The book has bleed. It has bleed. Um, trim size, we'll select a, a different trim size, which is 8.5 by 11. So we look for it. It is somewhere here. It is always here. So we just... Look keenly and with the here it is. And then the book you can either decide matte or glossy, but I prefer glossy personally. And now from now here, there now we here we will upload our paperback manuscript. Where did we go wrong? Let us see. So from there we'll come here at downloads. And now here it is. So it normally takes some time, it doesn't take two minutes, it takes some time. But it is good to go. So there we are uploading our paperback, the interior of our of our book. So let us wait for it to upload. So the the interior is already here. So this other part will be now installing the or uploading the cover page. So you come here, you say, uh, you there are two. You can either launch cover creator or you can either use your or your your own so as we have our own so we are going to upload it from the files and uh, it is this one super and then we see open so it is uploading so our cover cover page is already uploaded so what you do you will come here and then you will preview your book and it is a must you can't go to the next step before launching the previewer so we will preview the book and see how it looks like then from there now we can go ahead and now go to the next part which is pricing and copyright so we want to see and uh if there is any problem they always tell you here but as you can see once your book is being sub to a publication with the quality review using a combination of machines so they're telling us that they will yes they review the book if it has a problem if it has copyright issues if it, it it have maybe you have not put your images right they will always bring the back uh, they will not publish the book rather they will communicate in the email but this is how maybe our book looks it is loading so let's wait and see how it looks like so this is it this is how our books looks like this is a preview of our book it's like this and I'm not seeing like they're telling us like is, is, is there any other problem? Our book looks like this. It's a nice coloring book. So, so what you do after that? You approve. See, approve this part here. There's a part. There's a part. You just say approve. Then when you approve, now you can now go to the next step. So when you're done with the approving and all that, it will take you now to part three, which is pricing and all that. So you just come here and you save. So this is summary and all that. So uh, you have, they, I told you they, their printing cost is $2.84. So when you're pricing, you consider that when you're pricing, they will remove their $2.84 for printing and all that stuff. So the next part will be pricing our book. And then from there we will publish it it's as simple just as other steps so i'm hoping that you have you've understood so this book is meant to go to all territories there is no problem so the the we will put the minimum amount as you can see you can sell your book is 4.73 and the maximum amount is 250 dollars guys we are going to do a 4.99 it works magic if you ever want to like price something just make sure you like if you want to price it at $7, say 
it plays uh it is it's good it pray it, it it brings people to 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 come by your book thinking it is much cheaper than the other so here we not we will put our book price to 4.99 but this book you can charge it to up to $8 up to $10 there's no problem it depends with what you'll get so printing will cost this and then 60% blah 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 and so now there you will do your math and think now how much will I get per book but there's nothing to worry about this book will sell and you'll have a lot of people so if you ever want a request of proof of your work you just come here and click but me I don't want so what I'll do next here I will just go ahead and publish the book and that's all guys that's all we have published our book and it is very very simple don't you agree so guys that's all with uh with chapter six it was about creating a book and it was about coming up with a nice book with canva and mid journey we have done that and i've also walked through walked you through how you will publish your book on amazon so basically what happens they will review your book it's in review they will maybe answer in like two days after two days now they'll give you an answer whether it has a problem if it doesn't have a problem they'll surely send an email telling you that they have published your book and all that so that's all with amazon kindle business and i'm hoping that you have understood and i'm hoping that you guys are going to go ahead and try it's not it's never too late to start or it's never too early to start you can go ahead and try and i'm wishing you all the best once again uh we have come to the end of chapter six guys and i had fun didn't you have fun oh uh, i had a lot of fun creating this book and showing you how, how you come up with such a nice book and selling it on amazon and waiting for money to come your way so from there all the best as usual, I love you and I'm um, hoping that you guys will go ahead, open an Amazon KDP account, Canva and Mid Journey and come up with that book. I'll put a link of Mid Journey for those who don't have Mid Journey and also I'll put, I will also include a, a link of Canva at the uh, announcement, the communication part. So you can go there and get those links and actually click on them and start making money. All in all, I love you so much all the best as we start this business and let's win together bye bye